Hey guys, I'd love for you to join me this Friday where I'm launching a brand new gemstone. Now this variety is something I'm sure you won't have seen before. I've certainly never bought it to your screens. We are of course talking about a natural new variety of blue lace agate. This is considered by many to be one of the most expensive forms of agate, certainly one of the rarest. And when you see this kind of quad A grade that I'll be bringing to you, um, I, I think you're gonna go wild. I, I hope you get in early because we are very limited but I cannot wait to talk to you about this legendary discovery. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide, this will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Make sure you go to our website www.jewelrymaker.com. We have got over a thousand lines going into a huge online exclusive clearance with up to 95% off prices. Wow. See you there. Jewelry makers, we've got Linda. Morning. Good morning. Good we were morning. saying in the canteen. We were. How long it has been since you and I have worked together? I know it's all down. Is it to... deliberate? Not on my part. No, that's all right then. That's okay then. That's all right. I, I have missed you. Missed you too. It has literally been probably months since we've done a show it together. Has, yeah. I think oh. you're right. Well, I went away, then you followed. Yeah. Me coming back by you going away. So. Yeah. Probably about two months, I reckon. At least. Yeah. Oh, well, it's lovely to see it's you again. To see and you she, too, my darling. Isn't she looking gorgeous, as always? Thank you. Our very own pearly queen, with your absolute favourite, as, the, as yeah. the Facebook post said. Oodles yeah. of pearls coming up in today's show. And oh my goodness me. Products also that we've never seen before. We've got some really beautiful sterling silver. The bee, I'm looking at the bee just there on that beautiful yeah. bracelet. So beautiful. Oh my goodness! Now these are uh, the bee. Is that coming up as part of one of your kits? Yeah, the first is, one. In the, in the nine o'clock hour. Let me just grab Doesn't my tweezers. Move. Let me find my tweezers. Look, I've been in the studio. I thought it was organised this morning. Clearly not, because I've lost my tweezers now, haven't I? They were there a moment ago. Here you go. I'll hold up my fingers. Look at this. A really beautiful sterling silver bee connector. Look at the detail coming up within Linda's kits. These are in the nine o'clock hour. Look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh my goodness me, it's amazing. If I show you underneath as well. So this can be used to kind of to kind of it's gather. Like a clip, basically. Okay. So you can you can clip it on to any piece of jewellery that you make. Um, I mean it would look divine on a brooch, on a lapel. Oh lovely. With the because uh, there's sort of places where you can connect a jump ring to, so you could put a lovely waterfall of 
of Mermaid's Tears, pals. Oh, um, look, she started already with the poetry. Yeah. <laughs> love it, absolutely love it. So um, I imagine these are going to be an on-screen sellout. I'm just reminding myself in terms of the quantity that we've got coming up with the actual B. Where is he? 74. So there's not, that's not nearly going to be enough today. Coming up in the 9 o'clock hour, so that's absolutely beautiful. We've got lots of your silks coming up. As you can see, we've got literally rows and rows of beautiful pearls. Your deal of the day, it's the most perfectly pieced together show ever, I'm going to say. Right. Because um, your early bird, well, let me just grab my sheet. You've got some beautiful calibrated gemstones. Your early bird, we've got another necessity, an absolute essential to us all, and that's featherweight head pins. Yeah. Big bundle of featherweight head pins coming up as a mega deal. Your deal of the day, to go alongside all of these beautiful components, you need beautiful spacers. 925 sterling silver diamond cut spacer beads. Wow. We've got a big quantity of those coming up at 10 o'clock. And again, brand new, going to a, a, an incredible low, low, low price tag. We also have an hour which we have been, Ross and I have been championing for, I don't know how long, Ross. It's been a while, hasn't it? It's been a few months. Um, before you before you went off to Bali, yeah, um, we really wanted to put together a monochrome hour because we hadn't done one we in hadn't. such, no, such a long time. No, I can't remember the last time we did monochrome, and I love monochrome. It's just so wearable. Well, it's perfect that you're here today then because we've mm. got that monochrome hour, um, and that's happening at 11 today. So that includes some lovely spinel, includes some of the white jade. Of course, you've got all the pearls, plus a few other monochrome gemstones. Your masterclass. Yes, we've got another um, in the uh, 12 o'clock hour. We've got, a, 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 the kit has got another little connector in it. Mm -hmm. um, but the gems being uh, seed pearls, which are s at such a premium. Oh, they're beautiful. Um, and they are absolutely they're exquisite. They're like a gold. They are really a perfect colour. Yeah. I mean, for me, that accentuates the the hope that your pearls will be that that beautiful royal cream well they're like a coir gold aren't yeah, they yeah they They've are got that real yeah, they, i mean you can see on that shot there you can see how the beautiful translucency and um, pearlescence of it it's just stunning yeah and i mean they are really at a premium we, we just don't see seed pearls very often at all we can't get hold of them no regularly very 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 rare that we see those hence why they are limited and, yeah. and i do mean limited we've got less than 50 of that wow. kit. so seed pearls are very difficult to get hold of if you can just imagine the smaller the pill the more difficult it is actually to drill so they're coming up at 12 o'clock so it, it's literally the most beautiful show that's how I'm going to describe it. It's a beautiful, beautiful show. Um, and, of course, we want to hear from you. So do text in. Come and say hello to us. We would love, love, love to hear from you on this, what day is it, Thursday morning? Um, and, of course, to start your amazing Thursday morning show, we have your fantastic creations. It's the Wall of Fame. <laughs> Apologies, before I go into the Wall of Fame, I have a little announcement. Because one of our absolute favourites, one of your absolute favourites here at Jewellery Maker is celebrating today. And we love him very dearly. And it would be entirely remiss of me not to say happy birthday to our lovely director, Adam. Happy birthday, Happy birthday. Adam. Oh, bless you. I was going to say, have you had a nice chilled morning? But no, he's done a shift already. Yeah, he has. Really? Yeah, yeah. Done a shift yeah. already on Hobby Maker. So no, no relaxing on your birthday, Adam. But what are you doing to celebrate? Oh, is that off out for dinner? What, what kind of dinner? What are you having? Ooh, some of French, fan fancy French restaurant. Ooh, lovely. So you're going to have some escargot? Escargot. Grenouille. What's Grenouille? Snails. Snails. Is that what they, I thought they were escargot. Um, actually, I think you're right. What's, so what's Grenouille then? I've just come are back from... Are Yes, they are. I've just yeah, come back from three good. weeks in France. You'd think I'd know that, wouldn't you? Oh, lovely. Um, but they are... I think the are thing they... with escargot, snails and, and frog's eggs, you know, they're a little bit odd to us Brits. But... 
you need to try them before you, you knock them, to be honest. Yeah, I because, agree. I agree. Um, mm, as long as you can overlook the fact that they are literally think, served in, a, in it's, a shell. It's in your head, yeah, isn't it? Is, it? Yeah. yeah. I just think it, all I can taste is butter. So Yeah, garlic uh, butter. Garlic butter. So, yeah, they are delicious. Um, beautiful, beautiful. And have I bought, I haven't bought you a French bottle. You know, we didn't get a French bottle of wine, actually. I think you've got an Italian. I think it's, but that one, that's all. Italian's a perfect place for getting your wine from. Yeah, absolutely. And Linda knows. Linda mm -hmm. knows. <laughs> right then, on to your wall of fame. Starting us off this morning is lovely Joan. Hello to you, Joan. Beautiful, beautiful piece here. Um, your number 154. And she says, good morning to all at Jewelry Maker. It's been a while since I've en entered anything of late. However, my granddaughter asked me if I could make a christening gift for a little girl who's also about to turn two years old. She's already researched what the birthstones were, but couldn't decide. So we have them all. Ethiopian opal rounds, baroque pearls, faceted pink tourmaline, all wire wrapped onto a Rolo chain. All from Jewelry Maker, of course. I'm hoping it fits the bill. Good luck to everybody who's entered and stay well. Kind regards. And that's from Joan. Well, Joan, I think that's absolutely beautiful. I mean, Ethiopian it? opal and pearls is literally... At the age of two. At the age of two, <laughs> yeah. You know, where's there to go from I'm, I'm going to say she's winning at life, isn't she? Mm -hmm. um, number 155 is from Rachel. Good morning. Oh, that's stunning, Rachel. That is, yeah. Love that. Hi, all at JM. This is an amethyst bracelet made with a mystery story strand I bought from Jewelry Maker last month. I love the variation of colours and the opacity in the beads. Um, thanks for keeping me company whilst I'm poorly and isolating as I'm waiting for an operation. You guys oh, are always you. fab company. Oh, bless you, Rachel. We are with you, my mm -hmm. darling. Um, yeah, well, I know it's, it's it, when you've got to be staying start indoors, last, that's the last thing you want to do, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. You know, there's some days you get up and you think, oh, I wish I hadn't got to go out today. I wish I hadn't got to do that today. I wish I could stay in all day but then as you've just said if if that is for you know you're not well or something and then you you're in it's miserable isn't it so uh I hope you're well soon, Rachel. Yes. Best of luck. You've got friends with us here at Jewelry Maker. Number 156 is from oh, Maggie. Lovely. Beautiful Maggie. Loving those. Good morning. Here is my entry to the WAF. A pair of garnet and sterling silver earrings with all components from JM. Quite simple, but lovely in the sunshine. Good luck to all this week. Would you like to read those? Okay, okay. okay. There we go. Right. And then we... Uh, those are absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? Simplicity, Stunning. actually. Stunning. Uh, simplicity is not to be overlooked in jewellery making. Absolutely. Um, just let the product do the the talking. Because that that's absolutely beautiful, and that's uh, that's got a signature on that for me. That is definitely a Deb Briggs yeah, ring. Deb. And Deb says, "Hi all at Jewellery Maker. Please find attached my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. It's a rough diamond, fine silver, and sterling silver ring." The diamonds from a strand of rough diamonds I bought from JM a few years ago, and I hope you like it. Lots of love from Deb. Beautiful. Deb, it's absolutely stunning. I think that's a perfect setting for that rough yeah, diamond. Yeah, I love it. Um, it's just beautiful. Right, and we, now 158, and that's from Linda, Linda Walker. And Linda says, hi all. I made this lapis lazuli pendant by watching a tutorial on JM by Gemma adding the beautiful blue heart and silver beads plus earrings. I love JM and I've learned so much over the years. Hope you like it. Love beautiful. it. Love a bit of lapis. It's absolutely stunning. Amazing. Look at that. It's stunning to see people's inspiration and, uh, you know, you guys out there are inspirational for us. Absolutely. 100%. It's beautiful. So you're 158, Linda. Good luck. Right, 159 is Sue, Sue Goss, and Sue says, Hi, this is my entry for the Wall of Fame. It's a pearl coin necklace. The coins are centre drilled and all components are from Jewelry Maker. That's just exquisite. Oh. I, I love that little asymmetric touch at the top there. Gorgeous. It's beautiful. I love the way those pearls, the way you've um, threaded them, you you sort of put them on its axis, really, as a... They hover, don't they? Yeah, absolutely stunning. It just creates a really lovely fluid design. Loving Beautiful those. Food. Good luck in the draw. Gosh, aren't you all clever? Aren't you all so, so, so clever? Good luck in the draw that happens on Wednesday morning, lovely jewellery makers, and there's still time for you to send your entries in as well. OK, shall we get cracking with what will be an amazing, amazing Thursday morning show? Like I said, if you ask me one word to describe the show, it would be... 
beautiful. The lineup is absolutely breathtaking today. Um, shall we bring you some early bird deals? And uh, it's not going to be long until Ross says these words. Fast and pacey, Elle. Um, <laughs> can we shop ahead and pre-order? Yes. You've got um, a, a wonderful tray, a collection of beautiful, genuine gemstones coming your way as your early bird this morning, so you can shop ahead and secure yours. Safe in the knowledge that everybody will pay that final low price tag. Yes. Look at the quality of those gemstones. You've got some of your larger round brilliant carts, your ovals, and also you've got some of your lovely... Uh, melee sizes and I think they're tanzanites that I'm looking at in the bottom left yeah peridot specitites you've got um oh, what's the orange do we have a little look let me have a look you've got oh I think that one is why have I gone blank like a sunstone a I think petalite wow. garnet emeralds amethyst opal a huge collection I mean, an immediate collector the the performance underneath that first bit yes. is incredible so you imagine when you take that lid off the exactly. performance you'll get then well if you're inspired by deb's piece earlier on absolutely silver, absolutely, that would be absolutely perfect. Yeah. you can shop ahead and pre-order on that one also you're we've got a double early bird this morning um absolute essentials would you all agree your featherweight head pins and they are literally like gold dust we don't see them very often. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to repeat something my brother said to me a good couple of years ago. Tuned in, Al. Saw you getting really excited about a pin. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we were. Yes, yeah, we absolutely. were. Absolutely. Well, you know, perhaps it's just jewelry makers that get excited over a featherweight head pin. But trust me, if you're buying pearls today, which I'm absolutely certain you will be, um, you need to have oodles. Um, oodles and oodles and oodles of uh, featherweight head pins. You definitely do, and there's plenty you of pearls coming up many. today. Shall we start the show with the shallow waters of Indonesia? Beautiful bumblebee jasper. Um, from one location, there are only 20 of these available opportunities. They're so big, I'm actually struggling to hold them all. Um, but you get these really beautiful, as the name suggests, sort of uh, um, black and yellow um, bands. So really wonderful, wonderful sort of stories, if you like, that are told within the uh, markings of the gemstones. Completely and utterly natural. Obviously, every single one will be unique, given the fact that it is a natural gem in gemstone now um, forms in one location on this planet this beautiful planet of ours uh, and that is shallow waters of Indonesia you get these really beautiful vibrant gemstones highly distinctive you know it's one of those gemstones that once you see you never really forget do you mm. very apt what considering we've got the bumblebee clip exactly. coming up yeah exactly and it'll go beautifully with the pearls yes oh the seed absolutely pearls absolutely stunning uh, jasper's a fantastic gemstone yeah it has so many varieties, but the bumblebee somehow, it's, it is exactly what it says on the tin, isn't it? Yeah. Um, well, you recognise it, don't you, yeah. straight away? Yeah, you do. Yeah. Linda, we're not paying nine nine ninety nine today. We've yeah. only got 20 of them left within the vault, so you do have to be quite quick securing yours. Do you want to see another price, Ross says, that you're not going to be paying? You sound a lot better today, Ross. Bless him, he was full of probably my lurgy. You, <laughs> I probably passed it on, didn't I? Seven ninety nine would be an amazing deal for one hundred and seventy carats. We're not stopping there either. No, nope, going to go even lower, wow. even lower. Final twenty opportunities. Pounce on these because actually bumblebee jasper tends to be seen if we're lucky in a showcase, and when that showcase is brought to where they sell out. So it's not one of those gemstones that we have regularly, if you like. A bit like a. Um, um, your malachite, for example, that really beautiful distinctive green. Actually, very apt, I think, that, uh, uh, that comparison because visually they look quite similar. I know they're totally different colours, but it's just visually the, the yeah. markings. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I think this, is, this will be a brilliant uh, addition to anything at all that's in the... Uh... Oh, it's gone straight out of my head now. In the <laughs> 11 o'clock hour when we've got the monochrome. monochrome. Yeah. Yes. Yes, Monica Angie nine o'clock, mind Angie twelve o'clock. It's going to complement every single one of those hours. Uh, shop ahead like Richard and Anelia and Liz and Gabrielle. Hello to you, Elaine, new customer, Pauline, Isabel. I hope you're all well. The sun was shining this morning, which was a nice surprise, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It was. It was absolutely chucking it down yesterday. So when I got up this morning, the sun was shining. Perhaps it's because the bumblebee jasper was on air. 
Perhaps I mean, that, that's why. The uh, teardrop one is, is exquisite, beautiful, isn't it? You can see it's it? almost fossilised, isn't it? Yeah, beautiful. Nine left. Hello, Sylvia. Hello to West Midlands. If you leave these in your baskets, you may, well, miss out on these opportunities. Um, we guarantee the carrot weight, so you might get a variation of your cuts, but all will be of this amazing, amazing quality. So you might get rounds, you might get sort of oblong shapes. Um, you might get the drops that I've got just here as well. The final seven. Hello, Jan. Hello, Angela. Hello, Julie. Hello to Sylvia, Sarah and Jean. I hope you're all well. We are actually over allocated. So, um, yeah, it can be first come, first serve. That's all we can say. It can't be any fairer than that, can we? Seven of them left. Shropshire, I can see you there as well this morning. I hope you're well. Come and text in. Come and say hello to us. We'd love to hear from you. Are you excited about Linda's amazing kit? Seed pearls and silks and that bead clip. We've got so much is it the sterling silver the featherweight is it the diamond cut spacer beads um is there something in particular that you're looking for in today's show um do message in i do have the crazy lace so this is your agate but crazier basically with a few drinks yeah it's it it, it ross it's like the difference between you at uh, at work super professional night out <laughs> He is wild. He is wild. Everybody needs a Ross on a night out, I think. Because <laughs> you're pretty funny, Ross. You are very funny. Um, here we go. <laughs> We've only got a couple of these available. Um, yeah, Crazy Lace Agate. You've got these really beautiful, chaotic formations, which I just absolutely love. This one, and I've said it before, almost looks a little bit like dinosaur bone. Mm, it certainly does. Which is, which is basically agatized, isn't it? So yeah. you can see that similarity. Um, and also, if it were dinosaur bone, it would be considerably more than the price that you're about to see. Let me just pick a couple of these up so you can see those beautiful markings. Six pounds and 99 pence. Uh, you know, for the 12 years that we've been you know, broadcasting to our lovely viewers, uh, Botswana Agate, Blue Lace Agate and Crazy Lace Agate, they're the most expensive, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, there's um, a fair amount of varieties on Agate, but they all relate to each other with these fantastic styrations and fossilised markings and uh, and things like that. You can see the relationship between them. And most agates are actually dyed, whereas whereas the ones we've just mentioned are all completely natural. So uh, I know you've got a big show with uh, Dave on Blue Lace Agate coming up. So if you prefer the dark and more autumnal colours, then Crazy Lace is the one for you. Have I got what, sorry? I do have a beautiful, beautiful labradorite. Oh, it's in a rose cut as well. Um, shall we do, yeah, get it in a little box, 1.8 carats, faceted round, but it's actually a rose cut, technically speaking, because you've got the uh, flat bottom, something I definitely don't have. <laughs> um, a flat bottom, and then you've got the beautiful, beautiful carrot weight really on the, uh, on the surface of the gemstone. If I just turn it, I wonder if I can. There we go. You can see that lovely curve. Checkerboard faceted, totally and utterly natural. This wonderful gemstone that was discovered in Labrador, Canada. Literally looks like it has the Aurora Borealis captured within the gemstone. Um, it were at $4.99, Ross, and you've still got a clock on your screen. What are you doing? Really? Better than half price. Oh, well, that's a steal of a deal. If you do things like gemstone setting or, or gallery wire or your bezel setting or gluing, quite frankly. Yeah, absolutely, because of the flat bottom. Mm -hmm. Should we say it out loud? This is going under £2 today for a genuine labradorite, one of our most treasured gemstones here at Jewelry Maker. We're obsessed with it, aren't we? Because we're like moths to a flame. It's magical. You have this dark body colour and then when it turns itself and bear in mind we're actually looking through perspex here and yet you're still seeing that labradorescence when it turns itself towards the light no ross there's not nearly enough people on the phone lines for that what's going on he says are you gonna do it anyway okay i'm just looking for my tweezers see if i can actually open these i did have them now they've disappeared 199 one ninety nine for a genuine labradorite. I mean, you can imagine that framed in gold, can't you? Because of the beautiful quality, tiny, almost microscopic 
uh, uh, layers within this gemstone is what produces that optical effect. It's called a phenomena gemstone and it's not coated, it's not treated in any way, shape or form. This is literally how it occurs within Mother Nature. They'd be beautiful stud earrings, wouldn't they? They'd be beautiful in sort of your signet style rings. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Oh, yes, for a man, it would, it would be absolutely beautiful. I've actually noticed quite a lot of uh, labradorite appearing in, uh, you know me, I'm a glutton for the Sunday magazines that can be there. Oh, you do love a Sunday magazine. Yeah, and I'm, I'm seeing a lot of coloured gemstones appearing now within jewellery collections. And uh, um, probably for the first time ever, I noticed a collection with labradorite. I mean, it isn't, it's a gemstone that we all know well here at Jewelry Maker, as do you guys out there. But I think we've been getting it less and less. The sources, oh, yeah. you know, the, it's, it's probably um, more in demand now than it's ever been. Mm -hmm. So consequently, then the supply slows down. And we're, and we're complacent about it as well. You know, yeah. two pounds for a genuine Labradorite. That's, exactly. that's, that's, that's madness. Well done. Well done. Well done. OK, moving on to, should we do a bundle of chains? A bundle of beautiful uh, base metal chains. These are, I almost said sterling because they certainly look that way. They do. Um, links here that, again, we might not have seen before. I'm loving this one. Absolutely loving that. Very Tiffany's-esque. You've got your uh, hearts. So you've got beautiful heart chain here. Then you've got these hammered, uh, I don't even know how to describe it, sort of circular links. Then you've got a classic curb. You've got, almost got like an Elsa Peretti inspired where you have that sort of little popper luster in between in the hammered links. And then of course, a statement curve. You're getting all five of these. They're 18 inch chains. They are diamond cut, which I was learning about literally last night with regards to, in relation to your deal of the day as well. Beautiful, beautiful little cuts within these chains basically give you the impression of, that they were encrusted with diamonds. Now, I mean, that's already five pounds per chain. Simple mass just there. Um, you, you pop into H&M, you pop into Marks and Spencers or Debenhams or any of those high street establishments and see if you can buy a silver plated, because this is precious metal plated, uh, silver plated chain for a fiver. Unlikely. How about, okay, I'll set you another challenge. One that you don't really need to actually do, but just say it anyway. See if you can buy a silver plated, very high fashion chain for two pound. Yeah, absolutely. That's, that's, you're gonna be looking for a little while, I think. I think so. I think so. You're gonna walk the soles off your shoes looking for that I mean, that the thing deal. is, from jewelry making perspective, when you need a chain, nothing else will do. It has to be a chain. Yeah. You know, like that, that Labradorite that you just brought to wear, that would look exquisite, just sort of um, yeah. encased in some sterling silver wire or silver plated wire and just popped on any of those chains. <coughs> yeah, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Or literally just worn as is. You can yeah, wear those yeah. exactly as is. Two yeah. pound a chain. How many do we have of these then, Roscoe? Uh, okay, they are very limited. Look, that's the quantity that we have. And I've got Maker in London, Linda, Pamela, Valentina, hello to you, uh, Sarah, Maker, Patricia, uh, Lynn, you're there as well in County Durham. Hello. You've got to check out, there was, only, there was only 10 at the beginning of the auction. So these are absolute closeout deals. Um, and if everybody checks out, they've already sold out. So good luck to each and every single one of you. Loving the detail, loving that beautiful light performance from your diamond cutting. We still diamond cut your, your, your silver plated chains. Yeah, I mean, also as well, if you do go out and look for a, um, a sterling silver plated base metal chain um, elsewhere and you do find one around that price, which I think is relatively unlikely, but if you did, you're not going to find one like that. No, it's going to be just a classic. It's just term. going to be a thin, um, yeah. flat, classic, you know, sort of. Yeah, but, you know, that is, as, as Ella just said, very, very wear alone. And look at the sparkle from that diamond. I love this thing. one. I paid nine ninety nine dollars for this one. It's sold out. Well done. Well done, well done, well done. Um, OK, moving on to... Do I have a... Rose gold sliders. Yes. Yes, we do. Three of them as well. 
So um, a slider bracelet, I mentioned it only yesterday that Levion announced, I think it was 2019, that the feature of the year was actually adjustability. So it's no coincidence that lots of the big designers were actually incorporating sliders, you know, your Pandoras, your Gucci, um, all new slider styles. So it basically means that it's one size fits all and they're far easier to put on than say a classic curb. Now you do get all three, uh, rose gold plated, um, I'm holding them obviously so you see the tassel but obviously you've got the loops at the either end for you to attach say your pearls from today's show. We're going to do this in one price crash. All three, one price crash, under £10. I hope we've got enough now because it's not going to last 60 seconds otherwise. 40. I still think they could sell out Ross before that, 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 that clock reaches zero. Mm -hmm. That's £3.33 per chain. I mean, again, it's, not chain, um, slider. it's just an open canvas for anybody, isn't it? A blank canvas, I should say, for any um, jewellery maker from a uh, beginner all the way through to, you know, more, more sort yeah. of accomplished. Um, and it's just a matter of, of what you add to that slider bracelet. Um, and just a simple pearl would look exquisite and yep. it would be a more complex design. Um, I love a slider blade. Me too. I think it's, it's revolutionary, really, isn't uh, it, in me the too. world? Because even without the embellishment that you're going to choose, if I lay this across my wrist, if you can imagine it, and do it at one-handed here. So elegant, aren't they? They look gorgeous, don't they? You've got that mm. wonderful cascade that kind of falls over the wrist line. So you've got that beauty within the class. Instead of it being just a function, you've actually got that design, um, but all that also movement within the slider bracelet. £3.33 each I'm going to be getting some of these because you know what I'm not the most talented of jewelry makers I'll always have a go um always have a go <laughs> Ross has just said that's what I always think as well thanks Ross <laughs> don't sugarcoat it <laughs> no it's true it is it, it, it is true um but he says I've watched a few of your demos and I'm glad we were bringing this to everyone's attention no Aww. it's 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 true it's true but literally just I can do a crimp you know, I can put maybe an inch of pearls on there. Mm -hmm. And how lovely would that be as a Christmas gift? Giving pearls in a slider bracelet? Absolutely. Again, you know, uh, the majority of us um, uh, have got a stash ranging from, like, a bag to a box yep. to a room. Yep. And um, if you've got slider bracelets there as well, you can always make a gift. Say Oops. you've you've forgotten somebody's anniversary, birthday, whatever, or last minute Christmas, or it's just perfect for that simple thank you little gift, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. You know, you pop along to someone's house for dinner or whatever it is. Yeah. A nice little gift. It's not breaking the bank, is it? No, absolutely. It's and probably going to cost you, I don't know, five pounds. A forever gift, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. We do have the gold colour as well, if you're looking for that too. Um, but the rose gold is absolutely flying out. Perfect, I think, that blush that blush pink, the presence of the copper within these slider bracelets to go alongside the actual feature of the heart. Angela, Kim, Maker in London, Gabrielle, Patricia, hello to you, Marley, Valentina, Julie, Nola, uh, Angela, Pamela, I've got Helen, Elaine, Lorraine, Mary, Pamela, Johnny, Dorothy, Eileen, Wendy, well done. We started with 40, but, <coughs> excuse me, a lot of you are actually choosing to multi-buy on this as well. Why wouldn't you? It's £3.33 per slider bracelet. And I know I've said this countless, countless times before, but I launched the first slider bracelet and they were £24.95. Granted, they were silver. Yeah, look how far we've come. Now we're actually incorporating it into your base metals, but still rose gold plated. Just, you know, making uh, um, them more accessible, I suppose, in terms of budget. The final six of these and the slider bracelet that I launched back in 2017, was it, it didn't have the heart. It was literally just around. That's right, yeah, and I love the, the bobbles on the end as well. It gives yeah. that little bit of weight for it to move fluidly. It's going to, tess it's going to tessellate yeah, over the back absolutely. of your hand, isn't it? Yeah. Stunning, really stunning, stunning. Loads of you there, six remain. Nikki, Sue, Elaine, Lorraine, good luck. Mary in Warwickshire, good luck. Leicestershire, good luck. Uh, Dorothy, good luck. Les another Leicestershire, good luck. Wendy, good luck to you as well. There's only a couple there. Um, let's do the yellow gold colour, shall we? And should we match that price? Yeah. There's only 14, though. This is a little bit more limited. 
Come on, look, gosh. nobody would think that one wasn't 18 karat gold, no, would they? No, absolutely not. Look, it's so sparkly. Sometimes a base metal, I don't know if you agree with this, Linda, sometimes a base metal can be almost too yellow. Yes. That it, or it, it looks... It looks like it's fake, yeah. whereas these this, are these are yeah. plated with precious metals. Exactly. So you can actually see. You get like the that. benefit of that gorgeous luster, don't you? Well, look at it against my engagement ring. Yeah, exactly. Look at the look at the colour of the of the gold plating against my 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 wedding band, if you like. It works. You can see yeah, it. It matches perfectly. It it's not too yellow, so it looks almost well, basically fake. Mm. You're getting all three. We've matched that price point. These are more limited, though. Um, there's only 14 of these with, uh, within uh, within the vault. I was talking yesterday with uh, with Susie, and I was basically saying that I really like to do Christmas gifts on the table. Um, gifts on the table, rather, yes, at yes, Christmas. Yes, yes. Um, just something little. Yeah, little you know, so you're not just opening a tape yeah. measure on or the table. Or if you make your own crackers, even, you know, at these prices... Um, you can take out those sort of curly paper cellophane um, fish. fish and the, <laughs> you know, the, the dreaded dice. Um, I still maintain the tape measure's the worst. Who wants a tape measure on the Christmas table? Uh, yeah, the day when you're going to absolutely... Eat everything inside. Yeah. yeah Who absolutely. wants a tape measure? Yeah. yeah, all those sort of screwdrivers that fit nothing. Nothing. Toys, actually. They're good for toys. Yeah, and actually, they're the very good for glasses as well. <coughs> oh, there we go. There we go. So at least they have got a yeah, they function, do, right. I suppose, not like yeah, the curly yeah. fish. Yeah. They, yeah. I, no, I prefer much these. prefer these. Yes. Me too. They're on the verge of selling out. Yeah. Well done. Well done, everyone. I love that idea of a little table gift with that. My mum um, knitted many years ago these little bags. Um, and they're well loved now. These, uh, these little bags that... Uh, um, yeah, you just we just literally put in front of everybody on their table. Uh, oh, that's um, lovely, isn't it? It's a nice tradition. idea. That's the time for tradition, isn't yeah. it, at Christmas? And they're looking very tired, but I think I find that even more appealing. Of about course, them yes. Because yeah. they, they they get pulled out every year. How about some beautiful hematite tubes? Genuine hematite, a gorgeous ge uh, gemstone. Many people that are new to the gemstone world will look at hematite and think it is a metal. It's not. It's a gemstone that has the most amazing metallic-like lustre. Please do be mindful, though. There's much hematite synthetics out there. Uh -huh. um, when, there's, uh, when you have a gemstone that's as beautiful as this, yeah, it does open the doors, if you like, the potential for being uh, uh, um, um, cre created, basically, within a laboratory. Now, you are actually getting six strands. You've got your uh, soft grey, you've got your mocha brown, your mystic blue, your uh, another mystic strand, silver, um, and then your classic hematite colour within that. So you're getting all six strands. Early bird deal. Great as well with Linda's kits, because I think hematite and pearls go dreamily together. How about £10 each? Just over 40 carats on each of those strands. I Perf would like... Sorry. No, I'll, go on. I would love to put that on, uh, as, it, as it is there, just, you know, into a clasp so that you've got that sort of... Um, that fluid look of, mm. of the hematite. And Elle's quite right about the fact that there is a lot of fake hematite. Yep. Out there, when uh, Shida and I were in China buying product for kits many years ago, we were told where not to go yeah. in the gemstone market. Um, and we were told exactly where to go for genuine hematite. Yeah, I, I've, I think years ago when I uh, went on holiday, I bought a hematite necklace and tur it turns out it wasn't hematite. So, mm. um, you know that these are all laboratory certified. Now, I only have 12 of them left. That's working out at, what, four, four pounds? Four pounds a strand. 3.33, I beg your pardon. Sorry, my maths is terrible this morning. Three pounds and 33 pence per strand. Beautiful linear tubes. You get that amazing luster. Great for it to use as an alternative to a spacer. Um, great mm -hmm. the, um, if you want to do things like your Morse code jewellery. And they look amazing if you... Um Gosh, I'm losing my uh, descriptive words this morning. Um, it's just completely gone up in the upper atmosphere. When you weave it together in a... In a ladder weave? That's the one, thank there you. There we go, there we go. Um, we've got a super special auction, says Roscoe. What did we sell out of yesterday, Jade? The Olmec. Well, don't tell me we've got Olmec. I haven't seen this in the flesh oh, before. This is the necklace that Susie was wearing yesterday. 
There are three available. Wow, gorgeous, gorgeous Dan is just passing this in. What a colour. It, it, it's literally a finished piece of jewellery uh, and it does have the gold feature bead just there. That is um, such a unique colour gemstone, isn't it's it? It's stunning, that? isn't it? I Natural. Now, Dave oh, yesterday beautiful. joined myself and Susie for an amazing show, literally three strands. And by the way, the strands of hematite were about this long. They were about that long. Three strands of Olmec blue. Let me just explain to you quickly, because we only have three of these available. Um, your Guatemalan jade, it's the lost treasure. Uh, and uh, um, this was, this is actually the oldest jade that's actually out there. And it is the rarest color. No mm -hmm. denying that whatsoever. You can't, you can't get blue jade from Burma. Right. Uh, it's only discovered in this one location. Um, it's completely, completely natural. There's no enhancement to this whatsoever. What we love about Guatemalan jade, and at the moment we showed you websites where, or a website, where you can actually source this gemstone. It's actually from, um, for, oh, this is the couple that actually rediscovered it. So it's a fabulous story. In uh, 1974, Jay Ridinger, uh, sorry, was on a trial for the lost sources of Mayan jade. He ran across the Smithsonian publication, Mineralogical Studies in Guatemalan Jade, written in 1957. Uh, um, Foshag published a map which indicated X marks the spot, and if only it were that simple. Uh, but Ridinger and his wife, Mary Lou, uh, traveled to Guatemala and found the jade source exactly where he had said, situated uh, in the Monta Montagua, if I said that right? Montagua Valley. Uh, um, this is on a tecto tectonic plate boundary between North America tectonic plate and the Caribbean tectonic plate. There it is. Um, like I said, this had been lost literally for thousands of years. Thou we knew it existed somewhere, but lost. Um, the National Geographic actually wrote about it. Here we go. So the Ridingers announced their find to the world, but no one actually believed them. They were laughed at and called crazy until 1987. Ni National Geographic, uh, a Ge Geographic article, Jade, came out and they were vindicated. At the time of the Spanish invasion, the Jade sources were lost because the reverence of the Mayans showed for Jade was considered... Um, I can't, these are long words. Idolatry. Yeah. Uh, long words for 8 o'clock in the morning, indolatry and the sources were abandoned. 450 years later, the Ridingers re-established the jade industry in Guatemala. And you can apparently actually buy that publication as well. It's available actually uh, to buy, and I'm sure a pretty penny. We have three available. They sold out yesterday. Look at this. So this is the website. So this is literally from uh, uh, um, Mary Lou's website. Um, you can buy a ring there. There's only two in stock. There we go. Uh, more opaque than I have to say this necklace. Necklace. One thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. They are literally ones and twos on that website. That is the rarity. That is the rarity. We have three of these. They sold out yesterday. And, and just to make a comparison with ourselves, the strands that we had yesterday were far shorter, weren't they? This was one of the original launches that we brought to you. One for the big collectors. I'm not going to sit here and say it's not going to be considered. It is because of the rarity of type A Olmec jade. Um, yeah, the lost treasure, effectively. Fabulous story behind this, uh, this discovery. Um, the fact that, yes, uh, uh, it, it was literally lost straight down to the final two opportunities. The GIA actually wrote specifically about what you're about to be able to purchase. Um, and If you look under their frequently asked questions section, it says, does jade come in pink and blue? Blue. And they answer, Jade uh, jade is available in a wide range of colours. In rare cases, some could be considered pink. However, this material is referred to in the trade as lavender. Rare examples of Guatemalan jade in blue colour do exist. That's what you can own. That's what you are looking at right now. A staggering 350 carats. This is literally the necklace that Susie was wearing only yesterday. Um, yeah, I agree. I think one of the most luxurious pieces of jewellery that we've uh, we've launched, not just here at Jewellery Maker either, across the entire partnership. We are over allocated. We're no way near your price point. We're going to get this under one thousand pounds. There are two left within the vault. Everybody will pay the final low price tag. This is an, uh, you know, one thing I asked Dave the question yesterday, are we likely to get this again? He said, I, I mean, possibly, 
However, it's the price that he, he, he actually challenges. Oh, gosh, absolutely. Are you ready? Wow. One left. Literally, it's a finished piece of jewellery already. If you want to reconstruct it, you can. 11 of you have this in your basket for the one opportunity that we have left. £499 only for the rarest type of jade that we bring to well, air, this Well, this really, none. it's a museum specimen, isn't yeah. it, really, this? I mean, the story is just phenomenal. Um, but honestly, even on that fantastic shot... Um, God, it's beautiful. You can't see that exquisite colour. That exquisite colour hit me between the eyes. Do you know what? Do you know what? How I love looking at the most. Literally, the, see, the, when you're looking at Linda and I on the desk, it's this shot. Look at the blue, even mm. from a distance. When you're looking at Linda and I, look, look, look at that. It's just so it beautiful. Stands out it? that amazing. Fourteen of you have this in your basket. We have one, and I've got people who want six. We don't have six. We've got, we've got collectors wanting three. Cumbria, we don't have three. Maker, we don't have three. We only have one opportunity. So, um, oh, has it gone? Well done. Well done, well wow. done. What well a piece. done. I, what a I, piece. I, I don't say this word very often because I don't really like the word, but I envy you. Yeah. That piece of jewellery. Yeah, me too. Me too. Well done. Well done. We've got five. Oh, my goodness. Let me just take that off for a second. That sold out. Well have done. Have a look at that piece. I say, I'm, not, I'm not even handled it. It's beautiful, oh, isn't it? Oh, my word. So it we is. had a sellout of Olmec Blue yesterday. If you missed out then, wow. of one other opportunity. Now, this is described. Did you say Olmec Yellow? I've never seen this before. So it, it's actually a fusion of the blue with the yellow present within. If you looked at that, uh, um, the website that we showed you with Mary Lou a few moments ago, the necklace piece, some of them were very dark, still beautiful, don't get me wrong, uh, very, very dark in their color. In an ideal world, you want that more, more uh, translucency and more of the, I, I'm gonna say almost grandidurite like color. Mm, um, again, look at, uh, that's a beautiful piece of jewellery. They go down to a two millimetre size. You're getting a full 360 uh, 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 necklace in the rondelles. Totally and utterly natural. Absolutely natural. Again, I have to say it, yesterday we, 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 we relaunched your Guatemalan jade, completely natural type A, and the strands were about this length. I mean, it's got such presence, yeah. isn't it? it? You know it's something extra special. Yeah, because there's really no do. other gemstone that you can compare to it. No. You, you know, you know, you can see it's jade. You yeah. can see it's you jade see because by of the translucency exactly. and that beautiful luster. But most people will actually uh, wouldn't 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 guess that it was jade no. because of the rarity of the colour. Um, Dave worded it absolutely perfectly yesterday. If the green uh, Burmese jade is imperial, this is your imperial blue. Yeah. Because you've got the translucency, you've got totally and utterly natural colour. So this is your imperial Olmec jade. Uh, you know, even if, let's be let's be completely frank. Even if this were to stop at £3,999, that's absolutely unbelievable. Because I think the rarity of this gemstone, there are collectors that have imperial jade literally under lock and key in vaults that won't own this gemstone. Well, I'm totally amazed that we've managed to get anything of this category because um, at the moment, any jade at all... I mean, it normally uh, passes through the Chinese cutting houses yep. and that, doesn't it? And they hang on to it. They won't let it out, yep. out of the country. Well, Mary Lou uh, is actually, um, her and her team are actually developing a cutting house back in oh, Guatemala, good. which is lovely. Yeah. So uh, we're going to be able to sort of give it back to the local communities. Right. But as it stands right now, yes, your, your Guatemalan jade goes to China because mm. that's where, you know, they know about cutting this exactly. amazing gemstone. Um, and yeah, it does very rarely actually leave. Now we have five left in the business. Uh, hello to you, Caroline. Ladies, I own this piece, stunning, and I wear it every day. That's, that's exactly you. what you should be doing because it's very much <laughs> a piece of jewellery and a gemstone that 
is significantly um, suitable from what I call breakfast to dinner. Yeah. Gemstone. But what a conversation started because people will see it and not realise what it is. Mm -hmm. And then you can actually say, actually, this is the rarest colour of jade that exists. Yeah, the rarest. And it's got such a great story. £149. Wow. What? If this doesn't go, I'm buying it because I, I, I wasn't able to shop yesterday during the Guatemalan Jade Showcase because they literally sold out. If this doesn't sell out, Ross, then I'm getting this because that is absolutely way too low. Way, way, way too low. The quality of the colour, it's that really beautiful, distinctive, bluey with a fusion of yellow. There's a presence of yellow. Not dyed. It's not type B, not type C. Literally, this was lost for hundreds upon hundreds of years. They knew it existed, but they couldn't find it. Um, actually, and, and I learned this from Susie yesterday, that Mary Lou, the character, uh, um, what's his name? What's his name? Raiders of the Lost Ark. Indiana Jones was literally moulded over her, about her. I wow. learned that yesterday. You know, literally hunting for this beautiful gemstone. Suja, well done to you. I've got so many. What are you doing? Ross, Ross, Ross. True. There is there's Cheshire, Paula, Christine, Irene, Cumbria, new customer, Alison and Swansea, all showing interest. Should we take it to a brand new low? That makes no sense. There's no sense as well. Indiana Jones literally was the figure. We all know that name. Well, it's the we? holy grail of gemstones, basically, yeah. then, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. We are going to take it to a lower price point. That means Durham, Cheshire. Nobody is paying £149 today. Um, just, <laughs> yes, our vault is being raided. Raiders of the lost vaults, yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable opportunity. Marion, I can see you there. Mavis, I can see you there as well. Last in... We're still going lower. We will stake it, take it lower. Anne in Cardiff, I can see you there as well on the phone lines. Oh, the, oh, this is rarest of the rare. Rarest of the rare. Can you imagine literally searching wow. jungles of Guatemala for this gemstone that they knew existed? They'd seen the ancient... They'd found the ancient artefacts. Um, hundreds of years ago within the Smithsonian Museum, articles have been written about it, um, but they didn't know where this amazing treasure was actually forming. And if it wasn't for that wonderful couple, we probably still wouldn't be seeing this gemstone. Um, so yeah, I mean, Burmese jadeite, that's, you know, we know where it is. We know where that is. Obviously, we know there's a situation over there in terms, it's still very operational in terms of the mining. Mm -hmm. However, this lay dormant, undiscovered discovered for hundreds and hundreds of years. I've got one left and I've got Gwyneth, Carola, uh, Eileen, Anne, Mavis, Patricia, Gloucestershire, Christine, Paula, Irene, Cumbria, new customer, Alison and Swansea all wanting that last one. So good luck. Good luck to each and every single one of you. That's it then. You know what? We haven't got any other Guatemalan jade within our vault. That's it. Well done. Well done. Well done. Now we have... Um, a, a, a beautiful collection of gemstones coming your way. Often when we do these wonderful displays, and that's how I visualise them, you know, they are one single solitaire. What I love about this one so much is that you have your melee gemstones as well. Those parcels that you could potentially surround them with. Top quality gemstones, all of fine gem quality. Up next is your early bird. <music> You know, I think when, we've, when, when we all discover for the first time Jewelry Maker or Gemporia, I remember sort of literally stumbling across our sister, sister channel mm -hmm. many, many, many moons ago before Jewelry Maker actually existed. And I was like, oh my goodness me, these are, I could see they were genuine gemstones. How on earth is it possible to get them at the prices that, that, you know, that they do? And it is basically the business model. Um, they'll buy bigger quantities where possible, may go direct to the mine where possible. Well, even Steve in the past has actually uh, owned mines. That's how you get them as affordably as you do. We cut out multiple pairs of hands, all, if you like, taking their, their chunk of money from that. Now, make no doubt about it, every single one of these gems 
are top gem quality. So you could literally, if you're not a jewelry maker right now, and maybe you're an aspiring one, you could take these, put pen to paper, take it to a jeweler nearby to you and say, I want to design a piece of jewelry just like this. If you don't want to do that and you want to make your own piece, then we can equally teach you the skills. But this is the kind of piece, I'm not a silversmith, I'm not a goldsmith, but I, I'm obsessed with gemstones. I buy these and literally just put them in, in a safe place for, for my daughters for when they grow up. Mm -hmm. Because I'm effectively handing them a collection of gem, rare, genuine gemstones straight mm -hmm. away. Which will be even rarer by then as well. Yeah, precisely. And price points. You know, we've got, look at the quality. Let me just take the lid off this. Because the quality of each and every single one, if I can, that is. I've put myself under pressure now, haven't I? I, I, I want to take the, part, uh, the lid off just so you can see the quality of each of these stones. Our sister channel is celebrating an 18th birthday this, uh, this month. So 18 years of broadcasting uh, on, on our wonderful screens. Um, and, I, and Lindsay, who's presenting next door, she showed me some of her star by pieces. Make do, no doubt about it, these stones are of equal quality. Okay. I'm, go, I'm going to get them... Uh, no, let's just tilt them for you. Forward. Look at the tanzanite. So I'm just going to start start maybe from, from the tanzanite at the bottom. Look at those. Graded tanzanite quality. Moving along. Look at the quality of that Ethiopian opal. Oh, that's stunning. Yeah. Moving along. Tourmaline. You've got beautiful tourmaline. Upwards, you have... It does look like a sunstone. It does. It's sunstone to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Be oh, yes, yes, yes. You've got a beautiful sunstone, totally natural, moving along. A pair of gorgeous, gorgeous amethysts, which are incredible in their colour. Moving along. You have here an absolutely beautiful topaz, colourless topaz. Moving up, peridot. I love that peridot. Me too. It jumps out, doesn't it? Moving along, smoky quartz. Don't see smoky quartz very often. Love it. It's like a, a glass of champagne teamed with an espresso coffee. Mm. Moving along, emerald. A, it's a beautiful emerald. It is. It's not so deeply included that you're not seeing that vivacity and that intensity of colour. Moving upwards, you have more... I'm going to say... Is it... Yes. Yes. Yellow canary sapphire. Wow. I would say that's very paparazzo, yeah. Are we looking at the same one here, Ross? The one with the peachy colour. Absolutely. Canary Sapphire. The price this early bird's going to, I would pay for that parcel of sapphires on their own. Definitely. Actually, uh, uh, many of the stones. Moving along. Moonstone. That's a beauty. Beautiful moonstone. And last, but by no means least, sky blue topaz. Look at the quality of each and every single one. Sorry, appetite, sky blue appetite. Goodness me, again, the fact I'm, I, I'm mixing up appetite and topaz mm. um, tells you the quality well, of well, the appetite. I mean, rarely do we see a gem quality appetite. No. Rarely. I mean, I can't recall seeing They're normally quite opaque, aren't they? Yeah. They are normally quite opaque. Yeah. Um, but I literally thought that was a, a sky blue yeah. topaz. Yeah. Um, so indicating the quality of the brilliance that you're getting. Ten, carat, ten carats across 12 different beautiful, beautiful gemstones. But obviously you're getting more, you're getting more uh, individual stones because some of these are, are, are actually all actual parcels. I don't know why, but I'm thinking about the Harry Winston piece, which I've shown you in the past, that's literally got, uh, um, it's got uh, uh, turquoise and then it's got specetite garnet all the way around. And I'm not saying those gemstones are included, but it's that cabochon with those wonderful round brilliant cuts haloing that piece of jewellery. How much would you pay for that piece of jewellery, that Harry Winston style? Be inspired by said design and maybe recreate it yourself. Now, how about, you know that peridot, you know that topaz, you know that opal, you know those tanzanites, you know the tourmaline, you know the appetites, you know the sapphires, the emeralds. How about five pounds per box? Five pounds. Can you imagine going into a, um, a jeweler's and saying, can I have um, a cabochon cut uh, emerald, please? Mm -hmm. 
with that beautiful Jardin, that, those gorgeous colour. Yep. Uh, unmistakably emerald. Can I have it for five pounds, please? Well, jog on. Mm, exactly. On that's the what way. they'd say. Mm -hmm. They would. That's what they would say. Oh, yeah, definitely. Of course not. Well, if you can find it, dear, can you let me know? Because I'll buy loads of them. No that's need probably. to, because we're not even stopping there. Wow. How about if we said, you know, that emerald, as you mention it. Excuse me, Mr. Jeweler of luxury high-end gemstones. Please may I buy a vivacious glowing emerald. I don't want an opaque one. I want one that literally sings with colour. But I only want to give you £2.50. <laughs> yeah. That's what they would say. Sling your rook. Are you drunk? Sling your rook. OK, can I, buy, can I buy some really gorgeous canary sapphires for £2.50? You'd probably say, well, I wish, <coughs> I wish you could, but I haven't got any anyway. Uh, and if you do find them, let me know. Let me know. Let me know. We know, and that's a really good point, we know we have jewellers who shop direct from us here at Jewellery Maker. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't they, frankly? We're at £2.50 per pack, and we are not stopping. We've got 100 opportunities. Imagine, and this is how my mind works, and, and, and you might think differently, probably more logically than I do. But, you know, when my girls grow up, and, and hopefully they have the same passion of gemstones that I do, you know, I can literally say to them, here we go, here's a tray of beautiful Mother Nature gemstones. What do you think I'm going to forget? The price tag, definitely, for sure, and I absolutely should do, because no tanzanite should be £2.50, no opal should be £2.50, or tourmaline, or all of the above i'm giving them a collection of fine quality gemstones we were able to source an incredible 100 opportunities nobody is paying two pound 50 per stone wow. you know, these aren't just cabochons these aren't just opaque beads these are gem quality the price that we're taking these two you would pay for a parcel of Tanzanites. I mean, when you sort of mention about for your your two daughters, I mean, by then, Tanzanite in particular, but probably some of the other gemstones will be unaffordable. Yep. Because they will be um, unavailable. Yep. More than likely. Well, the conversation I had with Lindsay literally this morning, Lindsay uh, uh, on gems, she was showing me an amazing, amazing Tanzanite piece that she's got coming up during the birthday celebrations. I was like, wow, that's amazing. Um, but it's like three times the price that it once was when I was presenting on gems. Mm -hmm. be be because we Supply got... Supply and demand. It, it, exactly. And, and it is rarer. There's no doubt about it. It's, a, it's significantly rarer and much, much, much more expensive. Don't get me wrong, it's still an awesome, awesome deal. But, you know, back when we had accessibility to all of these gemstones, yes, we can negotiate on the price. We're at a ludicrous £20, and that's for the entire, entire box. You shouldn't pay £20 for the Ethiopian opal. You shouldn't pay £20 for the peridot, for the parcel of sapphires, oh, the parcel emerald. of tanzanites, the emerald. You're not even today going to be paying £20 for the entire box. In 60 seconds, we're going even lower. And, it, and we're not talking about a little price crash either. We're not just going to take 10% off that deal, which would be absolutely amazing. You, you get the, the, the tray as well. Just because we've mentioned the emerald a few times, I'm going to get that emerald out. You know what I'm going to do, don't you? Director Adam does. He knows what I'm going to do. I'm going to take that emerald, I'm going to put it in my diamond tweezers, and I'm going to... That's an engagement ring in anybody's book, isn't it? Without a shadow of a doubt, that's an engagement ring. Look at the quality. Can you imagine that set into um, that shank there? You talking high three figures, yep. if not four figures. Yeah, totally agree. Without a shadow of a doubt. I went out for lunch with Carol presenter Carol yesterday and she was wearing her emerald engagement ring. It's the first time I saw it. I oh, it's amazing, my eyes it? off it. It's amazing, yeah. It's a stunner. Absolutely um, amazing. And by the way, I think that's the same location as the one I'm holding here. Here's a Zambian, I believe. It's just so beautiful, the way the light hits it. 
It's got, it's got actually got clarity, that emerald. Yeah, it, ju just absolutely beautiful. Excluding the display case, excluding the individual boxes, you know, I, you know, we're just talking about the individual gemstones here, not even the parcels. Not that's one pound twenty four each. One pound twenty four. What? Mm. One pound twenty four for that opal. I bought five cooking apples yesterday, and it cost me more than that. Yes. Are you doing a crumble? Um, no, I'm doing a, an apple and something cake. I can't remember. Ooh, nice. Is, but I know I needed them. But five Bramley apples cost me more than that yesterday. Let's look at the Peridot. That's travelled over 50 miles to the Earth's surface. 50 miles. The whole, the whole geological mm -hmm. occurrence of that one gemstone forms really. within the Earth's mantle, literally pushed up through, uh, through tectonic plates and through what we call kimberlite pipes. 55 miles that, John, uh, that, that gemstone on its own has actually travelled. It's incredible. It's just incredible. I mean, surely that alone creates a premium and a rarity premium. Let's, let's well. go back to that conversation. Imagine you're going into a jeweller's that specialises in coloured gemstones. Um, there's one in Ulster near to me, which I, which, which I think of, and a lovely lady, she's a, her own jewellers, beautiful jewellers. If I went in there and said, um, uh, hello, Catherine, I would very much like to buy a parcel of canary sapphires. Um, could you offer me a parcel of sort of melee size, uh, vibrant canary sapphires? And all the opaque ones, I want them to have clarity, but I only want to give you 15 quid for them. Again, no. No, she would definitely not say yes. She definitely wouldn't say yes. And she definitely wouldn't say yes. I tell you what, here's a parcel of that quality that you're specifying and have some more stones for free. It's just, it's, it's madness, absolute madness. We had just over a hundred of these available. We are wow. down to the final 27. There are still loads of you with this in your baskets. Um, and I've got literally four rows of names. Four rows, too many of you to say hello to every single one of you, but Cheshire, Merthyr Tidfil, Henry, Barbara, Lanarkshire, Nigel, Sue, Sarah, Tracy, Judith, hello to you, Jill, Rachel, Kent, Zoe, Sean, Linda, Catherine, Warwickshire, uh, Suzanne, Mary, hello to you, Dorset, Romeo, hello to you, Elizabeth, Alison, uh, hello to you, Kim, Jennifer, Helen, Hayley, lots of multi buyers on this opportunity. I, I'm loving the sapphires. I would pay fourteen ninety nine for those sapphires, mm -hmm. for those on their own. And do you know what? I would put the sapphires, ooh, maybe around. Oh, I don't know. Would you? Sir, what, what, what combinations would you use? I, I those canary sapphires look exquisite with that peridot. Yeah. Um, and also with the emerald, you've what got about, a little bit of a contrast then. What about actually for those of you that do uh, drilling in your pearls? actually setting a canary sapphire in a Into big rock pearl. Baroque, which, by pearl. the way, we've got coming up at some point, haven't we? When we're doing the big rock pearls in the next hour, one individual rock pearl. Oh, I might fall off my chair. Don't do that. Okay. I know, and that's a big deal. Big, big deal. Can I also tease you with something else? Like the Tanzanite with those... Um... With those sapphires, the Tanzanite. Oh, nice. Sapphires, wouldn't like as a tennis bracelet. How about one of the world's top 10 rarest gemstones? Oh, gosh. If these don't sell out, I'll buy them. The biggest single solitaire of... That's ridiculous quality. R Ross, Ross, what are these going to? No. Do you know... I, I know you're all jewellery makers, I know that. But can I just say something... You could literally buy that and sell it at a significant profit, profit straight away without doing anything to it. Definitely. Can we show, because this, only because this photograph, the photograph on Forbes magazine that discusses the top 10 rarest gemstones. I know our regular viewers already know this. Grand Digirite uh, Grand is situated in the top of the top 10. So there's mm -hmm. over 4,000 minerals on this planet. Grand Digirite is in the top 10. And by the way, that's going up because the one source of location in Madagascar is mined out. The photograph I'm about to show you, make a comparison. In fact, we'll even pause it for you. 
I, I, it literally, oh, it's better. it is better. It's better. Absolutely, the colours better. better. The, 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 the translucency is better. It's yes. More, it's got more gemstone yeah. uh, characteristics, hasn't it? Look at that one. Big black inclusion. You expect to have, by the way, a, 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 an amount of inclusions in Grand That's Digital, like an right? emerald, isn't it? You yes. explored them. But ours is better. So what did these, what's the price that they say above? $20,000 per carat. So that may, this is what, three carats? I want to buy these. I don't have the money, to be honest, after, after, after the holiday. But I'd be mad not to buy this. I would be... Do you agree, Linda? I do agree, definitely. Right. I've got a very low interest loan, if you like. Yeah, have you? Yeah. Have you? Very low interest, yeah. I promise I'll make you a good return. OK. Because I could literally walk this to a jeweller's... Mm -hmm. Look at that. And say, would you like to purchase one of the world's rarest gemstones? And they would absolutely, absolutely snatch my hand off. Look at the quality of that grandage, right? Now, I'm going to show you a deal. And this is already way, way, way too low. That colour. Look at that colour. Big collector, Alison Welder. I have a couple of these. Do you, Alison... They are unreal. And Alison, by the way, if you want any contacts in Hatton Garden, I can certainly hook you up. Because this is the kind of stone that they'd want to buy. Definitely. Definitely. The first price crash that you are not paying for, I'll say it, the best grand digerite I've seen in person. Mm -hmm, I agree with you. I mean, I, I can see those bezel set in, in um, A sitting carat gold. As earrings. Yeah. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Wow. With big diamonds all the way around. Mm. Who did this? Uh, no, who did that, Ross? I... It was only the plummet prince, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, stop it. No, stop it. This is... If, I, do you know what? Do you know what? If you don't buy it, I will. It's that, yeah. I've never seen... This is my first experience of it. I've never auctioned this. I would literally buy all 12. Literally buy all 12. You don't have to even make that into a piece of jewellery to make profit. It's Grand Digirite, and it's amazing quality Grand Digirite too. Gosh, it's mes mesmerising, isn't it, watching it there? There's, you know, you see something oh. different in that stone every time it comes round... I love those deep uh, blue. You want to dive into it, don't you? Yeah, it's like a, it's, a crystal pool, isn't it? It's one of the world's rarest gemstones. You think diamonds are rare? You think tanzanites are rare? Grand Digerite is a whole other stratosphere of rare. Geologically, it's sold out. Oh, my goodness me. I would have, and that would have been a great price, Ross. If that was £149, that would have been, do you know, that would have been ridiculous too. I don't know how, how we've managed. To, if any of those fall back, I'm going to wish list that. Unbelievable. I'm, I'm genuinely speechless on that deal. Genuinely speechless. And Liam Dickens, what was that price? Great for you, great for you. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Whew. Blowing my mind, that has. OK. Where do we go from there? You're lost for words, aren't no, you? No, I was just imagining it, because I've still got this Olmec Jade here. Oh, they're quite similar. And I can imagine that, removing that gold bead there and popping that uh, Grand Digirite in there. Wow, what a piece of jewellery. Olmec Blue Jadeite and Grand Digirite. Yeah. Two of the top ten, really. Yeah. Wow. Well done, lovely jewellery makers. We have got your essential sterling silver featherweight headpins bundle coming up as well in the next hour. We've also got the most breathtaking kits. But do know that these are limited. And they will sell out, no doubt about that at all. Um, as I said at the beginning of this show, the best way to describe this show today is simply beautiful.
Hey guys, I'd love for you to join me this Friday where I'm launching a brand new gemstone. Now this variety is something I'm sure you won't have seen before. I've certainly never bought it to your screens. We are of course talking about a natural new variety of blue lace agate. This is considered by many to be one of the most expensive forms of agate, certainly one of the rarest. And when you see this kind of quad A grade that I'll be bringing to you, um, I, I think you're gonna go wild. I, I hope you get in early because we are very limited, but I cannot wait to talk to you about this legendary discovery. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Make sure you go to our website at www.jewelrymaker.com. We have got over a thousand lines going into a huge online exclusive clearance with up to 95% off prices. Wow. See you there. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Oh, welcome back, lovely jewellery makers. I told you it was a stunner of a show. Well done, everybody. And if you think we've peaked, we've peaked too soon. Actually, there's so much more still to bring you. I mean, as Coco Chanel once said, every woman deserves ropes and ropes of pearls. Totally she did, yes. Absolutely she did. Well, this is the perfect hour for yeah. you if you literally want to drape yourself. And you called them, what do you call it, the teardrops of mermaids? Yeah, they're, 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 they're sort of known um, in, um, uh, you know that book I was talking to you about, about, and I've forgotten the gentleman's name, I wrote it. I've lent my copy to Dave Truff. If you're listening, Dave, I hope you've brought it back from holiday. Uh, um, I've forgotten the guy's name, but it was... Secrets of a Gem Strade? It's, no, it's a book purely on pearls. Okay. And the title is... Um, 
pearls, teardrops of mermaids, <sighs> um, or tears of mermaids. I mean, it is the most exquisite, the most simplest of gems, yet it's been, it, it's one of those gems, that's what I'm going to call it, because it's an organic, it's not a gemstone, but it's a gem that has related to all fashion throughout the centuries. Yeah. You know, right back, I mean, a big aficionado of pearls, obviously, was Queen Elizabeth I and prior to that. And she, prior to Coco Chanel, draped herself in ropes and ropes of pearls. And, of course, Cleopatra. Yeah, well, that's going Cleopatra. back even further. Even yeah. further. Well, it is the, you know, in terms of gems, it's, it's the gem that is born consummately beautiful without any, any enhancement whatsoever. Totally. You know, a diamond yeah. rough is calibrated, it's polished. A pearl is literally cultured and they come from the mollusk of this beauty. Now, you've got your featherweight headpins coming up. Can we pre they are available on pre-order, so your sterling silver featherweight headpins are coming up. Am I going to start with this? One of the most limited kits that we've ever had. Do you want to know how many? Ten. That's why I didn't get one sent to me then. Aha. Uh -huh. But this is, I mean, seriously, look at how many pearls you're getting here. This is heavy, by the way, as well. God, that's stunning. Look at how beautiful. Can I read, can I... Humour me a second. Imagine. Oof. Just imagine. I mean, there's so much you can do with um, those strands of pearls because you've got so many. You can do that cowl-like neckline piece that you oh. just sort of shown. Um, look how they lay, how fluid they are, and stunning and beautiful. They are the most elegant of uh, gems, aren't they? Well, there was an article that I read recently, and it actually said, are pearls the new diamonds? And I think that's potential. You know, they've always been relevant, haven't they? They've always been popular, but... Um, uh, th have you noticed that actually pearls more so well, not as I was say more so but they're as much on the red carpet as diamonds actually are yeah, they are and not just with ladies they were gents as well yes with gents too I'm looking at how many strands am I actually holding here Ross 15 strands seven to nine millimeters wow wait 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 is this, uh, have you got the item code? So hang on, it's not 15. Is it these as well? So you actually get 20, then you get three of these. One rice, which is this one here, which are eight to nine millimeters. One potato, which is seven to eight millimetres, and then another, which is nine to ten. Don't mix those up, Elle. So that's now 18 strands. And these down here. Wow. What a pearl party you've got there. Oh, my goodness me. Wow. Look at the size of these. Four to five millimetres and 11 to 12 millimetres. 20 strands of genuine cultured pearls. Do you think we're done there? No, we're not. I'm actually struggling to get hold of everything here. Hang on. Silk. If you have pearls, then most of us will immediately think of silks in terms of your knotting. Well, check out these lovely colours. So you've got here a really beautiful, almost like a soft sage green. I'm going to have to lay it down on the desk. You've got your classic white silk. You've got a beautiful uh, 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 royal blue. You've got a powder blue. You've got a dusky pink just here. You've got a beautiful purple. These are all pre-threaded, by the way. And you have that wonderful nude tone. Seven cards, seven cards of silk. There are 10 of this kit available. 20 strands 
of beautiful, genuine pearls. We're not talking about faux, simulated, or even shell. Each and every single one of these gorgeous organic gemstones has formed within a mollusk, has taken literally months, if not years, to cultivate. I had 10, we're down to nine. If ever you've wanted to start a fully fledged pearl business, then this is the perfect example, perfect opportunity, because you will make so much jewelry out of this, won't you? Absolutely, tons of jewelry. And what, oh. you know, to receive that and then just open them and just put them down on your work table and look at them, it's so inspirational. But because you've got such quantity, the sky is literally the limit. The size on those, we're going to do this in one price crash because half the stock's already gone. The best price we can, uh, we can possibly offer you for 20 strands of genuine pearls. This is madness. £10 per strand. Wow. And you can get hold of it on split pay. Do you know what? I've, uh, it, this makes me think of a conversation that I had with my dad years ago, and I actually said I should be buying pills from jewellery maker, knotting them, and, 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 and this should be a business on the side for me. I should we should all absolutely be doing that because the prices that jewellery maker offer for, for, for fine quality pearls is absolutely, I believe, genuinely unbeatable. Next time, next time, there's two of these left, by the way. Next time you're in your local high street and you walk past somewhere like Ernest Jones, have a little look at a, just a simple, stranded pearl necklace. You'd be talking more than the price tag on the screen. Well, I've got a one strand of five mil potato pearls, which mm. my husband bought me for our 30th wedding anniversary. And I know it was £774. From a high street uh, jeweller. One strand. One. Beautiful. Yeah. Potato pearls, did you potato say? Potato pearls, five mil. Five millimetre. Mm -hmm. These are, some of these are potato pearls, some of them are, are, are drop pearls, rice pearls. 27 of you. Have a little look at the core screen. Have a little look at the core screen. We only had 10 at the very beginning. Are we, can we, are we able to show that? On this side of the call screen, sorry, Jimmy, um, that's how many of you have that final one in your baskets. Well, you do the maths. You do the maths. I only had 10 at the beginning. So if you see your name on this side of the screen, yeah, there, if you see your name this side of the screen, Barbara, we haven't got nine, lovely. Gloria, it, there's one of these left. Isle of Wight, Sheila, Herefordshire, Amanda, Sharon, Nancy, Somerset, Patricia, Berkshire, Carol, new customer, Haley. Again, I can see people with fours in their baskets. We don't have four. We have just one remaining. Twos, yeah. Nines, we don't have that quantity. Well done, Heather, Virginia, Shawlene, Cheshire, Valentina, East Sussex, Angela, and London. So one, two, three, four, five. Is that, yeah, literally nine of those. Um, I've got one left in the vault. That's the biggest kit I've ever seen. The biggest kit. Well, it's, it's probably the most luxurious oh, kit as well, isn't it? Unbelievable. I mean, um, wow, I wish I'd have received that kit. I know, me too. Wow. Me too. Look at all so of those. Scope. Ooh. Now, there is still one available. Well, if it's still there after the show, I'm having it for yep. sure. Don't blame you. Absolutely. And I'll wrestle L for that. And... You get the silk as well to go alongside it, which is like gold dust, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely it is. Literally like gold dust. So you've got two metres on each of these cards. It's sold out. Well done, Nancy. Congratulations to you. Um, amazing. Do you know what? I'd have paid £199 for this one. I oh, know. It's a stunning. Because they're huge. The size of it. Absolutely huge. Well done. Well done. So sorry to those of you that missed out. We have got more amazing pills. Should we do the bee? Can we do the bumblebee? I love it. Would you mind passing me your beautiful bracelet? No, not at all. Now, this is brand new, premiering today. Never been seen before. And do you know, I made, I made a bee line. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. I'm, yeah, I'm not going to be a stand-up comedian, am I, Ross? <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I actually did, did genuinely make a bee line for this bracelet. 
<coughs> it wasn't funny the first time, Al. Um, yeah, no, I saw this piece. I'm going to roll with it at least until I get a titter. So one of you's got to have a little. There we go. That's that's good enough there for me. You go. <laughs> it's, it's, it's <laughs> um, uh, the reason why I went for a bracelet uh, with this absolutely beautiful little B clip is because the wearer can see it all the oh. time. That's that's the reasoning behind oh, it. Oh, look, and he's feeding on the pearl. Yeah. The detail. Yeah. Come on, come on, little guy. If I actually look at that, the detail within the bee, the movement of the wings, the parve setting, the fact that you've got, I don't even know what you would describe that. Uh, uh, um, what do you describe their wings? You know, the patterns within a bee's wings. They're it's like, like the structure, basically. So yeah. I'm looking for another word of the structure. Well, in, in real life, they're like a gossamer wing, aren't they? Yeah. That's sort of the styration through. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to turn him on his side so you can see also how he clips together. Because it is basically a clip, isn't it's it? It's just a little clip, yes, you can see that. So he's on and offable? Yeah, absolutely, totally. There you go. And, and since... You just unclip him oh. and clip him where you want. Again, it can be popped on anything that you want. I mean, it would look absolutely Oh, they'd be lovely together. A, um, a waterfall of, of the pearls on the end as a brooch or as a clip for a pashmina or something like that. Amazing. I, I like the idea of wearing two together. So do I, yeah. Because then they're little... Uh, I want know. it to be together. Ah, oh, that's, that's almost as bad as mine. Well, a bit, bit too, too, yeah. Yeah, almost as bad as my one. <laughs> Shall we quit while we're ahead? Yeah, I yeah. Think so, yeah. Um, oh my goodness, now this is, there's 74 of this kit, I want to buy this kit as well. You know, with the likes of Alex Munro, Lily Rose, lots of big designers all incorporating, uh, um, uh, Elizabeth Scarlett's another uh, another designer mm, I'm really following yeah, at the moment, yeah, she does, the, she does embroider... Accessories, the bags and things. You do? Yeah. I've, I've, I've bought Hannah that for Christmas. Yeah, I bought loads last Christmas. Did for, you? Yeah, I've got four nieces, four grown-up nieces. They're so beautiful. So they, she yeah. does lots of embroidery work, doesn't she? But yeah. lots of big designers are really raising the awareness, if you like, for our need to obviously look after our, uh, the bee population. Um, so love the detail. I'll go as far as saying this is probably the most detailed bee that we've ever brought to wear. He's big too. Um, if I actually put my hand behind, you can see there. He's, you know, it's a big statement piece of sterling silver. You don't just get this, though, because you also get some of your lovely purple silk. You're also... No, you're not. You're yeah, getting yeah. the gold. gold. That's right, yeah. And sorry. also, you know, the, the little pearl, sorry, the, the little pearl with the, the pearl that the bee is feeding off is in with the... Oh! I haven't got it here because I didn't have a second sample. Oh, you get a half drill pearl? Yeah, half drill I pearl. thought that was a Linda edition. No, it's a half drill pearl, which I actually, using a featherweight head pin, put the tiniest little bit of glue on the featherweight head pin, Popped it into the half drilled pearl, let it cure for about 10 minutes, and then did a loop. And he literally looks like he's feeding. You know, it's lovely, isn't it's it? It's beautiful. Yeah. I love this piece. So obviously you get your lovely little bumblebee, and you're getting the most amazing strand of pearls. So if you want to recreate this beauty... Oh! Wait, yeah. wait, wait. Wait, it's a metre. It's... Mm -hmm. <laughs> I spent lots of money yesterday. I spent lots of money the day before, and now I'm shopping again today. I'm literally going to be working for yeah, free. Yeah, well, you know, us ladies, we can't really ignore a deal. I'm not going to say bargain. I don't like that word. No, it's not when deal. it's as luxurious as this. No. Um, I mean, if Coco was alive today and watching Jewelry Maker, she'd be buying everything in this. For place. sure, for sure. I need, uh, I need you to have that conversation with my husband. Um, a metre of genuine cultured pearls with the lovely little bumblebee, which I love it. I absolutely love all that detail, all the sterling silver. Now, I know the price that this kit is going to, and I would happily pay that for either the pearls or the bee, or the yeah, bee yeah. on its own. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Parve set. You've got, uh, within the actual bumblebee itself, you've got the pendant, so that, you know, that is included. Um, you've got beautiful cubic zirconia bringing you that sort of the bumblebee fuzzy bottom. Yep. Love it. Absolutely love it. How about £100? I'm more than happy. Are you happy? How about for the 74 that we have? Am I missing something here? Oh, it's the meter doubled over. There we go. How about we half that price tag? The Sterling Silver Bee is not available on its own. Only available within its kit. 
only available in its kit. And frankly, three grams that you're getting. If ever you want to uh, put a smile on your face, just Google bees asleep in a flower. They're the sweetest. It's just the cutest. The little feet sticking out the back of a flower. They, they're fascinating. I've got quite a lot of lavender um, in the garden and it's quite near to the house. And in the early evening, if my husband and I go out and have a glass of wine or something out there, it's just they're fascinating watching them. Yeah. Look at those. Love this. So designer. But I have to say probably even more. I have the Alex Monroe Bumblebee pendant. My husband bought me that for, I think it was Mother's Day, I think, um, a few years ago. And, and I love it and I wear it all the time. Firstly, I know the price tag of it. It was, it was definitely a three-figured piece. Um, but... Also, the detail's not as much as this. No, I mean, it is an iconic um, icon, yeah. isn't it, a bee? It's, again, it, it's an emotional creature, isn't it, really? It's, um, it gives back, doesn't it, a bee? It takes and keeps the garden healthy, and then it gives us all that gorgeous honey. Yeah. Um, ultimately, vegetables too, don't yeah, they? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Cross-pollination. Cross-pollination. We're at £49.99. pence. There it is. There we go. So I have this, this exact necklace, and I absolutely love it. This is the Alex Munro, uh, and as you said, it is iconic. Uh, the Bumblebee necklace, the original design, beloved by Alex Munro team. Fans and celebrities alike, hand-textured with exquisite detailing. Our Bumblebee has been a favourite for over a decade, and it is absolutely beautiful. £144 for that necklace. I love it. I absolutely love it. This is a different version. You don't just get the bumblebee. You're also getting your half drill pearls. You're getting your silk and a metre of genuine cultured pearls. And we're going to take it even lower. All chances that I have of owning this amazing kit are literally flying out the window. <laughs> Sorry, I'll stop. <laughs> In 60 seconds... Going lower, going lower. Do you want me to show you how the bumblebee clip actually works? Because it's just basically, it is like a brooch fastening, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. That's why it leaves itself open for a variety of jewellery making uses and inclusions as well. Yeah, it's not just you to know, go, you, you could use... You can use it in many different ways. Just, you know, think outside the box. What about with the monochrome hour that we've got coming up? Absolutely. Be beautiful, wouldn't they, alongside the monochrome hour? And you went know, popped into that gorgeous old mech jade where the oh. gold bead was as well. <gasps> just an idea. If you got our early bird, that collection of, uh, of, chains. of gems, um, or chains, chains, yeah, but chains. imagine one of those yellow sapphires literally glued on the top. Oh, yeah. Can you imagine? Just literally glue them on the back of the bumblebee. We're going even lower. Straight away, we've got lots of wonderful, wonderful collectors getting involved. A full metre of cultured pearls, silk, and then the detail of your beautiful bumblebee clip. You know, it's on and offable. It's interchangeable. It's something that you could wear with mul a multitude of necklaces that you might have already within your collection. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. You can add, can't you? Um, yeah. To any and even just clipped onto like a buttonhole. Oh, really something nice. Yeah, like that's that. a good idea. You know, there's so many different ways you can Thirty nine ninety nine. 99 wow. For, for, for how many grams did you say there was in the, in the actual? Three. three grams in the bumblebee on its own. A full metre of pearls. There are multi buyers on this kit, and not surprised. Valentina, Karen, Vivian, Nicolette, Janice, new customer Irene, Gabrielle, Anne, Susan, Maureen, Cheshire, Johnny, Virginia, Lynn in Kent, multi buying. Valentina, you've come in and bought another one. I don't blame you. Uh, Bryony, hello to you. Ayrshire, Pauline, Kim, uh, Lynn, Patricia, Anita, Somerset, Sheila, Barbara. Oh, there's loads of you there. Gloria, make sure you do check out your baskets. Gloria, you had to, you've had a great run on the Wall of Fame if it is that same Gloria. Um, Gloria won twice. Two weeks on wow, uh, two well weeks done. on oh, We said well you need to buy yourself a lottery ticket as well. Yeah. Because clearly, clearly, um, your luck is in. Mm -hmm. um, we've got more kits to bring you. We've got some of the lovely seed pearls to bring you as well that will go perfectly, as, as Linda has done, incorporating them mm -hmm. into this beautiful Absolutely. bracelet. Yeah. Um, if you want to recreate that, the kits are coming up with some additional sterling silver embellishments as well. Keep dialing through. This is only, there was only 74 of these and they are absolutely flying out the door. Um, any questions that you have for lovely uh, Linda, then do text in, I'll of course. Be back. You nick Thank your you. bumblebee back. Thank you very much. Do you need anything else? I'm going to actually 
Nick, uh, Nick the Nick strand the seed of pearls. pearls from okay. the next kit. Amazing. Um, Take it away. We've got the gorgeous silks, obviously, um, in both kits. This mustardy coloured one is the one with the, the kit that's just been on air, and then you've got like an amethyst purple. Um, I love the gold though with it. I yeah, think it's a really nice idea with absolutely. the bumblebee. Absolutely, yeah, definitely. Um, now I won't go through threading um, these because it won't it won't be sort of the most entertaining um, of demos. But to start at the very beginning, you simply unwind the whole of the length of silk from its little card mm -hmm. and. What I did was I got a little sterling silver jump ring and I've knotted that on. Mm -hmm. um, you can crimp bead it on if you want to. If you want to crimp bead it on, then just put a little bit of glue and let it cure. Just a tiny bit of E6000 super glue or something like that on the end um, in order to change that into a needle. Because obviously there's only the needle at the one end. Um, but you always start at the open end. So when you've used up the amount of silk that you need for whatever project you're doing, you then cut off, obviously cut that off, and then the residue has still got the needle annexed onto the silk, which is like a piece of wire, <coughs> which is so useful, because obviously this silk is, is quite wide to get through the whole of a needle. And also with pearls, they're always, because they're pearls, they're drilled as a small, a possible a drill hole as the, uh, the pearl driller can uh, can make to them so you pop on your jump ring and just leave it at that so you can then work out the type of clasp from your stash or whatever at a, um, a, a later time and then simply thread your pearls now what i did i'll just count them to be honest so that i can let you know just thinking out loud we actually had some jade sterling silver clasps yesterday that would be Beautiful. lovely with it absolutely stunning yeah, yeah. So I threaded on, um, you can see just here, there's a, a crimp there on that one side and that one is just knotted on. Um, I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, I thought it was, fourteen of the seed pearls and then I popped in one of the larger round pearls. And then I did, I think it was, I don't know, it was fourteen or twelve, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen again and then another of the round pearls, and then 14 back. And obviously, again, either knot on or crimp bead on uh, to a jump ring, and then attach your clasp of choice. Now, when you have completed that, it's entirely up to you where you pop your, your little bee. So if I take the strand that's on its temporary thread, um, don't be tempted, and it is tempting, to use the thread that it's already threaded onto, because this will not be a silk thread. Mm. It'll be a polyester thread, which will wear and tear um, yeah. quite quickly. So, um, the best place to pop it is, there isn't really a centre to a bracelet because obviously it moves around the wrist. So it's entirely up to you. I did sort of centralise it purely for um, the sort of display uh, in the studio. Um, but things like this look really nice by the, um, sort of finishing up by the clasp. So all you do when you've finished and decided where you're popping it, you open, as Elle showed you, and then you pop, the B on you can feel it it's very strong you can feel it it's on a hinge here so you can feel it click back you know very uh, strong and then it just like on a bracelet a kind of tennis bracelet something it just goes into there's a little bit of sterling silver with a bobble on that goes into that very strong clasp there so you can pop it wherever you want to um, so just play around with it really and you may want it would look really stunning on a tassel so you could you could use the larger <coughs> pearls as the neckline and then you could tassel down either from the bee or you could pop the bee on the end of the tassel entirely up to you but there's a multitude of ways you can use that decorative piece um, and then 
if you want to attach the little, I have to pinch that out of the. What do you want? What are you the after? The single pearl. Single pearl? Yeah. Here we go. And this is a half drill pearl. So as I just explained, can I have a feather white head pin? Of course you can. We've got those coming up this hour as well. So we've got plenty of head pins here in the studio. They are available on pre-order. I know that would have been a Linda request. Well, I'm absolutely obsessed with feather white head pins. They are so useful. You can see how that little drill hole there. So if you put a little bit of glue on the, probably the first two or three mils of the head pin, don't put it on the pearl, it'll spread. Just put it on uh, the head pin itself, about two or three mils, and then pop that in. You can feel um, when it hits the undrill part of the pearl, and then just simply leave that sitting. It's, it hasn't got the glue on it, so it's not getting any purchase there, but just leave that sitting on um, your work surface, uh, on your workbench, whatever, for about 10 minutes. And then obviously take it up and make sure it's, it's well um, stuck on. And then if I just take that out now, and then if you imagine the pearls on the end, just take your round nose pliers and then do half a uh, wrap loop, which is pushing away, bringing your pliers around and then bringing it to that, what I call a question mark stage there. And then imagine the pearls inside the um, head pin. And then I'm just going to take that little bobble off the top of the featherweight head pin. And I'm not throwing it away. I keep that because I put it into resin and all sorts of things. And then it's simply with the B itself, I'll take the B off you can put it on when it's on the pearls or not close it up and then you can slip your head pin through it all depends which end you want to put it i had it i think i put he's feeding so he's by the top yeah. isn't he so you can see here where the head on the head there is a little piece of silver coming down to fashion that clip so you can pop that through there let it drop down and then steady right on that loop, that half loop you've made, and then bring your little bit of excess around the head pin. Use as much as you possibly can of that excess, and then just chop off that last little bit. Don't forget these are sterling silver. Keep that little bit. And then the you could leave, to be honest, you could, if I just sort of pop that into the pearl, then you could actually leave the length of that head pin mm. if you wanted to, almost like a, a little pollen drop or something. Um, it's entirely up to you, but that would be nice around the neckline, dropping from the little bee, or um, you would obviously trim your head pin off on top of the pearl itself and then cut off the excess. So there is a multitude of way of using them. Also, I just thought if you've got any of the, um, the small seed pearls left, you could load that head pin with a small one. Oh, so that nice. it's got so that's the larger power. one then, and then you've got the, you know, this that's loaded with the seed pearl. Well, like, like a bubble style. Yeah. Um, I'm looking across at your earrings. The, the, the bee could kind of, kind of clip on there, couldn't he? Yeah, absolutely. So he's kind yeah, of uh, so, yeah, on a little absolutely. flower bud. Yeah, definitely. See, so you can have them um, sort of that design down to that half-drill pearl there. It's just, you know the, the mechanics, the techniques, the good old simple wrap loop, etc. is all you need to sort of nail when you're making jewellery like this. Um, and you know those techniques. It's basically using those same techniques time and time again, but using them within a design process. Mm. They will work within so many design processes. Um, it still surprises me how many times I utilise those loops. Oh, it, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful, it. beautiful kit. Thank you so much, Linda, for some stunning, stunning makes as always. Lots of you still have this kit within your basket. 
Um, check that out. So that's getting you the sterling silver brand new bumblebee with all that wonderful detail and a big gram weight of precious metal. Plus then you're getting the meter long length of cultured pearls and of course that lovely amber colored silk. That's a mad 39.99. There are still a couple of uh, uh, these available. Um, but we've got loads of you with it still in your baskets. Patricia, June, Bedfordshire, Anne, Carola, Amanda, Lynn, Patricia, Anita, Somerset, Sheila, Barbara, Dorset, Cheshire, Gloria, Elizabeth. Um, still with it in their basket. We, uh, Yeah, I mean, we are down to the final, what, 20%, I believe, in stock. We're over allocated. Now, I've got one more kit to actually bring you, um, which in, uh, I know, Linda, you've actually incorporated it into yeah. your beautiful jewellery. Mm -hmm. This kit more further stirs silver components so it's the seed pearls now it many people think the smaller the pearl the less expensive they are and it's not always the case because actually you're basically cutting off a culturing process shorter so obviously they are much smaller you've still got that that process and you know and the development and the, the difficult stages if you like of, of nucleating the oyster uh, or the mollusk itself. So sea pearls, there's that. They're smaller and we're shortening that culturing process by bringing them to you at this size. Plus the risk is far greater because to drill a pearl is a risk. You're, you're basically drilling a hole through the center of them. Now, the larger the pearls are, the easier that is to achieve. But when they're smaller pearls, it is there's far more casualties. Much of your pearlescent paint or your makeup, for example, uh, will actually come from actual pearls that have been broken during the drilling process. So that's why, quite simply, we don't actually have a huge amount of sea pearls on our screens. Now, take a little look at this beautiful strand, how amazing that golden luster is. is. Of the five virtues, most pearl experts would agree the most important virtue is luster. That's the, how bright that nacre surface is, how mirror-like it is. Um, yeah, a, a, and a brighter luster generally means, means a bigger nacre. So these will have a very small, teeny weeny bead in the center surrounded by nacre. And that's how you're getting this wonderful liquid-like golden luster, very Akoya-esque, uh, Linda very. and I actually mm -hmm. mentioned a few moments ago. You're not just getting the one strand because I only have one here in the studio. You do get two, right? Oh, I beg you, you only get, I oh, beg your pardon, beg your pardon, I was thinking about the other deal. One of your, look at that colour. It's beautiful, isn't it? Look oh, at that colour. Aha, that's where I'm getting confused. Sorry, Roscoe. This kit comes with the sterling silver celestial star. Oh, my goodness me. You're getting the beautiful celestial star. That's not cubic zirconia uh, within your star. It is natural white zircon. Wow. Yeah. Still not done. Because we have one of your natural sink, silk cards. Two meters, pre-threaded, onto a needle, literally use if you've got any of the of the pearl deals coming up use them all together i think that's the joy of these kits you can sort of take a little bit out of each of them to actually really uh, uh fashion your amazing designs 49 pounds and 99 pence genuine zircon not cubic zirconia so you have a, a, an amazing mother nature gemstone within your celestial star and that connector that could easily be a pendant as well if you wanted to yeah uh, absolutely it. i mean it, it makes um a beautiful connector obviously you've got that solder jump ring either uh, on either end point north and south but also as a pendant you've got your jump ring let's say at the top you've yep. also got that one then that goes in that six o'clock position that you can drop from yeah which you have done in your piece 49 pounds and 99 pence an amazing deal for such beautiful lustrous pearls how many do we have of these there's 90 i want this kit because sea pills are like gold dust and they always have been actually for the 12 years we've been yeah. broadcast sea pills have always been uh, one of the sizes that we sell out of so frequently. How about today, first come, first serve, we half that price. You'd pay that for the celestial star on its own. 
But that's what's going to happen. Absolutely. I think this beautiful connector stroke pendant, stroke charm, with your slider bracelets, with your deal of the day that's coming up as well. You'd pay $24.99 for that, all the meaning behind a celestial star. But you are getting your genuine, beautiful, Akoya rich light color. I'm not saying they are Akoya pearls, but they have that golden light beauty that attracts us to an Akoya pearl. Um, in a seed pearl size. So these are actually measuring between three and four millimeters. Fantastic if you want to use them to create things like your uh, sort of bubble style pearls without them being too heavy. Exactly, so they make a great waterfall earring. Yeah, lovely. You know, um, I mean, it, pearls are significant um, in the uh, jewelry industry mm -hmm. for lots of, uh, well, let's say in the bridal industry, obviously we all know that. But also, um, it's just such a beautiful gem to dress up any outfit. Again, the breakfast to dinner type of outfit. And um, significantly, and you will read this in, in the press, in, in um, jewellery magazines, in you know, general women's magazines, that pearls are now being worn more and more by younger and younger Absolutely, people. Absolutely, I mean, yeah. I've got four nieces, the eldest of who is 26 and the youngest one is just 18. And they adore pearls. In fact, Charlotte, the eldest one, um, I made her wedding jewellery. She got married in July and it was all pearls. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and her I, I agree. was encrusted in pearls. Oh, beautiful. I agree. Like I said, when I went on, uh, when I went on holiday, the jewellery that I made for myself was pearls. Mm -hmm. It was absolutely pearls. Because I know that's the it's kind of thing It's significant yeah. for brides. No. And, and for like mother of the bride, mother of yeah, the groom perfect. sort of thing. It's so wearable. Now, yes, Ross, due to popular demand, you haven't. Are we allowed to do this? He says, oh, true. <laughs> he says, I've managed to get the bumblebee on its own, but there are only 30. Now, I'm, I'm thinking if you want to get additional bumblebees to go with your kits, it is still much more cost effective to buy the kit. If you want the bee, the kit's the best price point because obviously you're getting a meter of pearls and your silk in there as well. But for those of you that have asked for the bumblebee, we're not meant to do this. How often do you hear me say, no, only available in the kit? It does mean, however, though, by releasing those last 30, you could use them as earrings. Oh, yes. Can you? I, and, and by this, like I said, the jewellery that I made to go on holiday, lots of long line pearl and jade necklaces that I wore all the time, I can clip this onto them. Absolutely. It come, hey, it comes with the pearl. Can I steal that pearl back? Oh, yes. Yes, it does come And by with the that. way, the featherweight head pins are coming up. Oh, you do want this on its own. There's loads of you wanted it on its own. Amazing, amazing, amazing. There he is. Let's turn him that way because I love to see his little face. The detail on this bee is absolutely amazing. It is, isn't it? I mean, that's... Wait, wait, wait. Do you know what I've just spotted? Significant work. Do you know what I've just spotted? What have you spotted? It's got a peg. Has it? Oh, I didn't spot that. Oh, the, so the pearl can go on its back. Oh, why didn't I notice that? The pearl sits on his back. Oh. The pearl sits... Oh, my goodness. I mean, wow. I'm going your way too because he looks like he's feeding. But Yeah, but that, because you did say, you know, one of the um, sapphires from the yeah, gemstone which... box could sit on its back. Um, I did not see that. I should have done, but I did. I've only just spotted it as well, and I've been. We've got yeah. we've got a camera under magnification yeah. here. But there is a there is a peg, and you get your half drill pearl, and that's what it's for. Oh, there is two. <laughs> Twenty four ninety nine. Yeah, not There is a peg. There's a peg. <laughs> oh my goodness me! Three grams of sterling silver. Oh, you want this? Some of you are gonna miss out. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Please be quick. Please. Be. It's gone. Well done. Yeah, well, it would, wouldn't it? Absolutely fly. <laughs> Literally. He's so cute. He's so, so cute. incredibly cute. So cute. I love him. Yeah. Absolutely love him. Well done, everybody. Well done. Don't forget, your deal of the day is actually coming. What? Where is this time gone? You've got your deal of the day, which is your diamond cut sterling silver spacer beads that will be absolutely perfect across the entirety of the show. Linda's amazing kits, your masterclass, of course. Your, de uh, your deal of the day will look amazing with your monochrome hour as well. Here they are, diamond cut precision, beautiful. They've got five different designs 
all set in 925 sterling silver. They're four mil, by the way, in their size for those of you that are actually asking. They're coming up, an absolutely amazing deal. Also, we have what? Oh, yes, I did spot. Of course I spotted this. Wow. Of course. Natural peach freshwater cultured pearl. That's a beauty, isn't it? Isn't Look it? Look at the luster on that. Oh. Look at that. Oh, it's a stunner, isn't it? It's oh perfect. Oh, my it's goodness. It's perfect, isn't it? Perfect. 12 and a half to 13 and a half wow. millimetres. I'm always so careful to say this word when I'm discussing pearls because it is an organic gemstone. But that is arguably one of the most flawless pearls I've ever seen. Let's, I need to talk about the five virtues. I know lots of you know these virtues, but for those people that are new to, 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 to pearls, let's, let's talk about this. I'm going to take it off that blackboard because we shouldn't be looking at pearls on a blackboard. Hang on a second. Um, right, five virtues are size. Any pearl that is over 10 millimetres in its size um, from certain locations, by the way, is the equivalent to a three-carat diamond solitaire. Mm -hmm. Yes. Then we start talking about shape. Spherical pearls still do command the highest price point. Mm -hmm. Still. Then we start talking about colour. You can bleach pearls and you can dye pearls. This is neither of those. That natural papaya colour is incredibly rare. <laughs> and we talk about uh, the nacre, how smooth that nacre is, whether it's blemish free. Are we doing this now? I beg your pardon, Ross, I thought we were doing this now. And the luster, what time are we doing this? Quarter to 11, so sorry, here's me thinking, I'm getting so caught up in the pearls, I thought we were doing it right now. Um, okay, just sold out of the bumblebee. Should we do a little hedgehog? Ah, oh, we're covering all the cute. Mm, yes. All the cuteness. Yeah. Bumblebees are, uh, not bumblebees, hedgehogs, well, bumblebees, yes, but also hedgehogs, uber cute. Do you know how fast they run? They run really fast. I don't actually know a miles per hour, but they do run fast. Well, have you jogged with one then? No, but I used to, where I used to live back in Wales, I used to have lots of little hedgehogs in the gardens. They've got they... such tiny little legs, though. Yeah, they, 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 can, they can trot. They can. Look how sweet wow. he is. Beautiful, and now endangered. The, you know, the, the, the native hedgehog is actually endangered. Mm -hmm. You've got a beautiful citrine there in his belly, which I love, absolutely love. A one carat solitaire. He's sweet, isn't he? We showed earlier on Alex Munro with a bumblebee. Alex Munro have brought lots of different sort of, uh, well, inspirations, if you like, from Mother Nature herself. Here's another one. Here's another one. The you native... can't beat it, can you, really, these little... Um, the British countryside uh, as an inspiration yeah. is amazing, isn't it? And, you know, hedgehogs make you go all warm and cosy. But it, it, it reminds me of my childhood. It reminds me of uh, um, uh, Beatrix Potter. And... Yeah, I remember um, I would be probably about eight or nine. <coughs> on the back of our house, there was a huge playing field. So there's quite a lot of wildlife going on in that playing field when the kids weren't playing on it. And uh, we had several hedgehogs, frogs, toads, all sorts of things. But this one day, this hedgehog came in and um, my mum screamed. She didn't like anything that moved quickly. Like you said, they do get a, quite, a, quite a move on. And so my dad and I went down and there was this tiny little hedgehog and um, my dad fed it on warm milk and bread. Yeah. Uh, that might be totally wrong, but that was quite back a in the day you used to Back yeah. in the day, that's what we, we, we used to give. Apparently it's cat food now, isn't it? I think we're supposed to give right. cat food. Who wants this under £10 today? Yeah, we used to. We used to have a little hedgehog that used to peer through our back door. It's so sweet, so sweet. A oh, they are beautiful, and I just think they make you smile, hedgehogs. They do make you smile. Absolutely. Any animal that thinks curling, uh, curling up in a ball is the is the best uh, defence, uh, really, yeah. gets yeah, gets my I vote. I know the feeling sometimes. Yes. Nine ninety nine. What's that? Yeah, you've got those lovely little sp uh, little spikes all the way round. He's pretty, isn't he? 
He's so sweet. He makes me smile. My um, my old house, we used to have uh, decking and, and there was a family of hedgehogs that lived under there. And, and uh, my dog at the time, who was completely harmless, but was always loving these hedgehogs. And the one morning, he didn't hurt him, I should point out. Um, he picked up the hedgehog in his mouth and was literally just walking around with this poor little hedgehog. I said, drop the hedgehog, <laughs> drop the hedgehog. Didn't hurt it, I have to say, but yeah, that hedgehog knew to run away when my dog went into the garden. They are just so sweet, aren't they? Beautiful species. Again, uh, endangered now, sadly. So we need to be looking after these lovely little native animals. I mean, what's lovely about that particular design hedgehog is the fact that with that gorgeous gemstone nestling there uh, as it's sort of, you know, that roundness, and you've got the setting sort of is, is emulating the, the spines, isn't yeah. it? Love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, and there's various different groups, isn't there, that actually look after your hedgehogs. Oh, so yeah, if ever you yeah. find Facebook, I, I follow one on my Facebook page, that if ever you find a... Yes, yeah, um, funny as you say that. My daughter took her dogs to the vets um, for their top-up um, vaccinations a few weeks ago, and somebody came in with a hedgehog. Oh, love them. Absolutely love them. Now, we are a channel of pussycat lovers, aren't we? We do. We love the That's pussycats. So cute. I have to tell you, my pussycats are very naughty, though. Dave, not so much. Pearl. She, Dave, Dave is, Dave's golden. Pearl's naughty. We've got a cat called Dave yet. It, Willow named him, not me. Yeah. I don't know. She just says, like, what are you, you going to name him, Willow? And, and Pearl, who's a very beautiful, pure white cat, she was like, Pearl. I was like, that's lovely, Willow. Absolutely lovely. What about, what, what about, what, yeah, oh, this is lovely. I like that, Pearl. What about this absolutely fabulous, and that's how you would call Dave, fabulous, because he's massive. What about this beautiful tabby, Dave? Um, Dave I like it, I like it too. Mm, so yeah, I. yeah, they're naughty, Katie, so. Look at how cute these are. I think we are a channel of, uh, of cat lovers, aren't we? Yeah, we've got Halloween coming up at the end of the True. month as well. So, you know, that, the cats and Halloween are quite pally. Look at that. So almost a, a little nod towards the certain higher pussycat. Yeah. You know the branding, don't you? Certain yeah. nod towards that there as well. It's a little sort of bit almost like Japanese inspired, I yeah, feel. Yeah, like a Siamese. Yeah, love it. Sterling silver as well. You do get both of them in the two different designs. Um, I'm turning it this way so you can see they have got the large drill holes running through. Sorry, Jimmy. Uh, running through both of these cat, uh, cat charms. So if you wanted to feed them onto something like a Pandora or a leather star bracelet, Macrame. they would do that. Macrame or your Kumahimo. Mm -hmm. That would absolutely work. Solid 925 Sterling Silver. How many did you say, Roscoe? 20. We've only got 20 of them available. The little putty cats. Oh, cute, aren't they? Yeah, you get that cat, don't you, in the good luck cat? Yes. The one with the swinging arms. The Chinese one, yes. Yeah, the Chinese cat. Um, I don't know enough about it to actually talk about it, but yeah, I know that's a, it's a symbol of good luck with a swinging arm. One of them looks a little bit like that, doesn't it? Yeah. That's £7.50 per beautiful sterling silver spacer bead. Well done. Your featherweights are coming up as well. You can shop ahead and pre-order. We're going to do that in one auction's time. One auction. Don't forget that beautiful papaya pearl as well. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Shall we stick with the sweetest species on the planet? And I think elephants are going to be up there, haven't they? Oh, wow. Oh, he's beautiful. I've never seen him before. I've got to have this. Oh, do you like elephants? It's um, one of the twins, <coughs> my twin granddaughters, Lily. She's um, all about the elephants. The other one's all about lions. Well, but, this is beautiful. Um, Look at the quality of that peridot. I need two of those because the girls have just had their ears pierced so I could make... Oh. Yeah, that's an ideal Christmas present for them with a sterling silver earring finding. I, I, mem two of these. I remember reading about, I think it was in a PowerPoint on air, that I, I brought um, elephant facts. They're just, they're just amazing, amazing species, aren't they? The, the fact that they are... Uh, um, very family oriented. Well, they, they are very human in yeah. their family environment. I mean, I, when I, I've been to South Africa a couple of times, but the last time we were there, um, we pulled up in the Jeep, we were out on safari, and uh, specifically because the guy driving had seen like a lot of dust up on the mountain. Mm. 
and um, it was the elephants coming down to the watering hole and it was such a privilege yeah, to, see, to that. see and then some wild dogs appeared from nowhere <gasps> and one of the phenomenons that I never thought I would experience seeing is the fact they went into an elephant ring so all the little ones were pushed into the middle of the ring yeah and then the older elephants were all around the edge the matriarchs Back off. and that yeah um, again, because the wild dogs can be quite vicious. Yes, yeah, they can. You know. And oh my goodness me! It was such a privilege to see that, and just to see this elephant trail coming down the mountainside to the watering hole. Beautiful. They're such amazing species, aren't they? Amazing, amazing species. Thirty-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. That is genuine white topa, uh, white zircon. I beg your pardon. So not zirconia. They're not man-made. They are Mother Nature made. Uh, teamed alongside a really beautiful eight by six carat peridot, wonderful strength of your uh, of your green. You know, you really want it to be quite a grassy green when it comes to peridot. Nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence. That I mean, that is I, 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 such a beautiful Christmas gift. Is yeah, it? I've got to have two of those. So, um, oh, Ross wants this too. Yeah, Ross, could you? Uh, Ross, who are you buying it for? Oh, okay. He says he can't say. Yeah, that's beautiful. Ah, oh, yeah, absolutely gorgeous. A birthstone, of course, as well. Something that you could definitely incorporate, you know, adapt, I suppose, not just a pendant, it could be a, a charm, it could be mm -hmm. a pair of earrings, as you're saying. It would there, be a nice, um, a nice present for a, a new August baby, wouldn't it? Yeah, lovely. To start off your little charm bracelet. Beautiful, these are little baby elephants. I mean, that's they? a stunner of a peridot, isn't it? That, yeah. That, that colour is just astonishing. How many do we have of these then, Ras? We had 40, but they are, yeah, they are proving to be very, very popular. Um, they feel, they, 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 they hear through their feet as well, don't they? Mm, yeah, they can, and they've got those massive ears, and yet they still hear through their, through their feet, which I think is amazing. Mind you, I think my husband does that as well. <laughs> Because he never, never hears a thing. So oh, I'm really? trying to say he should have been an elephant. Yeah. Should have been an elephant. Yeah. Um, they grieve their family members they do. as well. They do. Literally yeah. grieve, and um, the whole family gets involved in nursing the uh, the newborn babies. Yeah, there was a program on television not long ago about about that, about when when the uh, the female elephant gives birth and that the aunties come in yeah. automatically. Love it. They are to so help look human like, after. They? Yeah. Um, now, so many of you messaging about that papaya pearl. Oh, okay. Ross is just saying in my ear that he will put them available on pre-order. How many do we have of those then, Ross? Really? Wow. And how much is it going to? I'm going to have to buy that. That is, uh, I, like I said, I don't throw, I don't use this word casually. That's as close to a flawless pearl, if ever I saw one. I agree one. with you. Totally. Coming up, pre on pre-order, the price is insane. Absolutely insane. Okay, star by opportunity, one that we've been promising you all morning. It's your early bird and an absolute must. Whether you are a silversmith, whether you are a, a knotter, whether you are a seed beader, whatever the medium that you, uh, that you love um, in jewellery making, chances are you're going to need your head pins. Featherweights, I remember when they first appeared on our screen here at Jewellery Maker, and it was literally like a revolutionary moment. It was. Because most featherweight headpins didn't go through certain pearls or well, other Well, yeah, headstones. exactly. You see, you've got, you've got the likes of your Gems of Distinction, you know, little two mil faceted or um, non-faceted gemstones. And just by the nature of them being small, the drill hole is small and the ordinary yeah. standard headpins will not go through, which was frustrating for yeah. designers as much as it was for you. Um, I think I just knocked something down. Sorry. And... Um, so these featherweight head pins came along as miraculous, really. And they were the sort of uh, inspiration. Ah, oh, moment, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, behind the bubble, the yes. bubble uh, pearl and, yes. and gem um, jewellery. But I don't know how many times, Linda, you've been desperate to get featherweight head pins. Well, it's all the time. I was only and not in around stock. last night. Were you? At home, yeah, I'm desperate. Well, stock up because you are getting 200 of your 925 sterling silver featherweight headpins. 
Just so you know, let me just double check, uh, 300 opportunities and they are going low. It's a mega auction quantity, quite frankly. If I had a thousand, they still could sell out. Absolutely. Um, now on their own, as in per pack, so one pack of 100, they close at 10.99. Last time they were on individually and all times previously, if you just look at this one pack here, 10.99, yeah? Just over a month ago, but, uh, six weeks to be exact. That's amazing, so that means 22 pounds for the two. <coughs> Let's start there, shall we? We're not meant to bundle our precious metal, by the way, because the price of precious metal is the price of precious metal. 10.99 for one pack, 10.99 for the other pack. How about though, uh, it goes against our, our nature here at Jewelry Maker. We like the word bundle, don't we? It's so funny when people come into the family, the Jewelry Maker family, they go, what's a bundle? <laughs> they start thinking about rainbow, don't they? And zippy and uh, yeah, what's a bundle? Ah, <laughs> oh, well, I don't, we just put loads of products together and we bring our customer an even better deal. I've noticed the likes of Jake Thompson uses the word bundle now. <laughs> it's, we're contagious, aren't we? So how about, a bit of a deal, not 10.99 each. How about 10 pounds each? 200.925 sterling silver featherweight head pins. And, uh, and, and Linda, you don't necessarily use one head pin per wrap loop. That head pin can maybe potentially do two, can't it? Yes, yes it can. I mean, um, if you've got like, particularly with the gems of distinction, the little two mil faceted, gemstones then um, you can pop your head pin through make your wrap loop and then cut off the residue which is going to be half of that mm. uh, head pin and then just do a little tiny little twist back or if you've got a soldering iron just touch the end with a silver so solder um, to make a little bobble and then use it again so use it again. possibly you've got you know double but your rosary right. linking, your bubble styles, your yeah. wrapped loops, your attaching of clasps, yeah. finishing of your sterling silver uh, one meter long length chains, you need your featherweight head pins. Yeah, and, and your um, <coughs> waterfall um, earrings, yep. tassel type necklaces and that. Um, and it, the thing about something like a waterfall earring or a tassel is you should ideally, if you're able, use um, the same head pin throughout the design. Because if you've got some that have got a lot, you know, larger little bubble on the end and that, it will, it is noticeable. So it's much better to be consistent. So you do need a quantity. Perfect. You also don't want them to be clumpy, do you? The wrap loop shouldn't be the feature. It should be the gemstone. Absolutely. That's just the mechanic. <gasps> £17.65. pence. It's a closeout deal. My goodness be the perfect addition alongside all of Linda's amazing kits today. Likewise, alongside your, uh, your deal of the day and for your monochrome hour that's coming up in your masterclass. You know, you know, you know, regardless, I saw one of the most amazing launches that's coming up. And again, you're going to need to have your featherweight head pins for that. £17.65, an amazing deal. It is. We're not meant to bundle our sterling silver. We're not even stopping there. We have to manage the volume on the, on the phone lines and on the website. There are, we know you need these, that's the thing. I, I'm desperate for them. Linda, you're desperate for them. I think all the designers are. That's 10 grams of sterling silver in the featherweight head pins. See, I joke about this all the time. My brother tuned in once when I was bringing a head pin to air and he was like, you're getting really excited about a pin. It's what the pin can achieve. Exactly. It's, um, it, and it's, it's sort of bigger brother or sister, whatever you want to term it, can't achieve. This one can. Absolutely. You Absolutely. can also use it with the larger drill um, head pin, uh, the larger drill gemstones as well. Yeah, absolutely. That's already an amazing deal. We had 300 of these available. We won't have that quantity come the end of this, uh, come the end of this auction for sure. For sure, because people will get quantities like I'm seeing, fours, threes, twos in baskets. Check them out because they, they're on air and then they disappear. Even, that speaks volumes, doesn't it? When even our guest designers can't get hold of featherweight headpins. 
Mm -hmm. I, I remember, I remember at Sheila months ago coming into the studio saying, do you know where any featherweight headpins are, Elle? I'm like, no, I don't. And she had me literally scouring the entire building for featherweight headpins. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, it's, it's the fact when you need a featherweight headpin, you really do need it. Yeah, there's no alternative. Because there's no really, alternative to it, really. And you could make them, you can make them, but frankly, it, it's not cost effective. No, because it's not. We're not no. even stopping there, though. Linda, we're not even stopping at £15.89. Wow. They're meant to be £10.99 per pack of 100. Meant to be. So right now we're looking at... Uh, trying to work out the maths. That's working out, what, uh, just under £8 each. Mm -hmm. Just under £8 per bundle of 925 sterling silver. That's 10 grams. Mm -hmm. 10 grams of 925. Um, the only reason we're staggering this... Is because otherwise we'll melt the phone lines, we'll we'll melt the website. Um, remember, ten ninety nine on their own. Frida knows that's a great deal. As does Sue in Bedfordshire. As does Northumberland. As does Dorothy. As does Merseyside, Surrey, Tyne and Ware, Essex, Cheshire, Hampshire, Renfrewshire, County Down, Glamorgan, all around the world getting involved. Fourteen pounds and ninety five pence. Three hundred will sell out today, for sure. That's what seven pound fifty each, less than. It's a really, really incredible price. And the thing is, as well, it's um, you try finding these anywhere else. It's, yep. it's not. E I'm not saying that you won't, but I'm not saying also that you will because it's it's difficult. It's difficult for us. Yeah, it is. You Incredibly know, so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we don't have them. I, I could probably count on my digits, how many times I've brought featherweight headpins to yeah, wear this year. definitely. And we're in October. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I generally don't think we've done more than 10 times featherweight headpins on the live show. And particularly being sterling silver. Yeah, true, exactly. You know, if you make a piece of jewellery to sell and you say this is 925 sterling silver, then every component that is metal on it has to be sterling silver. Yeah, through and through. Yeah. Literally through and through. Look at the call screens. Literally, there's four rows of names and people are multi-buying on this as well. Well done. Uh, Bedfordshire, you've just got four. Maker's just got two. Northamptonshire, you've just got two. Heather, you've just got two. Karen and Georgia, you've just got four. Valentina's just got two. Anne in Essex has just bought four. Um, there are literally rows upon rows upon rows of names. Don't leave them in your baskets. 300 might seem like masses. When you see this, you'll realise it absolutely is, and, and you disappear off the bottom of my call screens. It's not just one TV monitor here. You're actually probably on two stroke three TV monitors in terms of the names. Um, how, many, how are we doing in terms of quantity then? <coughs> uh, we're approaching at final third, so we're actually approaching very quickly double figure uh, quantities. Northampton, you see how quickly that will go though. Anne's just got four, Lynn's just got two, Northampton has just got three. You know, that's best part of 10 in one, you know, in a matter of minutes. Um, well done. Now, we are, I know a little bit behind time for your deal of the day. We're going to keep this auction um, running, so stay where you are. Stay where you are. Sorry, what was that, Ros? The spacer beads, your deal of the day, diamond cut spacer beads, a pack of five different designs in four mil, uh, we're going to put on pre-order for you because they're the perfect addition alongside the anything in this show. Um, so if you go to watch live on the website, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com, click watch live, scroll down, and you can see coming up on today's show, there we are, you've got this diamond spacer uh, beads and you've got that papaya pearl. Neither of those are staying at those prices. So if you check out now, you are guaranteeing your success Everybody will pay that final low price tag. Both of those are coming up after a very, very short break. Spaces first, and then we're going to do your papaya pearl. So a mad deal, a mad show. Honestly, it's been absolutely spectacular. Linda and I will return after this. Hey guys, I'd love for you to join me this Friday where I'm launching 
a brand new gemstone. Now this variety is something I'm sure you won't have seen before. I've certainly never bought it to your screens. We are of course talking about a natural new variety of blue lace agate. This is considered by many to be one of the most expensive forms of agate, certainly one of the rarest. And when you see this kind of quad A grade that I'll be bringing to you, um, I, I think you're gonna go wild. I, I hope you get in early because we are very limited, but I cannot wait to talk to you about this legendary discovery. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Make sure you go to our website at www.jewelrymaker.com. We have got over a thousand lines going into a huge online exclusive clearance with up to 95% off prices. Wow. See you there. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Welcome back, lovely jewellery makers. Oh, as expected, caused a, caused a frenzy. Uh, caused a frenzy on the phone lines uh, with your featherweight headpin. Still, some of you making your confirmation. Still, currently there is quantity, but it is becoming more and more limited. I think we'd all agree that sterling, especially now where we're bringing you the calibre of gemstones that we do. Um, 
Precious metal is an absolute must. I think most of us would absolutely agree with that. There is a place for base. Obviously, there is. There's a place for base metals. But when you have the quality of pearls that Linda was showing you, when you see the amazing CB designs that so many of you actually create. When I look at your Wall of Fame entries, most of you will actually choose your precious metal um, uh, above base metals because of the skill. I mean, you're artists in your own individual right. Now... Um, sterling silver, the bullion market is the bullion market. We can't really sort of influence the price per gram of sterling silver. Um, it fluctuates on an hourly basis. But there are ways that we can purchase precious metal um, and maybe negotiate a better deal. I, like I said, I'm not the expert in this one. We have a, an incredible, incredible sterling silver buyer. She actually specializes in the two auctions that I'm about to bring you. So your 925 sterling silver comes under Caroline, as does Pearls. Um, and I have to say, I think she's probably, the, 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 the quality that she sourced for us and the prices that she sources for us, I think are second to none. But... It's not a case of a silver bead is a silver bead. You can actually get different degrees of quality, obviously, because there's a level of artistry, I suppose. Um, in, well, we know this, in silversmithing. Now, what is a diamond cut? And when I was researching it last night, and I was like, on the fence, do I bring this PowerPoint? Do I not bring this PowerPoint to wear? Well, I didn't, purely because it's more talking about your chains. Because diamond cutting is something that you see within your curb chains or within like Figaro chains, for example. But the process is the same. So um, what is diamond cutting? Well, it's taking your precious metal, whether that be silver, whether that be gold, whatever it is. And a basic, um, basically cutting uh, um, and polishing grooves into the sterling silver. It is incredibly skillful. Um, and... You know, you can do it too much so that it would spoil the overall shape of the bead or maybe hinder the strength of the actual component itself. So very skilled silversmiths will actually be able to achieve this. Um, but but creating that sort of those those grooves, if you like, within uh, within precious metal gives you a vision. And this is where the name comes in that they were diamond encrusted. There is not a single diamond encrusted in your space of beads. But from a distance, you see this absolutely amazing performance, this absolutely beautiful sparkle and luster, not from Parve diamonds, but from very clever cutting. Now, the, your deal of the day, you aren't just getting the one design. You're actually getting five different designs and 10 of each of those. The deal of the day, I have 257. How many times do you hear, not just myself, you hear all of the talented designers? Linda, I know you are a massive fan of a space of bead. Yeah, I, um, I just see it as a, a bead, a yes. component. Yeah, it's not so spaces. I don't sort of put it into a tin um, and make myself use them as spaces because as with that bracelet there, you know, in bulk, they look absolutely very Tiffany esque. Tiffany do absolutely bracelets just using. That's sword. another jewelry makerism, isn't it, spacer? Yeah, yeah. it is. An, I, I think so, um, because y yeah, absolutely. You you can recreate that. That's a beautiful sterling silver bracelet. Mm -hmm. That's a sterling silver bracelet. Solid sterling silver bracelet. You know, you use I don't know two of these either side of the pearl, a bit like we, we're looking at in this design. That's a sterling silver bracelet just two simple beads but the artistry and the texture that's in the, each of these designs just give you that parve luster without the parve price tag i am so confident that these will sell out in the next couple of minutes at the price that they are taking we're taking them to they've been available on pre-order Ignore it, because we are closing nowhere near. How about we make a comparison with ourselves? Because we casually, you know, we throw Tiffany's & Co, Gucci, Links of London, Thomas Sabo. We use those kind of designers as well, because they're aspirational jewellers, there's no doubt about that. And their sterling silver is exactly the same as our sterling silver. You know, OK, let's make a comparison with ourselves. We used to bring you, still do, a four millimetre spherical bead a pack of 10, weren't they? Yeah? And they used to be about 10 pounds. Yeah? 
plain, no diamond cutting. We are going to bring you a far better deal from years gone by where the price of sterling silver was less than it is today. But this time we're going to include your diamond cutting. Look at how spectacular each and every single one of those solitaires are. They're beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. I love the little bobbly one. Which one's your favourite? Towards the back. Yes. Yeah. It's a little bit, it reminds me of a Buddha bead. Yes, exactly. That one. A little bit like a lantern as well. Yeah. I like this one at the front of the screen. You know the way you have that almost yeah, illusion? Ball, yeah. Where they kind of look like a, they're sort of rotating and spinning yeah. round. Ten of each design, four millimetres in their size. How much, I, I mean, I, I, I don't know, but how much do you think a bracelet like that would actually cost from, from a luxury jeweller? Well, my, uh, my uh, we took our daughter to New York when she was 21 and um, she had a sterling silver beaded bracelet from Tiffany in New York and it was £198, I think. Yeah. Which actually, for Tiffany, I thought was, yeah, that's, that's, not, bad. that's not bad at all. Um, I bet it didn't weigh what I'm feeling here. Uh, probably not, no. I mean, the, be the beads were not that big. They were probably two mil. OK. Look how beautiful. And this is weighty. It's, it, as soon as I pick this up, the weight of this bracelet really hit home. We're at a pound per diamond cut silver bead. Eight and a half grams across the entire deal of the day. I have just over 257 opportunities, but people will not just buy one. Much like the conversation we had with your featherweight head pins, we need them. In fact, I haven't got a single space of bead in my stash at the moment, so I'm desperate for them. You know, if you wanted to, could you pass me one of your one, one of your beautiful bracelets over, whichever one? If you wanted to put additions, yeah, you can put one in between each of that ladder weave, couldn't you? How about yeah? <coughs> Excuse me, something like this. Mhm. Mm so it just changes that from a pearl bracelet to a sterling silver bracelet. Absolutely. And why wouldn't you want to highlight that, uh, yeah. you know, that fact, the diamond-cut sterling silver pearl bracelet, the luxury that you're getting. We're at £10 per pack for diamond-cut sterling silver beads. They're not tiny. These are four millimetres in their size. Do you think we're stopping here? No. You can put one on a leather cord. How beautiful would that be? One on a chain, a sterling silver Amazing. Chain, leather gorgeous, wouldn't it? One on top of a pearl for a, uh, for a pearl pair of earrings. I mean, you could use your silks yeah. that were on the show earlier today. You could use your silks to macrame those. Oh, that It'd would be, be gorgeous, wouldn't mm -hmm. it? Look how stunning this is on the wrist. It's look from there, look at the, the distance. Sparkle. We're talking about 80 pence per diamond cut sterling silver bead. And we are still not done. Immediately, the first collector has got two. You're not alone. Lanark has got two. Essex has got four. Leslie, Pamela, Virginia, Carolyn, Josie, Nicolette, Marion, Hazel, Anne, Lanarkshire, Geraldine, Cheshire, Annette, and Gwyneth. I can see you there. Again, there's, it's stacking up on the website and on the phone lines. I wish you could literally feel the gram weight mm -hmm. within this bracelet that I have uh, uh, so draped over the back of my hand. It, you're talking about eight grams across the entire parcel. You've got five different designs, and we're not even stopping there. Dorothy, Caroline, Patricia, Margaret, Irene, Karen, Kim, Vanessa, Veronica, Carol. I can't read everyone's names. Honestly, there's too many of you there. Um, absolutely fabulous, and I'm so pleased that you have started to dial in nice and early um, because people will miss out on this. I've, I've got no doubt about that. Well, Sterling's the multi buyers that are coming up now. Exactly. Definitely. You know, you know, the, think of the luxury gemstones that you have within your stash. And you might be saying, well, every gemstone's luxury. Very true. Very, very true. But, you know, jade that we had yesterday. Would you use a base metal? I wouldn't use a base metal with jade. With the papaya pearl that's coming up in a few moments' time, would you use a base metal? Definitely not. With the pearls that you had in Linda's kits, would you use a base metal? Or would you, if you can, go for a diamond cut 925 sterling silver bead? 
You see, the thing about these particular beads is, and that bracelet there, um, is it's a simple make. It could be a stretchy. Yeah, that's true. Um, this isn't. It has a clasp on it, but it could be a stretchy because it's got that weight um, to enable it to be a stretchy. It won't move around on the elastic. Um, but it's a simple bracelet, but it looks more complex by the nature of those diamond cut beads. It does, yeah. I totally agree. Do you know, my best friend, when she turned 40, uh, and I remember this piece of jewellery so clearly, we all went out for dinner and my uh, another one of my friends actually made, uh, uh, bought her, sorry, a sterling silver stretchy bracelet mm -hmm. with, with two mil beads. They're only tiny and it had just this tiny little charm, but a really sweet bracelet, really, really sweet. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and she paid fifty pounds for that bracelet. Yeah, yeah, fifty pounds. Oh, definitely. They're I two mean, mil. You know, two mil sterling beads. silver commands a price. It does. You know, just by the nature of being that that precious metal. We're at seventy pence per bead. Your deal of the day. Still, not your closing price. Wow. Oh, my goodness. There's five, sixes, twos, threes. Absolutely. Uh, half the stock is gone. If we're going to justify this lower price tag, which, by the way, we're already lower than our, my star buy sheet says. My star buy sheet said £39.99, which is absolutely amazing considering you're getting eight grams of sterling silver. 50 diamond cut premier sterling silver beads we are purely doing it because of the quantity purely doing it because we've had so many of you shop ahead um and also you want your sterling silver your essentials don't you but these are beyond essentials these are your luxury essentials yeah, this are. is like oh, a, a, a terrible analogy but i'll go with it anyway this is like your marks and spencers isn't it of of of, of food true you know? yeah it's absolutely yeah i get what you're saying yeah definitely I mean, can you imagine making a, a bracelet or a stretchy with these beads and then putting on that little peridot elephant as oh, a charm wow. or the little hedgehog as a charm? Or the beads. I mean, if you imagine, if you, if you tr sort of transit that make to um, a high street jewellers, even a high street jewellers, you know, a chain jewellers, you're looking at three figures. Absolutely. Absolutely. In 60 seconds, we are going low. I can see uh, there's a lot of people on the web and on the phone lines. Are you doing it there, Ross? Yeah, shall we? Okay, we do make it difficult for ourselves here at Jewelry Maker, don't we? Because we're like, oh, we can't keep up with the demand for our spacer beads. That's because our producers keep going lower than the target price. Uh, we were meant to hold this. I'm blaming you, Ross. We were meant to hold this at £39.99. But... We love you for it. That our uh, producer Ross has taken it even lower to get today. Well done, Ross. He's back on. Uh, you're back fighting spirit now, aren't you? Because you were, you were poorly yesterday. Bless his heart. Bless his heart. Might have a black eye this afternoon. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> not from you, of course. Not from me. Absolutely no. not. No. Who do you th who do you think no, from? I don't know. Just oh, it's only Caroline. It's one of those. Not a real black eye, it's one of those descriptive yes, yes, sort yes, of yes, terminology. Yes, no, no, we don't condone any of that, of course. No. Um, any of that. Just a little, sm maybe a tap on the back of the wrist, Ross. Sterling silver price, diamond cut precision. Everybody pays that final low. You said it earlier on, Linda, the, the multi-buyers on this. Mm -hmm. I don't have any spaces within my stash at the moment, not one. I don't have any of this calibre. I've got some base metal plain ones, but that's all I've got. I'm, I'm having to use my Mayuki at the moment. Uh, right, OK. Yeah, I haven't got any. You need them. I, I do need them. And, of course, the Mayuki is not diamond cut precious metal, is it? No. It's still lovely, don't get me wrong, but if you are looking for the ultimate, you know, that... If you're looking for, like I said earlier on, say with the pearl that's coming up in a few moments' time, if you want just one feature bead at the top yeah. to give you the illusion of being encrusted within diamonds, then this is the deal that you need. And you also then, your jewellery makes will look incredibly professional. Yeah. You know, the, and you'll you hide be making your stretchy something. knots, don't you? Can you hide your stretchy knots in those? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, the drill hole is quite significant, isn't it? Very significant, actually. So you can, yeah, you, you, you sort of, the knot on the elastic, you can pop the bead over it, the, the next bead in turn, 
just pop it over the knot. Pop it over the, over the knot and yeah, you've got that perfect piece of jewellery. Anne's just got six, well done to you. Lancashire's just got two, Caroline's got two, Cheshire's got two, Christine's got two, Nicolette's got three. Uh, Josie, you've got two, I've got five, so I can't, and so you disappear off the bottom of the screens now, so I can't see everybody's names, uh, but I am looking already at three, soon to be four rows of names. Again, like we said about the featherweight headpins a few moments ago, you know, I could probably count on my little digits how many times I've actually brought spacer beads to air, yeah, but diamond cut spacer beads, I don't know. I mean, they'd look Less fantastic as little station beads on a sterling silver chain, wouldn't they? Oh, beautiful. Absolutely yeah. beautiful. Um, we're going to leave those with you just because there's so many of you there in the, uh, the call centre. Um, we'll get you. There was uh, there was originally 260. We're in double figure quantities and we're actually over allocated. So um, when we consider, like I said, Georgia, Karen, you've just got three in Georgia. Uh, Essex, you've just got six. Anonymous Makers just got three. Isle of Wight's just got two. That quantity won't hang around. Well done, everybody. Well done. Make sure you do check out your baskets. It's one of those moments, isn't it, when, uh, you know... We love, we're obsessed with gemstones here at Jewelry Maker, of course we are, um, but we must never, ever, 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 ever overlook, overlook our essentials. But well, this no, is a absolutely. luxury essential. Yeah, it, this is what turns a strand of gemstones into that piece of jewelry, really, yeah. isn't it? Those little, little sort of little station dots and things. And, um, you know, uh, it just creates a level of handmade jewelry, doesn't, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Doesn't it just? I'm about to blow your mind on a, uh, with, 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 with the quality of this pearl. If you've just tuned in, again, I, I'm always very hesitant to use the word flawless with any gemstone, quite frankly, because, thank you, Ross, that's perfect, because this is an organic gemstone. What that basically means, it's formed from a living organism. It doesn't have a, set, a, a crystal structure like diamonds and sapphires, but it's still classed as a gemstone. Um, like uh, amber is, like uh, uh, amylite is, for example. Incredibly rare. When it comes to pearls, we use, instead of the four C's, we use the five virtues. I love that, the five virtues. It's beautiful, They're so isn't it? virtuous. They, they are. But never mind, uh, let's not take my word for it. Let's look to the GIA, the largest institution within the gemstone world. That's a gemological institution of America. You could look on their website. The same, this article is accessible to everybody. You don't need a subscription. So the pearl quality factors. Everything you need to know about buying fine quality pearls. So the qualities that determine the overall value of a natural or cultured pearl or a piece of pearl jewellery are size, shape, colour, luster, surface quality, nacre quality and for jewellery with two or more pearls matching. Now, I know that's more than five, but they do condense some of those together. But let's, let's, let, let, let's, let's get into the nitty gritty. Firstly, size, that's the first one we actually mention. When other value factors are equal, larger pearls are rarer and more valuable than smaller pearls of the same type. I think that's fairly self-explanatory. Yeah. You've got to think that the mollusk itself has to be uh, has to be matured to a certain size to house a pearl of this uh, of this scale. Then we go to shape. Look at the photograph. I'm going to say your pearls are better in the shape than the photograph on the GIA. You know, it's very much down. The shape is very <coughs> much down to how that um, that sort of irritant grows into the pearl. Yeah. Um, and you imagine it's sort of. It's adhered to the mollusk, so you would expect some sort of a blemish. Anomaly, here. yeah, absolutely, yeah. like we do. Yeah. You know, a little blemish on the surface of the skin, whichever it might be. Shape. Round is the most difficult shape to culture, making it the rarest cultured pearl shape and, if all other factors are equal, also generally the most valuable. There are exceptions, though. Well-formed pears, ovals, or baroques, irregularly shaped cultured pearls are all surprised by pearl lovers. But they start by saying round. Round is the rarest shape to achieve. Because it has to be perfect, doesn't Isn't it? Isn't that what you perceive when you say that word, well, these words, a pearl necklace? Yes. The image in your head is all spherical pearls, isn't it? Let's move on. Colour. 
Natural and cultured pearls occur in a broad range of hues. These are warm hues like yellow, orange and pink and cool hues like blue, green and violet. Pearls are, have a wide range of tone from light to dark. Pearl colors tend to be muted with a soft, subtle uh, quality. That being said, you can bleach pearls, you can dye pearls. So the, 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 the emphasis on the first word, natural is the most valuable. Mm -hmm. Natural pearls, not dyed. So color, did you see you've got here the beautiful warm hues that the GIA describe? There it is, wonderful, delicate blush tones. Pearl color can have three components. Body color is the pearl's dominant overall color. Overtone is one or more translucent colors that lies over the pearl's body color. And orient is a shimmer or iridescent rainbow colors on or just below the pearl's surface. All pearls display a body color, but only some will show an overtone, orient, or both. Check yours out, seriously. You know, you have a peach, beautiful, beautiful overtone. Can you also see the pink? A little bit of lavender, absolutely. Not all pearls will have the overtone. And because this is natural, we haven't bleached or dyed away that overtone. Mother Nature has offered it to you. The law of supply and demand determines the value of certain pearl colors at any given time. If supplies of high quality pearls displaying a preferred color are low, their price can rise to unusually high levels. That's where we are right now with pink pearls, your papayas, you know, your purple pearls. That's exactly where we are. Other complex factors like fashion trends and cultural traditions can influence color preference. So the, the GIA on a separate article have also wrote, written about sort of your pink and purple pearls, haven't they, and the prices that they are commanding. But sticking with the quality factors, luster. Of the seven pearl factors, luster might be the most important. I think it, I, I would agree with that. Me definitely. too. Me too. Because you, you can have a natural pearl, beautifully shaped. If it doesn't glow, mm. then, then yeah, it's, uh, that's the whole appeal, isn't it, of a pearl? And the way I look at it is when I look at that pearl, I do actually imagine the pearl dust in the cosmetics and that, which mm. is what you want, that gorgeous sort of translucent glow on your skin. And if I can get that feeling from the pearl, I know it's an absolute ringer as perfect. Look at that. Let's talk about this luster. Luster is what gives a natural or culture pearl uh, its unique beauty. Excellent. Reflection appears bright and sharp. Let's just stop there. Because that is what you've got. You have the most, um, I can see the studio lighting. Mm -hmm. Can you? Absolutely. That's the reflection of, uh, on your natural pearl. That's the quality that I, I, I personally believe you're getting within the solitaire. Surface quality, like colored stones, most pearls never achieve perfection. What was I saying about the word flawless? Some might show abrasions that look like a series of scratches on the surface or a flattened section that doesn't affect, uh, that doesn't affect its basic shape, or an irregular ridge that looks like a crease or a wrinkle. If surface characteristics are numerous or severe, they can affect the durability of the pearl and severely depress its price. Surface characteristics have less effect on the pearl's beauty and value, and if they are few in number, or if they are minor enough to be hidden by a drill hole or mounting. So I was hesitant to say the world word flawless. I'm going to ask you, can you find any surface blemishes on your pearl? No, I can't either. I can't either. Nacre quality, luster and nacre quality are closely related. If the nucleus is visible under nacre um, or if the pearl has a dull, chalky appearance, it can, you can assume that nacre is thin. This affects the luster as well as the durability of the pearl. Not applicable in, to, in this auction. Your nacre is, I'm going to say, you've got a thickness there. That's why you've got that luster. That's why you've got that orientation. And that's why you probably have that smooth nacre surface as well. That's, I don't hesitate showing you the GIA gold standard in, in valuing factors of pearl when we've got one of this amazing quality. Let's do a 60 second clock. 
I've got just over 200, a beautiful half drilled, completely and utterly natural peach pearl in the perfect round shape. Make no doubt about it. This is the kind of pearl that you would see on our sister channel 18 karat gold, surrounded by diamonds. This is the kind of pearl that you will find in all of those big expensive jewelry houses in London or in Paris or in Milan for fortunes, absolute fortunes. Make no doubt about it, for a pearl which is so flawless, naturally colored and so perfectly shaped, most of us would assume it's an investment price. It's a miracle, isn't it? It is. Nature. That in, consummate in beauty. Yeah. It does come within the box too, obviously. Half drilled. So you could wear this on, can you imagine it in a solitaire ring? The graphics are live, the auction is open. If you are in a position to do so, I'm just going to slide that back, there we go. If you are in a position to do so, and you are looking for the most magnificent, perfect, natural peach pearl, get involved nice and early, because you've got... To, ugh, the price that we're taking this to is ludicrous, frankly. Absolutely ludicrous. Ah, oh, that's interesting. Now, I've not seen this before, but I'm just looking at something that... Uh, um, is this Dave's? One of Dave's PowerPoints from the pearl source. So look, 11.5 to 12.5 millimeters. So that's smaller than ours, right? Yeah. A peach freshwater pearl, AAA quality. That's the, their own grading standard, I assume. Look at the luster. Look at, look at the shape. Look at the natural color. Look how beautifully smooth the surface is. Look at the nacre. $2,379. Yeah, well, that's... That's, that's actually a what good you price. Would expect. Yeah. That's a that's yeah. a really good it price. Is. It is. It is. I'm surprised at that price tag. I would have expected it to be double that at least. I think it would be in another establishment, but the pearl source are just about pearls. They're all about pearls. Yeah. That's all they do, pearls. Mm -hmm. I think that's an amazing price. Well, it's got a saving of four hundred and twenty pounds anyway, so it was more than that. Yeah. At some point. Wait until you see our price. I don't know about I don't know about you, but I don't have two thousand pounds burning a hole in my pocket at the moment. But when we take this to your deal today, I think it's going to be achievable to the masses. The re this color in particular, and the GIA mentioned it about the supply and demand. The papaya pearls are absolutely huge, huge right now. And you had an article just then, sorry, that was actually showing, um, here we go. Oh, here we go. Sorry. Just before. To replace pearls like this in the current climate, it is impossible, uh, impossible but it is very expensive. Now, it might be talking about Baroque pearls right now, mm -hmm. but it's also talking about the beautiful colour. Strands of this grade are likely to retail around 10,000 US dollars today. The demand is all about your beautiful papayas, your pinks and your peaches uh, and your purples, sorry. Next year, you will be looking at double that with the way the pearl farms have been affected. I just want to talk about that. We're at 249 pounds, but we're nowhere near. Now, it mentions here five years. It, uh, we won't be able to offer anything like this for maybe five years. Why do you think they say five years? the time it takes to grow it. But we've also heard from other pearl harvesters because they lost their entire harvest during the pandemic, they need to recuperate costs. Not many pearl far, uh, farmers will want to invest that length of time. Well, I mean, it, so they'll have, we'll have smaller pearls. All of those sort of things making up an equation uh, which equals there's going to be a dearth of pearls yes. over the next few years. I mean, it's, it simply is... It's there. Is that, as I've said earlier, um, China <coughs> and Asia will keep the best for themselves. Um, understandably so. They've got a huge economic growth there and they are everybody's buying them. Well, um, you said a drought of pearls. Over in Tucson, there were stands which would have been bought and paid for the year previously yeah. from pearl farmers, pearl sources. Here we go, Pacific Pearls. Mm -hmm. Empty. Yeah. Because they didn't have... 
They didn't have the pearls no, I to mean, even we, attend. We've had the, the worldwide pandemic. We've also, um, in the areas where these farms um, are situated, they've had horrific weather yes, true. Um, problems as well, which all affects Mother Nature's... Well, they get lost um, to the sea, don't they? They yeah. literally get lost to the sea. And also... You know, if you've got sort of water that's moving quite violently, you're not going to get a pearl like that. No, definitely. You know, not. it's all has to be, all the, all the things to create a pearl like this have to be perfect. We're at one hundred and forty-nine pounds, but we are nowhere near. We want to see you there. A single two and a half to thirteen and a half millimeter natural, perfectly spherical, half drilled peach pearl. I mean, how long has that pearl taken to to grow? That three bit? or four years, probably. At least, yeah, at least, and and the conditions have to be fairly perfect. Forty nine ninety nine, but we are not stopping there. The, uh, this literally, and again, I know I do it a lot, and please don't drop this pearl out. Please don't drop this pearl just because it is so perfect. It's going to be quite difficult to hold within the tweezers. Imagine that. This is the quality of pearl that you do see on our sister channel, surrounded by diamonds in 18 karat gold. Look at how flawless it is. I'd, I'd even go as far as saying I bought that purple strand, um, which I said was the best I've ever seen. This is the best peach I've ever seen. Yeah, it is. Yeah. As a single pearl, this is the best I have ever seen. If you value my recommendation, definitely dial through because in 60 seconds, we are going to... Uh, we're going to half that price. Oh, my word. Yeah, I don't blame you for adding to your order. I would do exactly the same. Let me just show you on the reverse as well. There's that half drill. Do you know earlier on it was saying about hiding with the mount and the drill hole and things like that, maybe in slight imperfections within the pearl. There is not a single imperfection visible at all within this absolutely glorious natural pearl. Look at the surface. You can literally see. Hang on. You can see the reflection. Is it? Hang on. You can see the reflection of the studio in the pearl itself. That's the quality of the Orient There's and Nacre. Probably about one, perhaps two mil of Nacre. Yeah, it's got it. Yeah, because the surface of that pearl. Can I can, can I be alt altogether massively indulgent? Even though, because we, we're going lower, that's the only reason I'm doing this. Otherwise, I'd imagine it would be a single purchase because of the price tag. Imagine these in pearl earrings. Imagine how amazing these would be in natural. We've shown you Soru the Jewelers. Soru Jewelers, they've got, it's a different color. It's a pink pearl. Um, but they've got a pair of pearl spherical earrings like this that are 8,000 pounds. You can make this pair of earrings for 24 pounds and 99 pence. You know which one I'm talking about, don't you, Russ? So a perfect pink pearl, totally natural, from Suru in London. It's got sapphires and diamonds on the reverse. You know which one takes the centre stage? It's the pearl, not the sapphires and diamonds. They go at the back of the ear. Eight grand for those earrings. There they are. I know it's a different colour. But peach, pink and purple, they're the, they're the most in-demand colours that the GIA wrote about. £8,000. Look at how beautiful those pearls are. Now have a little look at how perfect your spherical round is. That's precisely what I'm going to do, Linda. I'm going to turn these into amazing stud earrings. Mm -hmm. Definitely. You've got your uh, half half drill it in there, which is perfect because it doesn't interrupt the surface on the part of the pearl that you actually see that's not nestled by the ear. Amazing. I, I, can I be really honest? I just signalled to our um, to producer Ross. Literally went, you know what I'm going to say, don't mm -hmm. you? <coughs> perhaps it's me. Perhaps I've, I don't know, perhaps I haven't done my job as well as I should. Perhaps I haven't highlighted the value of pearls. Perhaps I haven't 
highlighted the quality of the pearl that you're actually getting. I don't know. I thought I thought I had. Perhaps I don't. I generally don't. I'm baffled because at twenty four ninety nine for a pearl of this size, shape, colour, quality overall, that's absolute madness. But for whatever reason. They're not selling as well as we'd expected. We bought 200 of these, they're that good. There's only one other thing that we can do. We shouldn't do. And if there's enough people, we'll do it. If not, we'll just have to end the auction because, oh, we shouldn't be losing money on pills like this though, Russ. It could literally be placed into the hands of our sister channel. And as I said, they could put that on in, 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 in a line of jewellery. That could be in, in 14 karat or 18 karat gold with a halo of diamonds all the way around. And that would be a 400 piece of jewellery all day long. Mm -hmm. And that's a great price. For whatever reason, they're not selling as fast as we'd like. Let's give you a minute. That's a minute to show your interest. Can you count my name in there, Ross? Because I'm getting some of these. And me. Yeah, and Linda. <coughs> You've got a minute to show your interest. And by the way, Ida, Helen, Maker, Susan, Gabrielle, uh, Shona, uh, Virginia, Cheshire, Pembrokeshire, Lorraine, Jeannie, J uh, Jane, everybody that's already made their confirmations, you will still benefit from this price drop, of course. Of course. For whatever reason, I'll have to revisit this. I'll have to have a little, maybe watch back. Perhaps I didn't demonstrate the quality of what we're actually getting. I hoped I had. No, oh, I'm absolutely certain you did. I, I get this feeling quite often, actually, that the, the, the fantastic um, way that Elle has just presented you with that pearl um, is then perhaps made a little bit unbelievable by the price. Do you know, yeah, yeah, we've said this before. People almost think it's too good to be true then, don't mm. they? No, no, our business model. We're not like Novus. We won't just have a couple of those pearl earrings in our, in our vaults. We have 200 available in our vaults and we sell them at tiny margins instead of the 400, 500% markups that you see in those jewellery establishments. They, they, they are sourcing the same pills that you are sourcing right now. Um, but without the marketing, without the celebrity endorsements, without the massive, massive overheads, that make no doubt about it, you are sourcing from those same locations. Look, look at our graphics of graphics. Natural peach, freshwater cultured pearls. Look at the Novus, freshwater pearl. It's exactly the same. You are sourcing the same pearls. The quality, we've gone through the five virtues from the GIA, same quality factors, but instead of the markups, you're getting a fine quality, but without the gold, without the sapphire, without the diamonds, but it's the pearl ultimately, ultimately that yeah, takes well, centre the, stage the, the, in that. The, exactly, the pearl's the heroin there, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, for sure. 20 pounds is just madness. You could make, at that price point, I'm thinking, go all out and, 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 and treat yourself to a full suite of jewellery because that would be the most amazing pair of earrings, the most beautiful solitaire, the most uh, pendant, the most incredible pearl, uh, pearl ring. How stunning would that be? Half drilled, all you need to do is a simple gluing process, which I think we've shown multiple times. Yeah, and I mean, really, if you're a little bit sort of, um, what's the word I should use? Not scared, what's the word? You're a little bit sort of, oh, I don't know whether I can work with a pearl of this quality. Hesitant, yeah. yeah a, a, a sort of hesitancy, thinking that you can't do it just. <coughs> then just take it to a jeweler. Yeah, absolutely. You know, okay, that'll cost you again. But um, I can't see any of you doing anything but absolute justice to that. I mean, you've only got to, as Elle said, glue yep. um, and create a bale and pop it onto a sterling silver or a uh, gold chain. Yep, that's, that's all it. you have to do. It's a very simple, very easy, simple um, piece of jewellery. But when it's created, it will be exactly the same as that, that one sitting on that black bus sure. in a window on its own on Bond Street without a price on it. 
Oh my word, these make my the hairs on my pole right. of my Me too. stand up. Me too. Do you know? This is a different type of person. In that PowerPoint where we quick, one slide, I actually spoke about the fact that different things will, uh, in terms of shape, you know, yes, it's the spherical, but everybody's loving Baroque pearls on the back of the House of Gucci. Uh, um, we're also loving the naturally metallic colors. Um, these aren't being sold by the Strand anymore, though. Very, very, very few pearl farmers will actually offer these by the Strand because, quite literally, it, they make more money selling them individually. Um, uh, these are, firstly, natural. Natural in the colour. So you've got wonderful sashes of purple, of pistachio greens, of papaya colours. Secondly, they are naturally metallic. From a harvest of 10,000 pearls, less than 10, less than 10, that's one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Less than ten. Ten thousand pearls would have been harvest, potentially, just to get, and it's not even half the strand, just to get those natural metallic pearls. These are, for those of you that are looking for, these are very rare, very, very, very limited, obviously. For those of you that are looking for one of the rarest varieties of pearls, most certainly, but something which is ever so slightly, oh, look at that, oh my goodness. I mean, the thing is on the article from the GIA about the pearls, it did actually say that one of the um, other um, things, I can't think of the word again, that one of the other, I don't want to use the word things, I hate it. One of the other factors, factors yeah. thank you, that's perfect. <gasps> one of the other factors that uh, um, is attributed to pearls is fashion. Yes. And this is fashion forward now with pearls. This type of pearl is what has exploded in the younger person um, buying pearls, apparently, according but to But the most luxurious. We're not talking about costume. Gosh, absolutely not. But this Ultra, is, ultra rare. This is what's changed the mind and made younger people um, consider purchasing freshwater pearls now is these gorgeous nu nucleated pearls. I mean, these are Within the pearl, oh. um, within the pearl market, these are the love of my life. Yeah. Oh, I love that. I absolutely love that. And it's that show, it's, it's that conversation, you know, we've all seen, no disrespect, you know, your classic sort of uh, string of pearls, haven't you? Your, your sort of, yeah, your, I mean, don't your get white me wrong, pearls. I applaud those, but these, oh. these just go that extra mile for me. I we love have, the, how many do we them. have? 17. Mm. 16, Somerset, you've already got yours. Literally, this is why, jumping on that soapbox just to jump back off again, this is why we should be selling 18 karat gold clasps. Pearls of this grade. This grade should be knotted with a silk with an 18 karat gold clasp. Again, if you find a specialist pearl dealer, and it would have to be a specialist, these would have a four-figure price tag all day long. Without a doubt. Absolutely. And that would be amazing, two and a half thousand. Yeah, without a doubt. Let's take a thousand pounds off that price tag. It won't be staying there long because we're not even stopping there. Ah, uh, where are you taking these two? I mean, if you saw that price or the previous price on a, um, uh, and it wouldn't be on the high street, it would be on an independent type of yeah. uh, jewellery uh, establishment or yep. the likes of Bond Street, Rodeo Drive, Dubai, places like that. If you saw that price attributed to that, although it probably would be price on application, you wouldn't blink. You no. might not be able to afford it, don't get me wrong. Most of us can't, but you would expect it. And Definitely. you wouldn't blink an eye, you would think, yeah, if only. Each I of these pearls it. are formed within one single mollusk. Yeah, so I consider mean, that again, a harvest of 10,000 pearls. Mm -hmm. That's one pearl that would have been in one of those mollusks. And you don't have 10,000 pearls culturing at any one uh, at any one given time so this could be potentially years of investment oh, to make that full strand I mean, if you get a mollusk that, that can evolve a pearl like that then you try it again yeah absolutely and this is this is what the pearl farmers do and they have a a, a selected amount of mollusk that they will try again if they get a pearl of this nature so time and time again they've got to nucleate this um God. this mollusk and just keep their fingers crossed and everything else that they're going to get a comparable pearl to the one that they've just got 
and that's what happens there. These are cherry picked. Colour and luster, Adam is just saying in my ear. Absolutely. Now we're going to show you a previous closing price. Know that this bears absolutely zero reflection on the true value and worth. Previous closing deal. Today, we're going to take them to a brand new low. Oh, my goodness, I so want to join you on this. It's so beautiful. Can you imagine how you feel wearing that particular necklace? And it's just a re-strand. You don't have yeah. to do anything. I mean, what would look gorgeous if you don't do pearl knotting or you don't want them knotted is to put those diamond and silver spaces Oh, my in. goodness me. Because do you know, there's so much silver going on in the, in, the, in the necra on those pearls. Do you know, Linda, this is one of those pieces that I would never, ever, ever let leave my family's... Absolutely. No, it, it is a, an heirloom. I'd, I'd knot it. I would stone. invest in 18 carat, probably rose gold, I'm feeling. 18 carat rose gold class. You can get on auction sites. And, and this would be something I would pass down to future generations. Definitely. That's oh, a previous definitely. closing price. It's an estate piece. Definitely. Yeah. Do you think we're going to stop there? Wow. I'm excited. In a minute, we're going to take it to a brand new low. The graphics aren't showing split pay, but it is available. Um, speak to our customer centre. Check out your baskets. And if you want, dial through and speak to our call centre and they'll sort that out for you as well. Split pay is available. We're going to take it to a brand new low. £499.99 uh, £99 is absolutely incredible. Think of the rarity that we're getting here. The size, the scale, the natural colours, the, the, the fact that these are metallic. We spoke about the overtones, didn't we? This has got all of those beautiful overtones. We had 17. Guess what? There are 11 left. I mean, when you really think about it as well, we can't order, reorder a strand like this again because Mother Nature doesn't take orders. No. You know, it's very much, let's wait and see what she designs. So... Um, and, yeah, and, and you'll probably have to wait a very long time. Speak to our customer service team if you want to get hold of it on your split pay. Brand new low price, £349, that's madness, absolute madness. Can I count these? Because, you know, so we can work out the price per pearl. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28. What's that working out at per pearl? Madness. £12.46. Well, that really sounds Goodness unbelievable, me. doesn't it? Yeah, when and you put you it consider, into perspective. Well, if you put it in perspective thinking what you could buy for £12.96, you know, and this is a forever thing. It's an yeah, estate. Yeah, totally. It will make what we call an estate piece of jewellery, which, you know, uh, you, would, you would see really in museums from, you know, families like the Rothschilds and things like that. Um, I mean... You can get it home for £87 on split pay. I mean, oh, it's incredible. £87. I mean, correct pounds. me if I'm wrong, Elle, but... Um, when Cartier opened on Fifth Avenue in yep. New York, um, Mr. Cartier or Monsieur Cartier actually paid for that building, which is a mansion, paid for that building in Pearl. Yes, absolutely. That is true. True story. And I bet they didn't have... Pearls like that. Um, I, uh, yeah, exactly. My goodness me, previous closing price at £499. And by the way, if you paid £499, that's still an amazing deal. Because I truly believe, if you, if, can you not pearls? Hands up if you can not pearls. Or if you can't, we can certainly teach you. Um, you can source gold or platinum class if that's what you wish. That's my personal uh, um, um, opinion from your ebays and your auction sites and things like that and the cooks and gold do them although i have to say i'd want something really lovely you know like a bullet class if you I'd, like. Like, I'd want a vintage yeah me too class for that. me too in sort of a little have um, not them gemstone. and have that valued i am so confident that it will come back with you know, potentially zeros. I'm not qualified to value jewellery. This is just my professional opinion. Figures, it's going to be a four-figure piece, absolutely. Linda, Virginia, Susan, Helen and Suzanne. Margaret, Thomas, new customer. Uh, Hampshire, London, new customer. The 
Oh my goodness, there's so many of you on those phone lines. You want this? Ross. Ah, oh, I think I know where you're taking this to. Uh, are you, where are you taking it to? I think I know. Yeah. Four hundred ninety-nine pounds is the previous closing price. Do you want this? Yes, please. Twenty-eight individual, natural, twelve to fifteen millimeter, metallic, rainbow overtone pearls. I mean, they are magical, aren't they? They're breathtaking. Try and find a necklace like this anywhere less than four figures. No, I say that's not impossible. I, I did a show on gems the other day and we had some beautiful Baroque pearls that weren't coloured, naturally coloured like this. They were white. They were beautiful, don't get me wrong. It was two and a half thousand pounds. Mm -hmm. That yeah, necklace. Totally understandable. Never yeah. overlook the, the yeah. deal that you get from Jewellery Maker because you can make those two pieces of jewellery. You can. You get an amazing deal because we give you the, the high-end components to make that potential. That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. If you, uh, there's six of them left within the vault. We cannot go a single penny lower. Um, it's, uh, and I can see some wonderful, wonderful collectors who, um, yeah, that, oh my goodness me. You've got to check out those baskets. There's so many of you there. The split payment is there. I know it doesn't show on our graphics, but if you check out your baskets and if you want to use split payment, speak to our call center and they can sort that out for you. £74.75 and 75 pence on split payments. Um, Heather, Cardiff, sorry, Yvette, Suja, I can see you there. New customer, Margaret, Thomas and Linda. Three left within the vault. They are absolutely impeccable. And, you know, we say it all the time, all the time. And I wish that I could give every single one of our lovely, uh, lovely viewers a little sort of injection of confidence because I, I hear this more frequently than not. <coughs> oh, I haven't got the confidence to take it into a pill, into a into a jeweler to get it valued, or I haven't got confidence to try and offer it to those luxury jewellery houses. Well, um, you don't need confidence. No, you just need to take it in there and, say, and they'll you see. Are, do me a valuation on this because don't tell why, them how much you paid. No, no, oh, absolutely not. But why you need that valuation in my mind is simply because these, whatever you make from this, or simply this strand as it is now. They need to be attached to your insurance, your house yes, insurance. Yes, yes, yes. Definitely. Because that's basically... Not just an ego, is it? No, no, it's, it's, they're irreplaceable, almost. Well, the our supplier said it. Not impossible. Um, not, not irreplaceable, they said, but, the, uh, um, but at the moment, impossible and very expensive. Yeah. Very, very expensive. They've sold out. Well done. Well done. They are incredible. They're going to blow you away when they get home. If you can, add that beautiful peach pearl to it, because that's a no-brainer, isn't it? It's an absolute no-brainer at that price tag. What do we do? Something silly, like £20, £20, silly. Um, still got so much to bring you. An amazing masterclass. And then we've got the wonderful showcase of monochrome uh, coming up. Wonderful editions of black spinel. I can't remember the last time that I actually saw it. We've got white topaz, sorry, cullinan. We've got some goshenite to bring. You've got zircons. We've got some J. Uh, let us know if there's anything that you would like us to include in your uh, monochrome hour. Yes, white jade. It's a pu beautiful, pure white. Only the one, though, uh, in eight millimeter size. Uh, so still loads to bring you. Congratulations, everybody, on that beautiful pearls. And likewise, the pipe pearls and so much more. So much more. We shall return after this. Hey guys, I'd love for you to join me this Friday where I'm launching a brand new gemstone. Now this variety is something I'm sure you won't have seen before. I've certainly never bought it to your screens. We are of course talking about a natural new variety of blue lace agate. This is considered by many to be one of the most expensive forms of agate, certainly one of the rarest. And when you see this kind of quad A grade that I'll be bringing to you, um, I, I think you're gonna go wild. I, I hope you get in early because we are very limited but I cannot wait to talk to you about this legendary discovery. Want to know what's going on in the next show? 
then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guests we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Make sure you go to our website at www.jewelrymaker.com. We have got over a thousand lines going into a huge online exclusive clearance with up to 95% off prices. Wow. See you there. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. I'm so pleased that we have lovely Linda here for this showcase. And it's something, again, that Ross and I have been championing for a good few months, in actual fact. Because much like pearls, you know, uh, um, the monochrome inspiration has been around, I think, through uh, so every single Definitely. decade and generation. I mean, it sort of exploded in the 60s, didn't it? Yeah. With Mary Quant and that. But never really gone out of fashion either. No. And there's different ways of wearing monochrome. Mm -hmm. And I found this article, uh, it was written in 2019, but I, I just think it, it describes the trend that monochrome is enjoyed so perfectly. So classic black and white jewellery, the classic combination for every occasion. Uh, no matter what the occasion, ca uh, you can never go wrong with the classic combination of black and white. Um, originally launched by fashion icons Coco Chanel in 1926, uh, uh, the little black dress or the LBD continues to be um, a fashion staple in every woman's wardrobe today. Uh, but you may not realise that we were also indebted to, Co to, uh, to Coco for our love of costume jewellery. Uh, just uh, as her larger-than-life beaded necklace complemented her fashion silhouette, our black and white collection will bring your outfit to life. They're talking about their collection, obviously. Let's read on. They're showing pieces like this. Yeah? Black and white, 
beautiful sterling silver elements, which we've brought you today as your deal of the day. Ask me what the gemstone is. Onyx, yeah, we've got black onyx today. And jade. White jade. That's white jade. We've got that today as well. Classic, simple, beaded designs. Parve stacker style rings. Trend alert, black and white jewelry. This is actually from a separate article. But it's all about the monochromes. And that's looking at 2013. Then we went to 2019. We spoke about the, the 1960s. Moving on. What's not to love about the crisp, clean contrast of black and white? This look has long been a classic for jewellery design, but the love of these two tone pieces has certainly increased over the last few, de uh, few months. Due in part to the Art Deco trend that developed over the end of last year, black and white jewellery gives an instant wow factor and in any look, uh, to any look, sorry, it maintains a very modern feel. And I definitely think that, you know, we're talking about 1920s, 1960s. It is modern though, isn't it? Yeah, it, it's, it's always fitted in with all of the eras, hasn't it? Always. Absolutely. You know, if you were to wear it today, I think we'd all say, oh, look how modern it is. Mm -hmm. Naturally, when we think of black and white, our first thoughts may turn to diamonds. These are always a striking combination in jewellery, uh, and the pair of diamond colours looks good with any skin tone. However, not everyone may have the budget for diamonds. So soon after the holidays, uh, so this iconic black and white look can also be achieved with black and white pearls, sapphires, quartz, onyx, and topaz. These gemstones easily achieve that diamond illusion with uh, fewer price limitations. Uh, and I think that's something you're quite, uh, uh, um, quite experienced in, um, is using monochromes, not just in diamonds. You know, for ages, as jewellery makers, we didn't really get the experience of diamonds, did we? No. Um, until sort of more recent years. We had to use the likes of your onyx and your spinels, etc. Some trends may come and go, but the black and white look will always be a favourite. It's modern, stylish, uh, uh, modern again, uh, and has the ability to be dressed up or dressed down for any occasion. Right. It's that modern. They had to say it twice. Had to say it twice. Had to yeah, say it twice. Um, <laughs> even more modern by the end of the sentence. Yeah. Um, and boy, oh boy, have we got some of the most amazing monochrome gemstones to bring you. Some of the rarest also. We had sellouts yesterday in your jade. We have the pure white jade strand, the only white jade that we have available. And they're in eight millimeter rounds. Certified type A, completely and utterly natural. Go back to that amazing necklace. If you want to recreate that design, we have onyx to bring you as well. The more challenging uh, addition will be the natural type A jade. It's, we're going to put it on pre-order. There are only 50, though. Certified natural, the only white jade that we have. So if, you, if, you've, if you're desperate to get hold of natural white jade, Many, uh, we've said it before, Susie, uh, 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 she, it's her favourite colour, but she also says about how, no, actually, it wasn't uh, Susie said it, Davis said it, but also, um, I've gone blank with his name, Rich, oh, yes, Richard Wise, thank you, said that he believes that this will go, it is the best of its type. We'll talk about that during the auction. Right then, monochromes. We don't see monochrome gemstones that often, and they're always so, so popular. Um, let's start with an absolutely beautiful strand of black onyx. Imagine these teamed alongside your white jade, or maybe your, your Blanca onyx strands that were launched by Dave not that long ago. The same gemstone, absolutely the same gemstone. It's black onyx that you're seeing in Tiffany's & Co. It's black onyx that you're seeing in Cartier. <coughs> amazing luster amazing amazing surface luster i can't remember the last time i saw a black onyx no i was just thinking that l i mean in the early days of jewelry maker we had a lot of black onyx didn't we yep. all shapes sizes designs etc but n over the, probably the last three four years mm -hmm. not seen a lot of it at all if any 
No. No, no, absolutely. Mm. Spinel came in mm -hmm. and then diamonds. Mm -hmm. and, and, and now <coughs> we don't seem to have any of the above. £29.99. and Imagine this in a really beautiful with the pearls that you had. In fact, Dan, can you pass me some of the pearls from uh, maybe next hour and maybe from Linda's nine o'clock hour as well? Imagine these kind of mixed up together with the beautiful pearls that we bring you here on our show. 1999, high luster, almost liquid like. Your onyx should look almost look like a liquid black. Big I mean, stones. Um, Men's signet rings are often um, black onyx, black yeah. onyx, aren't they? A friend of ours has just bought one. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. How many do we have? Just shy of 100. White if you've got them, Dan, sorry. Nobody is paying 19.99. I mean, you, you don't necessarily have to design Oh, monochrome jewellery you it can be itself, really quite it? random because yeah. it is so definitive so um just see what happens we've got three different shapes and cuts of your black onyx 12 pounds and 99 pence only it's incredible absolutely amazing because that it? sun would have been that several years ago probably more than that definitely years ago to be honest how Absolutely. gentle is that now? Oh, that's beautiful. And with the diamond cut spacer beads that we had Definitely. in our deal of the day, yeah, Dan, very definitely. kindly, thank you, darling, um, is passing in some of the beautiful pearls that we've brought you to today. Um, they look absolutely gorgeous together. I'm going to take this, the, the jade eye out just because I think you would single that out, maybe. Uh, but look how gorgeous and dynamic. I can't remember the last time I saw a black, a black onyx. Mm -hmm. I know that uh, the guest designer Mark always talks about the fact that um, he feels sorry for Black Onyx because it kind of got overtaken, didn't it? Yeah, by it got Espinel. overtaken and then overlooked. <coughs> totally, totally. But it was a higher price point than what's on your screens. I've got the rice bead shape. We've got them in like a, um, a, an, an oval-like shape. And then we've got slightly smaller, more elongated as well. But mix them up. Use them with your pearls. Super duper wearable. That last slide that we showed you uh, that said modern, it's always, always, is always on trend. Irene, Yvette, hello to you. Helen, Nancy, Linda, another Helen, Kim, Pauline, uh, London, Lincolnshire, you're there as well. well there's only, only one of the strand. Oh. I'm still going to keep them together though, is that all right? Oh, the ovals are obsidians. Oh, look. There's a hundred of these available. Should we do? A, should we do almost an early bird deal? <coughs> because it is actually the black, last black onyx that we actually have. Not pray, Not stopping there. I want these, Ross. You're going to add them to my list. I think it is going to have to go on a wish list, isn't it? They're so elegant, aren't they? They are uh, very elegant, but they are also very fashion forward, fashion yeah. uh, trend. You know, uh, as we've repeatedly said it, black and white monochrome um, doesn't go far away and it always pops back. Always. Particularly, particularly around the Christmas festivities. Time. Yeah. It's very wearable. I mean, with a little black dress. Beautiful. Which uh, often comes out at Christmas, doesn't it? Doesn't it just? Um, I know this is a different gemstone, but Ross, if you go into Liam's folder, I've got a PowerPoint on Spinel that shows different celebrities all wearing monochrome jewellery. And it's just it, that's immediately what I'm thinking of when I'm seeing these beautiful strands. Not even stopping at £9.99. Wow. I don't want to separate them. I absolutely love pearls with your onyxes. Mm -hmm. I mean, look, here you've got... Uh, oh, are the celebrities on there or not? Oh, is it, oh, it's only one. Ah, that's strange. Okay, but anyway, there's Jennifer Aniston. Um, I thought we had loads of different... Was it a different PowerPoint? That's okay. Don't worry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, but yeah, there was pictures like with Michelle Obama, wasn't there? Oh, here we go. Thank you, lovely. Yeah, here we go. So you've got the gorgeous Sandra Bullock. Irrelevant of the gemstone, you know, it's all about the monochrome look. She's wearing that beautiful, beautiful bright red dress, jet black gemstones. Absolutely stunning. But I think you could make those, couldn't you? 
You yeah. could make that design or something very similar. Maisie Williams actually wearing a Gemporia piece of jewellery. Yeah, that's a Gemporia ring she's wearing. Uh, I love that piece. Absolutely love that. Michelle Obama wearing sort of a long line. Again, very monochrome, perfect for you. It's just layered, isn't it? I mean, easy to create because it's just several necklaces of different lengths. So it's just a layer. She looks look. gorgeous, doesn't she? Absolutely gorgeous. I oh. love this. I can't even remember where I got this from, but I just love that design. Oh, that's right. Sorry, it was Wall of Fame, Julia Tinsley. That's beautiful. Look. Yeah, I mean, you could, you could create that with that B, couldn't you? Oh, yes. Love it with the bumblebee. Yeah. Uh, here you go. You've got uh, Nicole Schurz, uh, Schurzwinger wearing, uh, wearing uh, I mean, black gemstones. They're monochrome gemstones. Steal her style, it says on that article. Angelina Jolie. She's wearing black spinel, but again, you could so recreate that design. That was to the premiere of Salt. Liberties of London working with it. These are, again, they're spinel, but irrelevant. It's, it's the black gemstone. That's that trend which is absolutely everywhere. Six pounds and 99 pence only for this beautiful strand. I think the most appropriate, I think the most appropriate is that, is that Michelle Obama necklace, isn't it? You know, those really yeah, beautiful layers. I mean, the layers. thing about a black gemstone is, I think, why it is fashion forward, why it's always modern, as quoted, is because it can be turned into the modern trend of jewellery yeah. design within each, you know, decade, era, whatever you want to call it. Totally. You know, I mean, with a, a black a black and white um, colour code, colour palette, um, you can do that. You can design something. You can go back to Art Deco, as that article said, it's been defined by Art Deco because it's everywhere at the moment. Mm -hmm. A deco design is Art Deco and Art Nouveau was all very uh, black and white. I mean, all the, you know, the sort of um, <coughs> big art uh, movements back in the 20s, 30s, and the late 1800s used the black and white. We'll go back to Sandra lots. Bullock's earrings. Well, they look like onyx to me with that luster. Yeah, we found one extra strand of onyx. And they are in these beautiful, smooth drops. How many pairs of Sandra's earrings could you recreate out of this one strand? Wow. Would yeah. you call them Sandra's earrings? Why not? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Sarnie's drops. Sarnie's drops. £14.99, pence, but not stopping there. Literally just what a briolette wrap on the top. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the thing about that shape, that drop, is you can um, take a piece of sterling silver or, or silver plated head wire. Head pins, the featherweight head, head pins. And then continue wrapping yeah. and then create that cage work, you know, about a third of the way down, which would emulate that design there. Or you could just, you could put it onto a bale. Yeah, lovely. If you've got any bales. I mean, there's loads of ways you could um, use those earrings as inspiration. Beautiful. With this strand. We had the featherweight head pins as part of your deal of the day this morning. Oh, sorry, as part of, yeah, well, it was close to the deal of the day hour. Um, they work beautifully alongside your diamond spacer beads as well. I've literally just draped another strand of pearls across the back of my hand. I mean, how beautiful are they together? If whether you're inspired by Sandra Bullock's beautiful, beautiful earrings, you're going to be able to negotiate, uh, to, 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 to recreate, sorry, or be inspired by, at a fraction of the cost, I want to buy these. $9.99. Goodness me. I mean, that is potentially, let me just give them a count. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 29. That, that you, you've, you've got, what, 14, 14 pairs, of, pairs earrings. of earrings and a little... And, and a pendant. Yeah. 14 pairs of beautiful, genuine gemstone, lustrous, black onyx earrings. Uh, I mean, you work out, you do the maths. You do the maths, yeah. I mean, for the Sandra Bullock earrings, you could just drop them from one of those diamond-cut spacer beads, couldn't you? Yeah. And that would very much look like that. Perfect. Loads of you there. We haven't seen Onyx in a very long time. Lovely to see it back onto our screens. Um, your earrings, uh, I'm looking across to your lovely pearl cluster earrings. Mm -hmm. Imagine just putting one, one Onyx on the, the bottom. Yeah, 
And on its right, because with those, you know, um, we've got some gorgeous little seed pearls coming up in the 12 o'clock hour. Yeah. And those draped over. Oh, they would the be beautiful. Pin, look beautiful. Hello, Margot, saying fashions come and go, but good taste will I always like that, prevail. Margo. Yeah, very I true. Like that. That's exactly Very, what very, it is. very true. Um, my mum always used to say as well, you can never be overdressed. You, no, that's probably that's that's actually I hadn't considered that, but you never be overdressed, but no. you can be underdressed. Yeah. Now, the only black rounds that we have. Wow. Is jet. <laughs> Sorry, Adam just said he always wears his tux to his five-a-side football. Do you know I pay to see that though? <laughs> <coughs> that would be pretty funny. Immediately, you'll, you'll feel the difference with Jet. Uh, we spoke about organic gemstones uh, already. Jet is another organic gemstone. Can we just uh, uh, show how Jet forms? Jet is, is a very unique gemstone, a very rare gemstone as well. Um, and I have an article which was written about by the jewellery editor who says, inspired by spectacular acts of nature... Talking about designer here, Jacqueline Cullens uses the beautiful and rare Whitby jet, a fossilized wood that is more than 180 million years old, has resulted in a collection of dramatically beautiful fine jewelry. Pieces oh, like wow, I, love I love that. Love those. Me those too. Are gorgeous. And that. Yeah, I love anything with little clusters going on. It's like reticulate. Is it reticulation that technique? Towards the end of the, of the 20th century, a new appreciation of this rare organic material emerged. Its meaningful heritage began drawing new recognition and a renewed look from jewellers, jewellery lovers around the globe. Yeah, because the, the Victorians loved jet, didn't they? Did. they? I've got, um, well, I thought it was my mother's, but it, it, it isn't. It was her mother, so it was my grandmother's. Um, just literally round, a plain round mm. um, jet uh, necklace. Um, so she would have probably had that in either the late 1800s or the early 1900s, my grandpa would <coughs> And that would have been a very expensive piece of jewellery back then, uh, yeah. as it is now. This is basically how jet forms. It comes from uh, the monkey puzzle tree. Wow. Um, yeah, a branch of a modern day, I can't pronounce that, but it's basically monkey puzzle tree relative to the Jurassic trees that fossilised into jet over the period of 180 million years. Amazing that a beautiful gemstone, which has this wonderful, dynamic, uh, a really stunning luster, comes from a tree, effectively. Yeah, isn't that incredible? Because that, that gemstone bears no resemblance no. to that tree. No, 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 none it? whatsoever. So that's, the, that's Mother Nature again, you know, defying us, really, isn't Define it? So the look, natural look process. what I can do, I'm a magician. Modern jewellery, uh, jet jewellery, is now available at prices that accommodate all budgets, starting with simple sterling silver and jet stud earrings to luxurious jet and diamond pieces set in 18 karat gold or platinum. Special one-of-a-kind pieces can cost thousands. Yeah, and, and, and those are probably the pieces that I have just shown you. Beautiful jet should have a wonderful, intense black colour. This is the only round strand that we actually have available. And it is natural black, genuine jet. Very difficult, very, very difficult to get hold of. How many do we have of, uh, of these? 50. It, the, gone are the days where jet is actually worn as a, as, as a symbol of mourning. This is a beautiful gemstone, which is worn even on the red carpet. You've got Donna Ray, um, who literally wore jet and sterling silver. Um, fabulous piece, isn't it? There it is. Those are genuine jets. You have Kate Moss. That's a very cropped, perfectly cropped picture, by the way, because she's actually looking at a a, a man that's completely naked. Okay. In that photograph, I had she to. Does look a bit stunned. She does, doesn't, doesn't she? she? Yeah, I had to crop it out because I thought, no, that's yeah, not uh, TV broadcastable. But the necklace that she's actually wearing is, of course, jet. Large Victorian jet earrings, beautifully hand carved, often used in things like your cameos. Parve set with beautiful diamonds, of course. Yeah, uh, you can see this is the level of luxury. Look at that price tag. Look, an antique jet, chunky, round, graduated bead necklace, three and a half thousand pounds. Yeah, and those just at the base of that necklace, at the, the, the centre, 
We've got all of that side. Exactly. This one is There's no in. gold in that either. No. No gold. It's all jet. Here's another example. £2,695. By the way, that's not Whitby Jet, that website. I mean, It really, would say Whitby Jet. Yeah. At the end of the day, all of the jet is antique. Exactly. So that's just a bit of a... We're at £39.99, pence, but we're not even stopping there. Sorry, Ross, you did say how many quantity? 50 of these available. I, I can't remember the last time I saw Jet. I, I, I almost have flashbacks. I've got uh, 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 flashbacks of Tucson trying desperately, scouring the entire city to try and find some Jet for you all. It just wasn't there. £19.99, pence. Patricia, Lincolnshire, Rupal, Jane, Tracy, Joan, Gwyneth... London, you're there as well. I think we need to show this alongside the beautiful Taipei white jadeite that is coming up. There it is. There it is. <laughs> there it is. All day, for every day, I ask, not just about jet, granted, but I, have you got any jet? Have you got, have you got any jet? No. Have you got any jet? No. I've got, they were like, got jade. Uh, I've got Onyx. I've got never didn't have a jet. Nineteen ninety nine. We're under twenty pounds. USA totally natural black jet. No enhancement. No dyeing treatment. As if you're going lower. There also are no other rounds that we have in your monochrome hour. Look at that beautiful luster. It's so unique, Jet. It is very unique. It's because it's gemstones normally um, are cold to the touch, aren't yeah. they? But Jet is warm. Jet isn't. It's quite warm to it the is. touch. Yeah, well, it's a wood. Yeah. It's a fossilised wood. Really light as well to the touch. Uh, really, really lightweight, because like I said, 180 million years, it's gone through that fossilisation process. Um, but yeah, you'll immediately uh, notice the different feel, won't you, with, uh, uh, with Jet? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Collectors getting involved. Do you know what? I would literally multi-buy on this. I'd probably get some of the... <laughs> The pearls that we've got coming up, and I'd like the Michelle Obama necklace that we showed a few moments ago, and I don't know what the black gemstones are within her necklace, but literally just alternating, as you said, be really sporadic. Yeah, really. Be, yeah just be really statement with them and use, use a variety of black gemstones as well. Don't oh. necessarily just use the one, oh, my word. Yeah, that's a great idea. You know, use, use um, <coughs> because the, the black gemstones... Um, are the okay, texture, they're black, right? but they're all different. They've all got different lusters or different sort of matte finishes. Um, and the jet is sort of brings it all together. You see, there's two lustrous there, and then that jet just somehow oh, it, it works, doesn't it? <coughs> yes, mix so it, mix statement. it. Sounds daft, doesn't it? But mixing <coughs> your blacks. Mm. But it's texture of black, isn't it, as well? It's texture, definitely. Jet's got, Jet's got more of a shungite black. Yeah, I mean, I think. I think Jet is the blackest... Blackest of blacks. ...gemstone. Yeah. That's possibly why it was called Jet. I don't know. Well, th that's where the colour came from. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, yeah. I don't know if it was the colour or the, or the gemstone that came first. It refers to jet black, the colour. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, good point. That's a really good point. They are absolutely flying. You know that's a giveaway deal. Uh, hello to you, Linda. Hello to you, Joanne. Kathy, Michaela. Hello to you, Jacqueline. Hello to you, Cumbria. Jane's got three. Patricia's got three. Lincolnshire, well done to you, Rupal, Tracy, Renata, Zena, new customer. Make sure you check out. I know there's a bit of a queue on the phone lines. Um, stay where you are. I have one single black spinel to bring you. One single. Your white jade is coming up in one auction's time. People are already shopping ahead and pre-ordering on that. The black spinel, the only black spinel that we have. Oh, yes, of course. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, my goodness me. This must be the most lustrous of all the black gems. It is. It? That's why we refer to it with a, ooh, like a, a paparazzi. I've got to open it. Sorry, Ross. That's why we refer to it as a, 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 as a paparazzi uh, luster, because the light performance that you see across the spinel is just, well, you couldn't compare it to any other black gemstone, quite frankly. Not even a black diamond. Can, can I be controversial? I'm glad you said that and say, I would, I would choose a black spinel over a black diamond. Yeah, I think I would too. And I, I think you don't necessarily know why, but it's just the affinity, isn't it? It's just that, that real um, look, the luster on it. 
than the sparkle on it. And I mean, it's an opaque gemstone, but it just gives so much performance, doesn't it? I mean, um, I've, I know I've said this, and I apologise to people who've heard it a million times before, but it's called the Master of Disguise, isn't yes. it, this gemstone? I mean, um, it comes in a myriad of colours, as you know. But also, it's been mistaken over centuries for being black diamond. I mean, the red spinel in the crown, the imperial mm -hmm. crown, that, uh, that was mistaken historically as a ruby. And we've all just seen that recently. And, um, it's not, it's, and, and this gemstone, because of its being the master of disguise, is uh, responsible for the science of gemology. gemology. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, yeah, you could say spinel, and I think also tourmaline too. Yeah, those two. Of that huge yeah, equation, the two, yeah. The, 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 you know, they were uh, uh, um, basically just assumed to be others. But this definite, beautiful, dynamic, striking black. You know, you've got a, a gemstone as well, which is very durable, so it's right up there on the most scale. Mm -hmm. um, it can as you can see, achieve the most beautiful surface lustres and the most amazing angles. Ross, what are you going to do with this? I thought so. I thought so. I'm going to try and show you all the way around, just because if you do gemstone setting or if you do your gallery wire or anything like that, this would just be the most gorgeous solitaire. Totally and utterly natural. An amazing, simple square cut. Do you know, whenever we bring you... Like a round brilliant cut is, is an easy example. A round brilliant cut has got 57 facets, sometimes 58 facets. Now, that's great because you can hide things in a round brilliant cut. You can hide inclusions, etc. Now, I know this is an opaque stone, but when you are talking about solely the facets on the exterior, they have to be cut perfectly. Look at how beautiful the cutting of this black spinel is. We're not stopping at 20 pounds. We have a quantity of, have we? I don't think we've brought loose stones of uh, an individual calibrated stone of a black spinel. I can't remember one. I don't remember it, not for a very, very, very long time. Cast your mind back to those design houses that I showed you a few moments ago that were written about within the jewelry editor regardless of the black gemstone. It's that dynamic, striking, jet black beauty. 9.99 for a five carat statement solitaire. The LBD, that art article uh, spoke about, didn't they? the little black dress, mm -hmm. the perfect, perfect, perfect uh, um, fashion and trend that never goes out of fashion. This is that kind of piece of jewellery that you'll reach for on a regular basis. Yeah, most definitely. And I mean, if anything, it is sort <coughs> of um, pseudo art deco. Yeah. That is, isn't it? You know, yeah, because of, yeah, yeah. of the actual shape. Yeah. Uh, that was a mixture of cut and shape, by the way. Yeah, okay. Cape. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, it is. Nine ninety nine. a lot of multi-buyers on this opportunity. Again, we bring you mounts. We, we, you know, we've, we've, we've brought you gallery wire. We've brought you bezel strips and things like that for you to set your gemstones if you wish. Um, but if you're a gemstone collector and you just buy the loose stones with no intention of doing that, anything to them, this is a great example because it's beautiful in its own individual right. $9.99 only. Karen, Arthur, Angela, Alison, Justine, Victoria, Penny, Janice, hello to you, Dorset, Renata, Tracy, Kim, Joanne, new customers, you're all there. Well done. The only black spinel that we actually have um, in the entire monochrome show. Um, it's always a firm favourite. Again, going back to that black Black Spinel PowerPoint. I don't know if you've still... Have you got it? No, don't worry. Don't, don't worry if you haven't. Um, like I said, Maisie Williams, who, by the way, is an, an amazing actress on Game of Thrones, she's literally wearing a Gemporia Black Spinel piece of jewellery. Mm -hmm. Literally wearing Gemporia. I don't know if I actually kept that, the literature part of that uh, photograph on. Um, you know, th they're all wearing the same gemstone. Sandra Bullock, Michelle Obama, all wearing beautiful, natural black spinel. Graham and Donna, you've got yours. Karen, you've got yours. Hello, Sue, new customer, Tracy, Kim and Joanne. And there she is. There she is. The ring that she has on her hand is a Gemporia ring. 
Wow. Amazing. She is. She's fabulous too. Yeah, she is. An incredible, incredible actress wearing black spinel. And let's be honest, she could probably afford any gemstone that she wanted. Any gemstone that she wanted, but she chose black spell. And I, I mean, uh, there's a good chance as well, because she looks that she's somewhere quite swish. And she's on the red thing, carpet, isn't yeah. she? Yeah. So that could be a borrowed piece of jewellery from somewhere, couldn't it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. We do uh, We do sell, uh, send pieces of jewellery. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. Well. Yeah. So maybe that's yeah. it. Maybe that's what she was doing. Yeah. Um, okay, now... To my knowledge, I don't think we've actually, just on the back of that statement, I don't think we've actually sent any of our jade to any celebrities, but, and I'm quite glad about that, because let's be honest, they've got the budgets. They can buy, they can, they can buy their own. Um, especially when they are as rare as this next opportunity. Now, jade, we, thank goodness, over the past few years, have been able to bring you beautiful examples of jade. And quite honestly, not to be complacent, none of us would have the collections that we do, potentially anyway, most of us, I should say, um, if it wasn't down to Jewelry Maker and ultimately Gemporia. But there are certain colours which are even rarer still. Olmec Blue, Red, Black Jade, Lavender Jade and Pure White. I have one strand. These are not bleached, they are certified completely and utterly natural, worthwhile getting that certificate, by the way. You don't have to take my words. Take it from somebody that is the pinnacle name in the gemstone industry. I'm going to share an article with you in just a few moments, in a few mo moments time that talks about just why this next star buy opportunity is considered the finest of its type. Richard Wise, in fact, you've got the book before you, haven't you, Ross, in the gallery? Yeah. Richard Wise, because I say this and we almost assume everybody knows who Richard Wise is. Well, when I start, uh, studied my uh, accreditation with uh, the GIA, and likewise uh, many of our colleagues here, um, <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of work. But at the same time, Steve Bennett gave us all a book. This book was about this thick, heavy, and it's... It's a heavy read. I, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's a heavy, heavy read. That book is The Secrets of the Gem Trade. Thank you, Dan. Um, now, this has been... We do keep it under lock and key. This is sort of an older edition, a, a, a treasured edition. Um, and everything, really, that you need to know about gemstones, whatever the gemstone, is within these pages. The author of this book, if you just look down... Here you go. The Connoisseur's Guide to Precious Gemstone by Richard Wise. If you, if you want to get, I would love us to sell these books. Um, and they are very expensive. Yeah, very, very, very expensive. Um, but yeah, any, any gemstone will be written about pretty much within these books. Here we go, your amethyst. You've got the histories of them. Look, I'm just literally flicking through. Demantoid garnet. You've got Tahitian black cultured pearls, anything that you can imagine is written about within these pages. But again, it's quite an intense, I'm not going to sugarcoat it, it's quite an intense read. This is by Richard Wise himself, and most of us will regard him as the leading name in the gemstone world. He spoke specifically about white jade in that book. And his words were, in modern connoisseurship, a jadeite jade cabochon, strand, whatever it is he's talking about, a shape really, of a pure white hue with a fine texture and a moderate translucency would be considered the finest of its type. Let's read that again. In modern connoisseurship, a jadeite jade of pure white hue with fine texture and a moderate translucency would be the finest of its type. He, what he's describing there is white jade above any other colour 
is the finest of its type. It's not just Richard Wise. Wang Ha, or Wang Sao, sorry. On examining jades, this was written about back in 1388. On examining jades, one should regard those white in colour as the best. So even back in the 1300s, we were talking about white jade as being the best. Well, it's called the enigmatic it gem, is. isn't it? Which, yeah. which means it's really, it's the rarest of the rare. Richard Wise says, pure white hue, moderate translucency, should be considered the finest of its type. I have 50 opportunities available. 50. The only strand of white jade that we have available in your eight millimeter rounds. This is, back in 1388, Wang Sao said, those white in color are the best. More recently, Richard Wise says, the finest of their type. Many of us would consider white jade way, way, way beyond our budgets. But thank goodness, from the recent acquisitions that we have, he had here at Jewelry Maker the wonderful connections that our, our buyers have achieved, the fantastic Dave Troth. He's made such opportunities available. And I don't just purchase this for myself because it's a beautiful monochrome gemstone. You know, I can get any white gemstone for that, can't I? I buy it because this is something that I know future generations, my daughters, their children potentially, will not be able to purchase at an affordable price tag. Fifty opportunities available, and our only white jade strand that we have available. The first one's gone straight away. Second one's gone straight away. Not type B, not type C. These have not been polymer impregnated. These have not been dyed in any way, shape, or form. Certified type A. A couple of days ago, in chatting to Dave, he actually said, in reality, type B and C is not valuable. Even though they are selling for £5,000, he showed that bangle, didn't he? Um, a polymer impregnated type B bangle was £5,000. Um, at trade, by the way. The reality is type A is the valuable uh, uh, um, quality that we should be seeking. Already we have collectors making their confirmation. The only certified natural type, type A white jade that we have. Make no doubt about it. You know, if we have to, and at some, times we, uh, at some uh, time we will have to come uh, to terms with this, type B, type C... They're what we're going to have to bring to air. Because we cannot, we're priced out. We've shared with you the likes of Sally Hewer saying, we can no longer offer you these deals. She's actually said that, hasn't she? Why, let's, let's look at the carvings before you do. Sorry, Ross. Because... Look at these. I'm, and I know some of them are, are, are of course, the historic. It's still the material. This is Christie's in 2011. Superb jade carving from an important European collection. That's all it says. Eight and a half million That's all dollars. it says. Eight and a half million US dollars. But look how white it is. It's a pure white. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm just looking through this book <coughs> that you just previously showed, and it's, uh, there's a, a, a chapter in here uh, on white jade, and it says, on examining jades, one should regard those white in colour as the best. That's Richard Wise. That's what I've yeah. just said, read yeah. out. Oh, sorry, I was no, no, reading, no, no, no. not listening. <laughs> no, no, exactly. Ang Wang Sao, he says it as well. Yeah, uh, well, that's exactly what, that's, that's the exactly. quote. Exactly, in the And book. it says, warm and mellow, one, one can feel when one handles them, as if there's some an earthly stream is flowing into your hand. Love it. Absolutely so love it. We're looking at it, Rich, literally from the overhead right now. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. 
I've never read that chapter. No, it's lovely. Uh, I love that. Warm and mellow, one can feel when one's fingers them as if some unearthly stream is flowing through one's hand. So at £499, that's frankly ridiculous then? Frankly, it's ridiculous. Is yeah. split pay available on this? Yeah. Speak to our contact centre. Have a look at a few other Christie's lots. An unusual white jade phoenix form, water pot and cover. Look at the price point. 116,000 US dollars. A pale greenish white jade flower form, brush water. 68,500 US dollars. A greenish white jade figure of uh, a, a Buddhistic lion, thirty-seven and a half thousand US dollars. A large, pale greenish, greenish white—not even saying pure white here, are we? Uh, called Double Happiness, one hundred and seventy thousand US dollars. And I know these are carvings; they're not strands. The reality is you very rarely see white jade out strands. Very, very, very rarely. Rich, uh, bringing it back to sort of more, more, more current times. When we spoke to Roland Schlüssel, he actually said white jade, lavender jade, red jade, he believes could surpass the prices of imperial jadeite moving forward. The next price crash is where our amazing Dave Troth, when we launched it back in September, where he wanted to close. You mean to tell me we're not closing there then? Oh, because it wasn't on split pay. And when he realized the error, it was too late to correct. So he said, okay, Let's do it at a split payment price. So never mind split payment, divvied out over four months, five months. We're going to bring it to you for a one single split payment price tag. White Jade, certified white jade, should never in a million years be under £100. Let's go back to Richard Wise's guidance, if you like, on how we source white jade. In modern connoisseurship, a jadeite jade of pure white hue with a fine texture and a moderate translucency. You're seeing that translucency because look, I'm showing a torch behind. Look at how each and every single one of these certified natural type A jades literally glow. They would be considered the finest of their type. It's going under £100. We are matching that special price that fantastic Dave Troth brought to air. Imagine this with your black jadeites, your red jadeites, jadeites maybe your all neck blues that we brought you only yesterday. Eight millimeter rounds, 190 carats. Yeah, that is, that's literally, a, uh, just give us a month. I'll tell you what, just pay us a month of your split payments and you can have it. Because that should be a four <coughs> monthly split payment, shouldn't it? That times four, yeah. The reality, certified natural type A in our own little very unique jewellery maker bubble, absolutely. Long may that continue, although we can't sustain opportunities like this. Get it whilst you can. Listen, we're not saying we'll never bring you jade again. We will. We will continue to bring you jade. It is our most popular gemstone selling at the moment. But moving forward, what we cannot sustain is the prices for type A. We will, have to, we will probably be bringing you these prices for type B. Yeah, I mean, um, it also says um, <coughs> in, in this book that um, white is not a chromatic hue, so it's not mm -hmm. going to be white because white is not a colour nope. as such. It said, but the sort of the best strands, it, it, uh, the white jade, the best strand, it's the neutral combination of all of the hues. Now, if you look at that, you can see the greens, the blues. Yeah. 
and the whites. And it's just, that is a specimen strand because it has got all those, it's, it's a combination of all the neutral colours of jade. Do you, know, do you know, the most expensive piece of jewellery, uh, sorry, jadeite that has ever gone to auction is not an imperial jade. Mm -mm. It's white. Mm -hmm. White is the most expensive p jadeite piece that has ever gone under, or under, under the hammer. Here we go. That's the piece. I think that's the piece. It's like a, it, it, it's a cube. It's almost like a cube. It was went, it went to auction at Christie's, I believe. That was the most expensive piece of, uh, of jadeite that's ever gone under auction. Do you want to see how many we have? Yeah, they started with 50. Susan, you've got three. Well done. Angela, Jane's multi bought. Heather, Maria, Cheshire, Virginia's, you've got three. Diana, Shirley, and Christine. That's ridiculous. I mean, it's ridiculous. And I don't know, know, know what else to say other than the fact that that's like one of, that's like Christie saying, oh, yeah, take some type A jadeite, the rarest colour. And I tell you what, just give us 70, 79 quid. That'll do. That'll do. It just, it's unheard of. You know, this is the kind of, we don't see it in strands very often because of the rarity of the actual colour itself. Don't forget how, how, how jadeite actually forms. You know, you get your red, which is that very thin skin. That's a, a, think of the apple again. So the red's the thin where it oxidises. Then you might well get your fancy colours. So your whites, your lavenders, your yellow jadeites. By, oh, prime opportunity, Ross. Permission to let that cat proverbially out the bag. Next weekend. Go on then. <laughs> Don't be talked out of it. I love that colour that you're wearing, Linda. Oh, thank you. We've never had that colour before in Jade, have we? No. Next weekend we have. Imagine this with, imagine this with yellow jade. Wow. Yeah, there we go. Put that cat back in the bag and keep that amongst friends. Keep it amongst friends. It's happening next weekend, lovely jewellery makers. We had 50 of these available. There are seven of them remaining. That, it should have been apparently 50 pounds higher, which is absolutely amazing. In my head, that's a split payment. That's, oh, I'll tell you what, just give me the months and then call it quits. For, 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 for type AJ. Definitely, definitely, yes, absolutely. Unbelievable. It's the most beautiful, if you, <coughs> if you don't particularly like the sharp definition of monochrome, then substitute this gem for your white and it mm. slightly softens like that pearls. definition. Yeah. It's like pearls. It's not, it's not a it's stark not white, stark. is it? No, no, not at all. It, 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 it's, it's an innocence. I think that white jade has got a real innocent, an angelic innocence. It's, yeah. It and, if they, and by the way, there's nothing wrong with type B and type C. Clearly, it's not as valuable. Clearly, it's still valuable, but not as. Totally and utterly natural. But your bleached and dyed tends to be, or impregnated, tends to be too white. Does that make sense? Yeah, definitely, because of the processing. Because yeah. of the process. Again, look at the carving. So this was a, you can see Christie's at the bottom. Mm -hmm. um, fine Chinese jade carvings from a private collection dating back in 2018. I don't know if we can show that. But it's not a stark white, is it? It's not a stark white. It's actually got a sort of presence of honey-like colours within. You're getting beautiful quality. That pure hue that Richard Wise describes with, um, uh, with a fine texture, moderate translucency, the finest of its type. The final three of these, well done, Rupal. Hello to you, Jane. Hello to you, Sharon. Hello to you, Anne at Tyne and Ware. Alice, you've just got two of these. Arthur in Highlands, Hampshire, well done. Um, there's no, make no doubt about it. It is our number one selling gemstone at the moment here at Jewelry Maker, but unfortunately, it's not sustainable. We will, of course, have to move into your type Bs and Cs, so get it whilst you get the chance um, to purchase them naturally. Now, I'm gonna leave those final two there just purely because I'm very aware we're ticking over on time. Coming up, gorgeous kit. If you thought you saw seed pills in the nine o'clock hour, oh, you haven't seen anything yet. They are so beautiful. Look, the itty bittiest pearls I think I've ever seen. Oh my goodness. These with the bee that we had earlier on would be beautiful, wouldn't they? 
So these are coming up as, uh, as part of Linda's masterclass. You also get the most amazing sterling silver component as well. Yeah. These are coming up and we've got additional sterling silver deals plus so much more. Lovely jewellery makers, don't go anywhere. Your masterclass uh, will be on your screens after this. Hey guys, I'd love for you to join me this Friday where I'm launching a brand new gemstone. Now this variety is something I'm sure you won't have seen before. I've certainly never bought it to your screens. We are of course talking about a natural new variety of blue lace agate. This is considered by many to be one of the most expensive forms of agate, certainly one of the rarest. And when you see this kind of quad A grade that I'll be bringing to you, um, I, I think you're gonna go wild. I, I hope you get in early because we are very limited, but I cannot wait to talk to you about this legendary discovery. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Make sure you go to our website at www.jewelrymaker.com. We have got over a thousand lines going into a huge online exclusive clearance with up to 95% off prices. Wow. See you there. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide, this will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Amazing, amazing kit coming your way. Um, never been seen components. Is there only 30? Oh, no. But it's not surprising, is it? Because you just can't get yeah, I guess. Seat, yeah, I guess. Let's you bring the graphics straight to where. I'm going to start by showing you the silver. And the only way to get hold of this, not like the B, we're not going to be naughty. There are only 30 of these available. It's brand new. It's never been on your screens. And you have this absolutely beautiful, almost barrel-like design, but encrusted with... Not, not cubic zirconia, these are colourless, eye-clean topaz. 
They're gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Super expensive. Can I just say this piece on its own, and I've opened it up just so you can see. They put, it literally closes, if you like, like a door. Um, that in itself should be the price of the kit on its own because of the detail and just how heavily encrusted with your gemstones it is. You don't just get that, though. You are also getting beautiful, beautiful silk. So this is in that kind of lovely, soft, nude color, uh, which is obviously pre-threaded. But, but, I'm going to put something out there. You have not seen pearls like this before. I haven't. Have you? No, nope, never. I've never had them before, anything like it. And you have literally four. Four strands. Because I'm deliberately holding this, honestly, you're going to, I think you're going to squeal with excitement. What were we saying earlier on in the day? Seed pills are often more expensive than larger pills because you're cutting that culturing process short and also they are incredibly, incredibly challenging to drill. Have you ever seen pearls like this? I mean, can I just say that, uh, you know, I've been looking at these pearls, sort of doing a little bit of research on them. Can I say that um, the majority of uh, companies that buy these pearls are the likes of people like Givenchy and yeah, absolutely. the fashion, um, houses that use them on their uh, bridal veils and dresses oh. that are stitched on. So rarely, I mean, they're, they're so rare anyway, so even more rarely can we get them because the big designers of woof, they're there. Straight on. In a heartbeat. Uh, well, yeah. well, that makes sense. 12 <coughs> years, I've never seen pearls this petite. No, I mean, And I love how delicate they are. You know, they are a, sp a spectacular pearl. You know, even, even by definition of the size of them. Can you pass me your, yeah, uh, yeah. your, your jewellery? Because, Linda, absolutely amazing. So please, please, please don't think that the bigger the pearl, the more expensive the pearl, because that's not always the case. No. As the GIA said, there are, there, there are uh, uh, um, um, alternatives. Not, no, that's not the word they use. There are instances when size, shape, etc. It, it does not determine the price point. Uh, it's not always bigger is better. Smaller size, genuine cultured pearls like this. Can you, can you imagine just opening the mollusk? They would almost be washed away with the water. Exactly. So very, 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 very difficult to even then say, I'm going to drill that. That's yeah. about, what, two mil size? Is that, yeah. Two millimetres. These earrings are beautiful. Two to three millimetres. In 12 years, I don't think we've done pearls like this before. Ever. Ever. We've done seed pearls, but not pearls as petite as this. And they are so beautiful. £199 is not your price. How many did we have, sorry? 30 of these are available. I have less than 20 in the vault now. The most beautiful, petite, delicate, genuine cultured seed pearls. I can imagine them being sewn on veils. Yeah, exactly, which is why the, um, you know, the higher-end fashion houses jump on them. In, in, you know, they, they pre-order mm -hmm. years in advance. Well, because um, these will probably be one of those, like, oh, look, we've got a two to three millimetre seed pearl. Mm -hmm. Pop it in a, in a little pot and store it until we see the next But even one. they can't stockpile them, apparently, because they're just not available. <coughs> no, 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 <coughs> exactly. They can't... You know, that, that's what I mean. If you imagine when the oyster is actually filtering, when it is naturally feeding within the water, chances are something of this size could very easily get washed away. So there's another reason. Hello to you, Margaret. I have a strand of these small pearls uh, that I bought in Greece. Needless to say, I use them very sparingly. I'm not yeah. surprised. But to huge effect, though, Margaret, you know, sparingly, but to huge effect. Just because of the size of them, they have an impact. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I, I love that. Uh, you know, those earrings, for example, 
You know, they would be probably, I don't know, seven, eight hundred pounds in a, in a high-end jewellers? In a high-end jewellers in, in precious metal, yes. And they're beautiful, absolutely beautiful. That necklace, goodness me, heaven knows the price tag. Because I've never seen anything like it before. I've never seen yeah. pearls of this size. Yeah. I mean, I... OK, you might sort of notice, obviously, you'll notice and mention the fact that there's only two pieces of finished jewellery there. But um, I wanted to do the earrings, so I had to sort of pinch, um, I think it was about 14 pearls off each strand because I knew then the best way to portray that, bloody, that blooming um, sterling silver little um, clasp on there yeah. was to put the strands through it just to really um, show you that those little pearls have got massive, massive statements. Yeah, they have. With that... Um, well, I've just literally neckline. held uh, my example up to the neckline. And, and, and I think that's the whole appeal, that they are so petite. Definitely. Today. Absolutely, definitely. We have how many? 14 remaining quantities. Uh, listen, I've never seen pearls of this size before. Margaret, you said you'd seen them in Greece. I haven't. They're absolutely beautiful. And you're lucky that you've got yours. It's going to be fast as fingers first. Because for the final 14, there's no real need to drop this price tag. You know, that's that's already, hang on, look, five components there, 20 pounds. Oh, no, it's more than five. But let's just call, let's talk about the sterling silver and the four strands that you're getting here. 20 pounds each. That's amazing. And you also get your silk. But we are going lower. I won't have enough of these to go around. I've never seen pearls or brought pearls of this scale, of this, uh, you know, of that unique beauty before in 12 years. And Correct me if I'm wrong. Look at the impact around your neckline. It looks gorgeous the against the skin. Yeah, yeah. You can get it home on split pay. The only way to get hold of the pearls, the only way to get hold of that beautiful class, and I feel sorry for the class because we've kind of overlooked that. That's also colourless topaz encrusted mm -hmm. within that sterling silver clasp. You know, you, oh, goodness me. Absolutely amazing, amazing deal. Look at the amount of, 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 of topaz that's set. Not Sigonia, not these aren't man-made. Genuine topaz. So beautiful, this kit. And you get the silk. Make sure you check out because it is going to be an on-screen sellout. We're straight down to single-figure quantities. We cannot go any lower. The reality is that's the kind of price point that I would imagine for one of those strands, for yeah. just one. Yeah, yeah. and you, you do have to um, have this realisation of the fact that, you know, you can compare the big Baroque pearls we've had earlier, mm -hmm. and they are rare. Yep. Um, but these are far more rare, and they need <coughs> far more hands-on commitment to the pearl farmer. Yeah. Um, so somewhere the price has to, that's where it, it evolves, is it's not just the organic gem, it's everything else is in that equation. Can you, can you imagine? I mean, we're, Finn's just got really nice and close to these. Can you imagine drilling a hole in a two millimetre pearl? Oh, I couldn't actually, no. Two millimetres? making four strands and then threading them. Yeah, unbelievable. I mean, you could do that design. If you thread the pearls onto 0.25 wire, oh, you can that make that design. Imagine that in a tassel, but also that's like drilling a Mayuki, isn't it? I think it's probably more difficult. Small, than that. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah. Imagine that in a big, beautiful tassel. Yeah. Oh. Amazing. Make sure you check out your baskets. It will be a sellout. We've got the final six. Loads of you within your basket. Um, well done. Um, any questions that you have, do message us. We've got another kit as well to bring you. We've brought you loads of lovely sterling silver deals today. We've got still more to come. But uh, Linda, over to you. What, right. what are you going to do? Um, well, it's, this is a bit of a tricky <coughs> one. This is a bit of a difficult one because you can see I've just got um, the, the pearl components and the little clasp. Uh, not clasp, the little um, clip. Um, so... I haven't on, I have on the, this, 
Mm -hmm. but not on uh, the one I've got here in the studio because I knew I wouldn't have time because obviously threading pearls of this nature, of this size, is a little bit time consuming but well worth the time yeah. that you've consumed doing it. Um, so I have left these on the um, temporary thread which I cannot tell you not, I must tell you not to do. Right, don't be tempted to leave them on the temporary thread because that temporary thread hasn't got a lot of, uh, of um, wearability. Oh, and goodness me, if these it. do break, <clears throat> then you're not Yeah, if find these them, break, you? it's yeah. going to be, yeah, exactly. So um, put them onto the silk. Now, as you can see here, I, I mortified, but between home and the studio <gasps> here, I've lost a strand. I can guarantee it'll be at home, so I will hopefully retrieve it when the, I get for back. For the purpose but, of demonstrations. Uh, thank you very much. So there are your four strands. So you will not the, not knot them, not knot them. I don't know whether that makes sense. Um, but you will use your... I personally would not knot these if you get that. I yeah. wouldn't knot them is probably a better way to the say The knot will probably be as big as, as the pearl. As big as the pearl, yeah. yeah. Um, but I would certainly strand them on the, the silk. Yeah. Because then you have got the, the wearability. Um, so each strand needs to be re-stranded onto your silk. And there is plenty of silk there in order to do the four strands. Um, I took off each strand, I think it was, it was 14 or 15 pearls I removed from each strand in order to do the earrings. Yeah. Um, and then once you have um, threaded them onto your silk, then you pop a jump ring on via either your crimp bead or, uh, as I did earlier, you can knot, as long as you leave some of the, um, the silk behind, you can knot them on. Now, if you find that, that difficult with the four strands, then by all means use small jump rings and crimp bead or knot onto four jump rings and then bring those four jump rings together with one larger jump ring in order to then annex your clasp. And then once you've put those together, you can then open, as Elle demonstrated, open your component. This one's just a little bit... Is that and a it, bit stiffer? Well, it has. they have to be because obviously they yeah. need to be... Thank you, well, you can get Popsies. that one open. Um, they have to be because you're going to be wearing them, so um, they need to be tight. And then you place the pearls inside, and then you can see they just drop into the decorative barrel at the front and then just clip it to. Now, it's entirely up to you whether you, which way up. This is, if that was being worn, it would have the little clip at the top. Now, the little clip there, as you can see, has got a little hole through it. So consequently, um, if you wanted to do it the other way around and move that round, you could put a little pearl drop or oh, nice. perhaps one of those beautiful white jade um, drop from there quite easily with a, a small jump ring or straight on via the uh, proverbial wrapped loop. But I mean, and we've had feather weights today, haven't we? Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, absolutely. <coughs> um, They'd work too. But... You know, if you do buy more than one kit, you can get more than the four strands through there. And which leads me to think that you could put uh, in the previous kit um, earlier today, there were some slightly larger seed pearls. So if you bought both kits, then you could actually mix and match and that, that clip would fit um, through uh, over the, the larger ones as well as. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think these are a game changer. Yeah, definitely. Because they can be used in so many ways. Um, you know, you're, you're a jewellery maker, so just think outside the box and think which is the best way to use that component for the best amount of beauty that, that you can uh, be inspired by. So it's as simple as that. Um, the earrings are sort of quickly just go through because I haven't got my 0.25 wire. I was going to ask you what wire did you yeah, use? Yeah, 0.25. Now, with the um, earring component, which as you can see is a hoop, um, where this, this just unclips and it goes through the ear and then clips back into a, um, a sort of tube just there. 
Um, basically taking your 0.25 or 0.4, 0.4 goes through, uh, in fact, I've used 0.4. Um, I can see it's not 0.25, it's because it's slightly bigger in gauge. Now, what I did first was the inside. So I wrapped on with about four twists the wire and then slipped on a pearl and then wrapped around and just made it stable on the inner circle, went all the way around. Then when I got to this bit, I then brought the wire out, slipped on three to make this little pico. And because it's on wire, you can do the shaping then. Oh, sorry, Linda, just to interrupt for one second, the kit's sold out. Oh, well done. I sold think you'll be out. really, really, really pleased with it. So, and then it's just a matter of putting your three pearls on and then annexing it between the inner pearls and just keep repeating that. Well, as you've just mentioned those beautiful earrings and also you mentioned, uh, Linda, about putting a potentially a little drop at yep. the bottom of maybe yeah. that connector. Yep. Um, sorry, got watery eyes. And, um, or, or, or those beautiful, beautiful... Can I borrow these a second? They are just stunning. I mean, the thing about a tiny bead or a tiny pearl or a tiny gem is you can actually make a tiny gem look so much bigger and has so much more impact by bundling them together like that you know so you know, that's so beautiful i'm gonna it's go as delicate but it just still has that little bit of impact i think it? these are one of my favorite pearl earrings that we've seen on show i mean looking at them now um on camera i i have this sort of revelation many times when i look at my jewelry on camera is I would definitely use 0.25 sterling silver wire. That is that is a placid wire and it's 0.4. And for my looking at it on camera, I think it's a little bit too chunky. Oh, I think it's lovely. So the 0.25 sterling silver, if you're lucky enough to have any of that, use that because the luster that will come off the wire adds to the definition of the earring as well. Well, um, I don't know, have a look on our website. We may have some of that available. So uh, yeah, 0 0.25 if you want to go but, uh, with, with our lovely Linda's recommendation. That will probably feed through your... It will your, do, your yes, it will do. But let's bring you, it's a little mini kit to go alongside your amazing, uh, your seed pearls. To be truthful, this will go alongside your nine o'clock kits as well, I think. Um, because these are, this is one of our most designer-inspired sterling silver earring uh, findings packs that we actually have. Because uh, within that, you've got almost got these marquees. This marquees. I love that uh, pair. finding. Me too. You see, uh, I, I wasn't sent uh, the sterling silver so it's it's just strange that there are, you'll see in a moment there are hoop earrings in there that I did those hoop you went earrings. with it yeah but the uh, the ones that her, Elle has there the um, sort of marquee shapey ones you could do exactly that same technique yep the uh, the front of that and then oh. drop from the the simple loop on the end there beautiful so, so you're getting the pair of those, both 925 sterling silver. You're also getting two beautiful pearls, which are half drilled. Um, they are round pearls, so seven to seven and a half millimeters in their size. So you're getting two of those. You've got your jump rings, again, an absolute necessity. Then you've got your head pins. So you had your featherweights as part of your, uh, around about the deal of the Try day, wasn't those, it? Because normally sterling silver head pins are finer. Mm -hmm. What do you want me to try it in so there? It could well go into the um, into the pearl. Into the pearl, yeah. Okay. Exactly the same. Technique. And your shepherd hooks. Now the f the, the earrings. Uh, sorry, the precious metal. Oh, it easily breezes in there. Yeah, so easy. You you'll studs. find that sterling silver being being more lustrous. It's more has more slippability. Yeah. If that's a word, but now, also it's it's just that little bit more finer in its construction. Yeah. So that perfectly fits on, and it gives you a little bit more strength on the length of that head pin in order to create that longer drop and then perhaps twist the little seed pearls nice. at the, at the straight of the head pin. Now, Linda, the pearls on their own, they have been on air right. and closed at £19.99. Yeah, £19. It's absolutely. a pair of round pearls. And they're matched, they're cherry Yeah, picked, so perfectly matched. matched. Perfectly matched. But you've also got a huge amount of sterling silver in our most designer inspired findings pack. First price crash. We've matched the price of the pair of rounds and we're bringing you the sterling silver for, for free. 
Says no one ever. Who who does that? Stealing silver for free, anybody? But basically, that's what's going on right now. I mean, I, th I look at those and think that's a triple figure pair of earrings. Mm -hmm. Straight well, away. It certainly will be in the sterling, won't it? Yes. Yeah. I mean, wow. Two pairs of your shepherd hooks. You've got your head, your head pins, your jump rings, your hoops, and you've got those beautiful marquise-like shapes. But for the pearls, that duo of perfectly round seven to seven point uh, five millimeter natural round pearls. For those on their own, they're twenty pounds. Yeah. Yeah, it's a no-brainer, really. An, an absolute no-brainer. If you got involved with Linda's nine o'clock kits, these are an amazing addition. Mm -hmm. If you got involved in the Masterclass kit just gone, the most limited Masterclass kit I think we've ever done. And any of the monochrome. Yeah, oh, true, yeah. yeah any of the monochrome would be perfect with. Or maybe, just throw this one out there, you want to stock up your sterling silver stashes. Yeah, because, you know, it's uh, this is a very limited sterling silver um little bundle in fact, in fact it's the first time i've seen it which is why i regret i didn't have it sent with the with the pearls etc um because i love the size of those hoops i think they're so Perfect wearable size. you know that's the um, way that's the price of the silver you're purchasing the silver again the pearls wow. for free oh, you know i can't even say that about the pearls because actually they were brought to air on the live show at, at, at more than what's on your screens right now <clears throat> back four grams of wow. sterling silver in this wow. kit i hope we've got enough of these to go around because there will be people watching right now going okay i might as well stock up my sterling silver findings then at that price well point. i would certainly because um sterling silver earring findings if you're looking for them you know elsewhere now they're jolly difficult to find specialized ones like this yeah 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 you can find your studs you can find the shepherd hooks but you know other designs you can't i mean you, you probably can if you're prepared to sit for hours on end and look um but for me as a jewelry maker time is money absolutely i mean wow I mean, even, even I can, let's just give you those two divide the two sterling silver components on your pair of pearls yeah you're talking about what six pound fifty each absolutely and i mean the um hoop earrings i absolutely adore those i think they're a perfect size if you, because normally your hoops can be quite large. I think they're just, a, I mean, these are larger the ones I made. Mm -hmm. Those are the plated version. But um, those, those hoops there, you could do exactly that design with yep. because of the size of the seed pearls. You could also thread, um, pop on just, just those jump rings onto that hoop and make a beautiful pair of, pair of sterling silver earrings. Oh, gorgeous, with just the they? jump rings on. Do you, know, do you know what? With those earrings, uh, with, the, with the sterling silver, I would mix not just your seed pearls, I would mix some of the other seed pearls that we had in exactly. the 9 o'clock hour. Yeah. That's what I was saying with the clip. Yeah, literally yeah. mix, sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah, mix yeah. those few together so that you know, yeah. you really, you're almost quite scrupulous with your yes, seed pearls. absolutely. As you said, Margaret, as well, from your strand from, uh, from Greece, we don't see them. I've never seen pearls of that size before, ever. Not just here at Jewelry Maker, ever. And they're beautiful. Um, so, yeah, you'd want to be using uh, your, uh, your, your luxury 925 sterling silver components and certainly the most sort of modern, contemporary, I'm going to say, designer-inspired. That's probably more accurate. Uh, um, findings pack that we've bought you in 925 sterling silver. But you pay more for the round pearls on their own, those half-drilled round pearls. Well done. I'm going to leave that quantity with you. Congratulations, everybody. I've still got time to squeeze it. Oh, yes. Oh, because we've had so many lovely luxury strands today, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Oh, we've had some beautiful pearls. Oh, we've been literally smothered in pearls today. Totally Not smothered. Literally. <laughs> Not literally, but surrounded by beautiful pearls. Let's bring you... Let's bring you some of your high-end class. And I always know, always know that if you have pearls, if you have maybe a jade as well, you're going to be, you don't want to just put one of your sort of traditional mwah, blowing kisses to our gorgeous Mark. Uh, you're right, darling. I'm good, I'm good. Um, now, you're always going to be looking for your luxury class, aren't you? To go alongside it. You don't want to just put, no disrespect, but I wouldn't want to just put a bolt ring clasp. No, absolutely not. No, I totally agree with you. I think actually with any pearl necklace, 
no matter what color or what size that pearl is or what shape that pearl is, I think you need to pay attention to the clasp because traditionally <gasps> it's always been like that. I mean, there were clasps uh, that were designed specifically for pearls yep. back in the 20s. You know, this so is one of them, actually, and it's very difficult to buy one like this in gold, by the way. Oh, absolutely. So difficult because these are very cleverly designed. If I actually just tilt this forward, you've got the bar across, which is what you're not directly onto. Mm -hmm. That means if you imagine my finger is a pearl, um, it will sit perfectly alongside. Absolutely, nice and, you know, like you a jigsaw. You haven't got anything exposed. No, no, no mechanics. Now, I've only got 20 of these. We're going to do it in one price crash. Beautiful little butterfly. Stunning class that you could absolutely wear at the front of the neckline as well. With the seed pearls, with that massive kit that we had back in the nine o'clock hour, with oh yeah, oh with the with the with the bumblebee. Oh yes, definitely. Bumblebee the butterflies and the, and the bees. Of, yeah, is that something totally different that I haven't learned about yet? But <laughs> <laughs> not the birds. No, that's the, bees. the birds. The butterflies <laughs> and the bees. Twelve ninety nine only. Two and a half grams of sterling silver. Um, you're flying in for this one. Yeah, there was 20 of these available. You've got that beautiful, beautiful circle um, of cubic zirconia, all set in a big gram weight, again, with all the pearls that have surrounded us today. Absolutely perfect. Uh, they will be a sellout very quickly, actually. There's loads of you there. Only one person hasn't checked out. That speaks volumes. How much you want to get hold of those. Um, okay, let's bring you a gorgeous connector, shall we? Very Tiffany's inspired. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? It is pretty. Where's that gone? Where's my clip? Hang on. Now, this hasn't. This is a, a previous bestseller. It's not been on our screens for three months. Back in stock by very popular demand. Zircon, not zirconia. One of the world's oldest genuine gemstones. That's absolutely perfect for these little seed beads, isn't oh, it, as yeah, well? It'd be lovely with it. You know, it's just kit. delicate enough. Can you imagine a little bridesmaid present or a christening present? That on a slider as well. Yeah, slider, definitely. It'd be yeah. gorgeous on a slider yeah. bracelet. Alongside your Dean of the Day. Definitely. I mean, it has been the most perfect. Do you remember what I said back in the beginning of the show? That there's nothing, only one word that I can use to describe today's show, and that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Every, Every component has been beautiful. There's only 59, back in stock. One of our previous bestsellers. Not 24.99. That, uh, that, wow. that had me sort of intrigued because when director Adam says, are you sure to produce a Ross? <laughs> it's got me thinking, what's he gonna do? 12.99. Wow. And a connector does so much more than connect, doesn't it? It's no, it just it's a game changer to a design, isn't it? It just completely changes um, a design from being incredibly simple to still simple but more complex because of the design of that bow. Well, it becomes the main feature, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, totally. Or, or, or certainly yeah. a, um, a focus point for sure. Love the fact that this is a, a, almost like a um, a realistic bow. Does that make yeah, sense? Yeah, it's it's. Fluid, isn't it? It yeah. looks like it's been tied. It's not static. No, loving that. And genuine zircon, not cubic zirconia. So it's, you can literally say, if, you, if you've got this in, in your pearls, you can literally say, this is an entirely genuine gemstone piece of jewellery. Absolutely. You know, if yeah, there was cubic zirconia, so nothing wrong with cubic zirconia. It has its place. You can't say it's entirely genuine gemstones. No. Um, whereas this would be, because zircon is literally formed with Mother Nature. Uh, Jenny, Maureen, Irene, hello to you. Jacqueline, Brenda's multi-bought. Deborah, hello to you, Dumfries and Galloway. Maybe alongside your deal of the day when we had those lovely little diamond cut spacers, you could actually sort of, mm -hmm. sort of use those uh, um, from, uh, from the actual uh, bow itself. Moving on to... I do. I'm so glad you said that. Am I meant to have plural? Am I meant to have plural? Yeah? Okay. So that's coming into its own, that little bow, isn't it, with that? It's like we planned it. Oh, do you yeah. know what? A little cluster of your seed pills exactly. either side. Exactly, yes. Wouldn't that be beautiful? Oh, gosh, that's very... Um, <coughs> uh, what's the word again? Very... 
I can think of words that aren't right for it, but very marketable, probably. That's the commercial. word. Commercial. Commercial, thank you. Very, very, very commercial. I need to go home and swallow a dictionary again. Me too, don't worry. I've, I mean, I've, I've always needed to. Diamond cuts, a great addition to your deal of the day. These, these, actually, if we had the quantity, would have been on the back of the deal of the day, wouldn't they? Mm -hmm. We didn't have enough of them, though. Um, diamond cut, would the slider be detail? You do get both. £24.95 when I first launched slider bracelets. Why, Ross? He says, OK, I'm telling you that, Elle, because I'm going to match that price first. And then you're going to zoom past it. £24.95 was where we originally launched slider bracelets in sterling silver. They weren't diamond cut. They were a popcorn design. That's right. How about today? I, I, there's, not, there's only one advert that drives me as crazy as this one does, but it's in my head and I've got to say it out loud. I'm so sorry. This is a buy one, get one free opportunity. In sterling silver, in diamond cut sterling silver, Beautiful performance of lustre. Remember, like it's embellished and encrusted with, um, with your parve set. I'm sorry, Adam, are you disappointed in me? He's like, oh, hell, she said it. But it's true, though. That's £12.50 per slider bracelet. These aren't base metals. These are 925. How many do we have? 40. If this was, if we had a bigger quantity, they would have been played alongside the back of the deal of the day. And I can tell you they'd have sold out in an absolute nanosecond. Imagine all of Linda's amazing designs, all of the pearls, all of those connectors. Um, but not just that, actually, pretty much m multiple mediums. Those lovely diamond, spare diamond cut uh, spaces that we had would be nice. perfect, wouldn't they? Either either side of the bow or just a line of those. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We had 40, that's £12.50 each. Janet, Virginia, Tracy, hello to you. Uh, Jenny Maker, Janet, Brenda, Jenny in Mil uh, Yorkshire, well done. I can see you there as well. There is a little bit of a queue on the phone lines. Um, do bear with our call centre and they will get to you. Now, um, time is ticking by, but we did. Oh, yes. Ross has got, you mentioned a uh, um, wire, mm -hmm. silver wire, mm -hmm. that you could thread through these. Mm -hmm. And you could also, you would have preferred to have made these earrings with a 0 0.25. Definitely. Ross. Ah, oh, I was trying to bring it to air. <laughs> Sorry. I was about to say Ross has delivered, but he hasn't. Sorry. Sorry, Ross. <sighs> okay, don't worry. Don't worry. We can redeem ourselves, can't we, Ross? Yes, we can. Yes, we can, Adam. We can with lovely sterling silver in a beautiful chain like this. Again, great to go alongside Linda's amazing kit. A full metre long length of your sterling silver. What's that? Sterling silver plus one curb chain. Oh, is that, is, is that the link that, that it's referencing? Okay, that's interesting. You've actually got, and I wonder if I can take it off the um, off the spool, just to show you. Uh, this is actually taped on. It comes on the spool, so obviously that it's not going to knot. If I actually hold this out, you can see you've got more. I'd describe it as maybe as an infinity one. Yeah, so you see the infinity, then one, infinity one. Um, it is 925 sterling silver. Um, we'll show you the previous closing price. £29.99. You don't need to be a silversmith for something like this. You know, um, a lot of people shy away from purchasing your one metre lengths of chain because may, they think, oh, you know, I, I can't solder like Claire um, or Debbie or, or Alison or any of those. Uh, do you do soldering? Do you sell No, not thing? yet. Um, but we brought you the featherweight headpins today. Just do a wrap loop. Fourteen ninety nine. Goodness me! One of the biggest auctions in jewelry maker history had two thousand quantity. Was a sterling silver chain that closed at the price that's on your screens. That's incredible value. That is, you know, um, I've said this again loads <coughs> and loads of times. But when I first started jewelry making and I needed a uh, sterling silver chain, I went to the jewelry quarter, which is a brilliant. Um, jewelry quarter in the middle of Birmingham yeah. and I was paying like per inch yeah of course and this then would have been a good £2.50 per I bet inch. 
a meter long length. Well, you can customize it, can't you? You're not going to mm -hmm. lose anything. It's a great addition alongside today's shows, uh, uh, today's show, and certainly most of uh, um, pretty much every single component that we've actually brought you today. Yeah. Earlier on, I'm casting my mind right back to the Wall of Fame when we had that beautiful piece of jewelry that was made for a christening present. Mm -hmm. to your That's own. right. Yeah. You know, this is the kind of chain that you can recreate that design because you've got those lovely exposed links. You can wrap loop directly onto there. Again, if I had if I had more time, we had a 2,000 quantity on a sterling silver one meter long length spool like this, sold at the same price. One of the biggest auctions in jewelry maker history. If we had time, this would be um, this would be the same, and if we had the quantity as well. Um, we're running out of time. Make sure you check out those baskets. I can see you there. Stay where you are. A lovely call centre will get to you. Linda, it's been so lovely to oh, spend time great. with you today. Thank, Thank you, you. Elliot. Yeah, it's been great. Thank you so much. Loved your jewellery as, as always. Thank you. Do you know when you're back? Um, not till November now. I'm having a week in Cornwall in a couple of weeks, and then I think I'm back beginning of November. Amazing. We look forward to that. See you soon.